good evening and a warm welcome to one and all ayurapta invites you to a national level paper and poster presentation so i right stand there are 30 participants are today and all the best to everyone and before let's start i would like to invite our respected panel members first of all i would like to invite our agatadanta panel dr ashwadi s dr vinanath and dr revadi raj next i invite our swastavrata panel members dr sujitra dr reshmi r and dr sri devi next i invite our prasudandra panel dr dipti dr sri lakshmi and dr krishna priya and our kaumari pratya panel dr aradhi dilashekhar dr sulata nandam kumar and dr rajnish next i invite our kai chikitsa panel dr ramesh p dr bhagya soman and dr kavita raj and i invite our shala chikitsa panel dr bilender bophale dr vaishak raj and dr arya k panikka next i would like to invite our dravya guna panel members dr vishwanath patil dr shridhar and dr kalyani next i invite our shalya tantra panel dr arun krishnan dr krishnananda siya and dr usha next i invite our panchakarma panel dr jinsi joseph dr mahesh and dr ashwini somasundaram now i invite our sanghita samhita panel dr rama devi s and dr kavita sajish and i invite our rasam rasa shastra and vaishya kalpana panel members dr ramya ji and dr sindhu lakshmi and finally i invite our rajana rajana sharira panel members dr vivek dr sri lakshmi and dr krishna priya and without having any delay we can invite our first participant dr ratha kumari for the paper presentation on the topic nidana panchaka of ridrasi sorry there is a change first i invite dr geeta raju gujar for presenting paper on the topic dandolpatti and dandagada vyadi in children i invite dr geeta raju yes ma'am good evening everyone myself dr geeta gujar and my paper presentation topic is dantapatti and dantakatvadi in children and dentition ayurveda is ancient medical science there is main and branches of ayurveda in that danta utpatti in bal was mentioned in komarvritta branch and danta rog lakshan and chikitsa were mentioned in the shalakya tantra branch in modern terms uh, the teeth eruption occurs in two form primary dentition and secondary dentition introduction dantodbhavan samprapti or pathogenesis of dantodbhit human have 32 teeth of this eight are saprojak which evolves only once and the rest 24 are which which evolves twice that is milk teeth mainly two dhatu asti and maja get maturity in course of time when get localized into the gum the result in slightly swelling in upper and lower teeth due to irritable effect on the muscles cause for depletion in the body due to cough or dosh induced itching at 
right, results in hippobite. Aggravated vayu get localized in the root of teeth, which penetrate in bone and bone marrow, that is the asti and majja, at site where kapha is priorly placed. From this site, vat and kapha both disperse in all direction, being associated with pitta, vitiate the datu and mala, which causes various complications in the body, that is dantot bejanya vadi. Individual differences in dentition, girls' teeth erupt sooner and pain is less, and that sushi and soft, where boys' teeth erupt later, pain is also more because the teeth become solid and stable. Now we see the pathological classification of teeth according to Acharya Kashyap, that, that is Samrutta, Samud, Virut, and Danta Sampat. In Samrut category, symptoms include Adanya and Malistam. In Samudha, Shrai and Nitya Sampatat. In Vivrutta, Nitya Lalupahat, Achandan and Vaivarnyam. In Danta Sampat, good quality of teeth include Purnata, Samta, Ganta, Shuklata, Snigdata, Shrasnata, Nirmalta, Kinchut, Uttaranta, Dantabandan, Samta, Raptata, Bruad, Gran and Stir Multa. A precious tadanta is um, sadanta jalma, that is presence of teeth at birth. Purva muttar danta, that is early and late eruption of teeth. Viral danta, that is scattered teeth. Thin danta, less number of teeth. Adikya danta, that dreadful teeth. Vivarna danta, that discolored teeth. Sputid danta, that crack teeth. Now we see the danta utpatikal and its effect with respect to particular month. In four months, when the teeth are erupt, they become weak, decay early, and afflicted by many diseases. In fifth month, lose or shaky with morbid sensitivity and get easily afflicted with various diseases. In six months, less strong, deformed, irregular in shape, susceptible for dental caries. In seven months, that is Visham curve. In eight months, best teeth with all qualities of Danta Sampat, that is Purnata, Samta, Ganta, etc. Now, Danta Dosh, the reason for the eruption of teeth is Asti and Majja Datu. In childhood life, when milk teeth fall, they erupt again because due to not fully mature of Asti and Majja Datu. In old age, when tooth is fall, they do not erupt again due to mature Asti and Majja Datu. Danta Bhavkalin Vadi, when teeth ejection in children, is the cause of all disease, especially at the time of teething. Jwar, Shiro, Abhitap, Trushna, Brahm, Abhishanda, Kukuna, Kotke, Vamtu, Kaas, Shwas, Atisar, and Visarpa. Chikisa. According to nature of those disease, is strength, country time, proper treatment should be done. The Vatati Dosh and Rasa Raktadi Dusha of grown-up person are found only in children and feverish diseases of grown-ups are found in children. Therefore, the medical treatment for children is the same as for adults. The difference is that for children, the doses should be small because the child is of Sokumaria and of Alpakayatva. A healthy child cannot eat all kinds of food. Dentition. These start developing in the fetus. Good nutrition from mother during pregnancy is important in the development of teeth. The mother should have adequate amount of calcium, phosphorus, vitamin C, and vitamin D. There are four main stages of development of tooth. The first stage begins in the fetus at about six weeks of age. This is when the basic substance of the tooth form. Next, the heart tissue that surrounds the teeth is formed around three to four months of gestation. After the child is born, the next stage occurs when the tooth actually protrudes through the gum. Finally, there is a loss of primary baby teeth. The parts of the tooth. Each tooth has four main parts, include enamel, dental, pulp, and root. In enamel, the outer layer of tooth, and it is hardest material in the body. In dentin, the inner layer and the main part of tooth and the largest dental tissue. The pulp is a soft tissue, contains the now blood supply and the ability to produce dentin. The root, the part of the tooth that secure into the jaw. Here we see upper teeth and lower teeth. 
इन अपर टीथ सेंट्रल इंसिजर इरप एट एट टू ट्वेल्व मंथ्स एंड शेड एट सिक्स टू सेवन इयर्स लाइक दिस अदर टीथ्स आर इरप एंड शेड फॉर प्राइमरी थ्रूट डेवलपमेंट Uh, here permanent tooth erupt only once in upper teeth uh, central incisor erupt at 7 to 8 years lateral incisor erupts at 8 to 9 years like this further teeth are erupts here shows dantagat rose according to sushra samhita uh, astanga yog ratnakar and sharangar Samita with modern correlation of their disease. Now we see some dental diseases which commonly seen in pediatric practice. Creamy dent, uh, teeth having black cavity become loose from their roots associated with discharge swelling at their roots and due to what we teach about subsequent pain without any apparent cause. Nidan that is filled with enamel or due to an hygienic condition like improper brushing, having very hot and cold items, etc. Treatment include if tooth is not moving, swelling followed by rectal motion, vatakna dravya upidan nasya, snehi gandush and snigda bojan, madra dravya or punar navadi lep, etc. If tooth is moving at the site, extraction followed by agni karma. If tooth is per perforated, filling the gap with wood and madhu chista. For pain relieving, dupan with seeds of kantakari, application of clove oil at the site, and sarshap tail nasya. Modern correlation of creamy dent is dental caries. Dental caries is microbial disease. of calcified tissue of teeth characterized by demineralization of inorganic portions and destruction of organic substance of the tooth causes include dietary factors like carbohydrate microorganisms like streptococcus mutans systemic factors hereditary most uh, host factor poor oral hygiene and improper brushing immunological factors control of dental caries include control of active lesions that is excavation of caries lesion followed by restoration nutrition measures for caries control is diet should be high in fat low in carbohydrate and free from sugar phosphate diet causes significant reduction in caries mechanical measures include tooth brushing twice a day mouth rinsing and dental floss dental floss is soft thread of floss silk used to clean between the teeth chemical measures like fluoride and sugar nitrate danta harsha due to vat vitiation teeth become unable to bear the touch of cold or hot shita ushna and amla asahishnuta commonly observed in creamy danta in which due to cracking or perforation of teeth the nerve filaments is exposed and cause sensitivity to cold or hot things treatment include kaval or gandush chatur uh, chatur snehya sarpi tevrutta grut in snehik dup and nasya and shirobasti with vatagna tel snik the bojan like mansras shir and vatahar chikitsa should be done in modern correlation hyperesthesia of teeth uh, root surface may become hypersensitive to thermal changes or tactile stimulation Treatment include removal of calculus, plaque control, and use of desensitizing agents. Now, the other child on neglecting caries, teeth crack, teeth tatters, gum disease causes tooth to loose tooth causes pain and discomfort during mastication or drinking. It causes so many complications. Even the healthy teeth and mandible or maxilla also affected. Treatment include gandush with sneha mishre dashamur kaat, garshan with tutha lodra pipali trifala sandal lavan mix powder, and snick the nasya snick the kaval snick the bojan should be taken. In modern correlation of dentasha loose tooth or tooth mobility, tooth mobility of two types. 
one physical mobility and pathological mobility that is abnormal mobility in physiological mobility slight degree of mobility is seen on all teeth which is variable for different teeth and at different time of day that is maximum in morning and gradually decrease in pathological mobility that is abnormal mobility beyond physiologic due to loss of tooth support trauma from occlusion or extension of uh, uh, inflammation in treatment treat the cause like uh, painful or more mobility than extraction of tooth done conclusion from above information it is concluded that implementing good oral health practices in infancy sets a foundation of optimal oral health for life since development of tooth form the base of dentistry a thorough understanding and sound knowledge is required by doctor regarding the development stage of tooth and the anomalies related to it so as to identify and treat them in proper fashion dentition is one of the important landmark for assessing the growth and development in child Acharya Kashyap had explained the dentothpathy and dentaroga, which were very near to modern concept of dentition. In Ayurved, explaining the, about dental daven vidhi, which include in dentaria, Ayurvedic accept of dental care is very useful in present life, both in preventive and curative accept on a natural herbal basis. Here are the references which taken for paper presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Geeta. Next, I invite Dr. Damini for presenting the paper on the topic Work of Major Asana in Learning Disabilities of Children. I invite Dr. Damini. Yes, ma'am. Uh, good evening to all doctors. This is Damini Mali from SMBT Ayurved College, Kaumar Vritya Department. My topic of paper presentation is work of Medhya Rasayanas in learning disabilities in children. Abstract, Ayurveda represents an ancient system of traditional medicine prevalent in India. Medhya is an Ayurvedic concept that implies intellect. Buddhi is a powerful entity which retains the specific knowledge or the essence of the text gained by gained by reading, listening, or repeating it. Learning disability means the difference that is noticed between the kid's learning capacity and their real learning ability. This neurological condition is due to the kid's brain. Hello, that doctor. Finds... Hello? Doctor, please share your screen. Oh, one minute, ma'am. Ma'am, are you able to see? No, doctor. Why is it not able to show? Ma'am, can I get time? Hello? Hello? Ma'am, can I get a little time? I'm not able to share this video. Hello? 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 Thank you. 
Hello, I'm audible. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, is it visible now? Yes, yes doctor. doctor. Okay. Uh, sorry for the interruption. Good morning to all doctors. This is Amini Mari from SMBT Ayurved College, Kaumadrutta Department. My topic of paper presentation is work of Medya Rasayanas in learning disabilities in children. Uh, abstract. Ayurveda represents an ancient system of traditional medicine prevalent in India. Medya is an Ayurvedic concept that implies intellect. Buddhi is a powerful entity which retains the specific knowledge or the essence of the text gained by reading, listening, or repeating it. Learning disability means the difference that is noticed between the kid's learning capacity and their real learning ability. This neurological condition is due to the kid's brain that finds it hard to understand specific signals and does not permit the kid from executing the information linked with those signals. Medera Sainas, a group of medicinal plants, to improve memory and intelligence. In Charak Samvita, Mandukparni, Yashti Madhu, Guruji, and Shankar Pushpi are the Medya Rasayanas which have been described. The presentation aims to describe the work of these Medya Rasayanas in learning disabilities. Need of this topic. Occurrence of these disorders has increased in the last few years. It is directly affecting the children in the developing age. Despite a good IQ, a child suffers a lot in academic growth and social development, leading to loss of confidence, depression, etc. There is a need for creating awareness within Ayurvedic fraternity as there is scanty knowledge regarding learning disabilities in Ayurveda. Introduction. Learning disabilities manifest during the period of education and is important cause of poor academic performance in schools. Learning disability is not a problem with the intelligence or motivation. Kids with learning disabilities are not lazy nor dumb. Their brains are simply wired differently. To put it simple, the children with learning disabilities see, hear, and understand things differently. This can lead to trouble with learning new information and skills and putting them to use. Learning disabilities are the difficulties in the acquisition and use of listening, speaking, reading, writing, reasoning, or mathematical abilities. There are many celebrities who had been suffering from learning disabilities, though may a famous personality in Bollywood like Hrithik Roshan, Abhishek Bachchan, even uh, Hollywood personalities like Tom Cruise have had been suffered from these learning disabilities. Uh, mainly, main impact was given on movies. The famous movie like Tare Zameen Par was on the same uh, topic. Etiology of learning disabilities. This disorder is due to central nervous dysfunction, neurological damage due to premature birth, maternal fetal blood incompatibility, maternal endocrine disorders. Maturation delay, like different stages of development of brain, are delayed, like maturation of language, skills, delayed skill development, genetic factors. Biochemical factors, chemicals like acetylcholine, serotonin, dopamine, play important role in brain activity, controlling and releasing electrical nerve impulse between neurons. Nutritional deficiencies like inadequate diet, malnutrition, reduces the child's ability to learn. Environmental factors like unstable family life, emotional disturbances. Types of learning disability. Disorders of reading is called as dyslexia, disorder of writing, dysgraphia, disorder of mathematical calculations, dyscalculia, disorder of listening, attention deficient hyperactive disorder, memory disorders, disorder of spoken language, visual perception deficit, auditory perception deficit, all these are types of learning disabilities. Dysgraphia, a specific learning difficulty in writing. 
children find it challenging to write legibly and at the same speed as their peers they have trouble putting their thoughts on paper it generally appears when children are learning for fo for first time to write symptoms and signs of dysgraphia difficulties with spelling grammar and punctuation poor organization of written language movements of hands and fingers such as required during handwriting dyslexia a specific learning difficulty with reading kids have trouble reading fluently they find it difficult to make relationship between letters and the sounds they make they also have trouble with spelling comprehension and writing symptoms symptoms of dyslexia difficulty in reading impaired hand eye coordination inability to memorize poor concentration dyscalculia a specific learning difficulty in maths kids have difficulty with maths related concepts have poor number sense and find it difficult to apply their knowledge to solve the problems difficulty remembering number facts like tables can also be a sign of dyscalculia dyspraxia it is a learning disability in motor skills motor difficulty refers to the problems with movement and coordination whether it is fine motor skills like cutting writing or gross motor skills like running jumping attention deficit hyperactive disorder it is characterized by developmentally inappropriate motor hyperactivity in attention and impulsiveness leading to impairment at home and school this is impairment in academic as well as social functioning along with skill deficits hyperactivity symptoms are excessive fidgetiness example tapping hands or feet difficulty remaining still when sitting is expected example at dinner or school excessive talking difficulty playing quietly run around a lot always on the go symptoms of impulsivity the patient is impatient interrupt conversations or other activities blurt out inappropriate statements or answers too quickly express emotions without restraint act without considering consequences symptoms of inattention easily distractible forgetfulness difficulty in focusing organizing or completing any task avoid tasks that require mental effort gets easily bored makes careless mistakes adhd signs and symptoms like difficulties in sitting still forgetfulness carelessness trouble getting along disorganization excessive talking daydreaming etc visual perception deficit the child has poor visual discrimination he is unable to distinguish between visual stimuli through seeing them difficulty in visual closure that is he cannot fill in the missing parts when only part of the word or object is seen poor visual memory and visual rec recognition auditory perception deficit poor auditory discrimination he is unable to distinguish one sound from another unable to gain the meanings from sounds words or sentences he cannot fill in missing words when only part of the word or sentence is heard poor auditory recognition and recall some property of learning disorders according to ayurveda learning or acquisition of knowledge is a result of successive and complex interaction and coordination of the followings the reference is given in shari Char uh, charak shari san first adhyay indriyas indriya artha mana atma and buddhi the functioning of these factors is governed by three dosha that is vat pitta kapha and three guna that is sattva raja and tama in a specific coordination and balance any disturbance in these three doshas and three guna will cause disordered functioning of indriya mana and buddhi leading to impaired learning management of learning disorders through ayurveda ayurvedic drugs can help in the management of learning disabilities by making three dosha and three guna in well balanced state and also by providing medya that is intellect promoting drugs to improve the learning abilities swarna prashan and use of swarna containing kalpas like saraswat saraswat arishta etc are found to be effective as swarna has properties of increasing medha agni and bala studies have shown that tail dhara and shiro pichu dhara also help in boosting the memory ashwasan chikitsa parents of child having learning disability do not know the severity of the problem and the acceptance level is poor hence counseling of parents should be done counseling of teachers should also be done to identify the children with learning disabilities and to change the mode of education for these children medya dravyas in charak samvita four medya dravyas have been described mandukparni yashtimadu guruchi shankopushpi action of medya dravyas 
Medher assigned drugs are known to have specific effect on mental performance by producing neuronutrient effect and improve the cerebral metabolism. These drugs support the intellect, that is the retention power, that is Riti, and memory, that is Smriti. Action of Medher Asayanas, having Sheet Virya and Madhura Vipak, promotes Kafa and enhances the Dharan Karma, that is retention of cognition, example Yashti Madhu and Mandukparni. Medhya Rasayanas having Ushna Virya and Tikta Rasa promotes Pitta and enhances the grahan, grahan Karma, grasping power of memory, example Guruji. Mandukparni, it plays an important role in improving the cognition and memory. Juice of the plant has cognitive, that is Medhya enhancer property. It has neuroprotective effects. It is a brain growth promoter as well as act on behavioral disorders. It improves learning and memory and has an anticonvulsant activity. Yashtimadu, fine powder of Yashtimadu dried root is used for Medhya property. Yashtimadu churna is effective for spatial learning and cerebral ischemia. It has memory strengthening activity and antioxidant activity. Dried roots of Yashtimadu are competent brain tonic. It increases the circulation of CNS system. It significantly improves learning and memory in dementia and also has memory enhancing activity. Guruji, it has neuroprotective activity, learning and memory enhancing activities and anti-stress activity. Guruji helps in cognition en uh, enrichment by increased production of acetylcholine, which enhances choline. Guruji uh, Swarasa played an efficient role in ischemic brain damage in rats. Shankapushpi, Kalka of Shankapushpi is used as Medhya Rasayana, effective in anxiety, neurosis, insomnia, effective in cerebral abnormalities, and serve as a wonderful nervine tonic. It enhances memory function due to its antioxidant and acetylcholine esterase inhibitory properties. Conclusion, Medhya Rasayanas improve memory, sharpen concentration, and improve the grasping power without side effects. They help in increasing circulation to brain, varying the concentration of neurotransmitters, activating the formation of new brain cells, Medhya Rasayanas play an important role at different levels, such as level of rasa, act by stimulating and improving the function of agni, and improve circulation of rasa by opening and cleaning microchannels for improved mental performance. Hence, more and more medicinal plants should be explored for learning disabilities. Uh, these are the references which I have taken. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Dhabini. Next, I invite Dr. Mida for presenting paper on the topic efficacy of Kadali Chara application in the management of internal hemorrhoids. I invite Dr. Mida. Hello? Yes, Hello? Doctor, you are audible. Uh, good evening, ma'am. How are you, ma'am? Good evening. Yes, uh, yes. ma'am. Uh, I can see your uh, slide. Please wait, ma'am. Yeah, okay. Uh, hello, ma'am. Hello. Oh. Yes, doctor. Uh, ma'am, oh, screen nahi dikh rahi hai. Nahi, doctor. It's not visible. Huh? It's not visible, doctor. Ek minute, ma'am. Ek minute. Uh, hello, ma'am. Yes, doctor. Ma'am, uh, directly, uh, uh, matlab, uh, directly, padu kya, ma'am, usko, screen, screen share ne ho rahi mere se. 
ओके डॉक्टर यू कैन वेट यू कैन प्रेजेंट लेटर वी कैन ट्राई वन मोर टाइम सो प्लीज बी देयर नहीं मैम वेट मैम वेट शेयर कर शेयर नहीं नंबर हेलो डॉक्टर मीरा वेट वेट सर शेयर कर डाउनलोड मध्य डॉक्यूमेंट मे डाउनलोड डॉक्टर यू हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम विथ स्क्रीन शेयरिंग वेट सर वेट जूम मध्य डेट हेलो डॉक्टर मीरा यस मैम एक मिनट मैम वन सेकंड मैम वन सेकंड मैम हेलो मैम ये स्लाइड इज इजिबल डॉक्टर प्लीज कंटिन्यू डॉक्टर थैंक यू सर माय टॉपिक इज इपीकेसी ऑफ अ कदलिक शार एप्लीकेशन इन द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ इंटरनल हिमोरॉइड इन रिडक्शन ऑफ पर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग एंड डिग्री ऑफ हिमोरॉइड्स अ केस रिपोर्ट माय कॉलेज नेम गवर्नमेंट आयुर्वेद कॉलेज एंड हॉस्पिटल नांदेड माय नेम इज डॉक्टर मीरा नामदेव नगरे पीजी स्कॉलर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ शल्यतंत्र माय गाईड नेम इज डॉक्टर रमेश जाधव असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर एंड गाईड डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ शल्यतंत्र abstracts anorectal disorder are progressively increasing in the society out of many of the causes some important are sedentary lifestyle irregular and inappropriate di- diet prolonged sitting and standing and certain psychological disturbance the prime cause of anorectal disorder is the instability of jetharagni digestive system which further lead to constipation arsha is one of the an- anorectal disorder mention in ayurveda with four fold treatment modalities as per severity and it is similar to quail as modern medicine in our daily routine practice we come uh, uh, across a number of patient who are uh, complaining about per rectal bleeding unsatisfied feeling after defecation uh, constipation indigestion the main cause for this high incidence is our change uh, change lifestyle the progressive pathogenesis of a disease produce various symptoms in patients such as a bleeding prolapse pruritus ano pain it is to treat this element number of modalities are present having their own importance uh, introduction a disease which agu- anguishes patients uh, vital force or prana is a uh, is a arsha in modern science arsha is correlated with hemorrhoid dilatation of the veins of the rectal flexus constitutes the condition of hemorrhoids and it is da- uh, downward sliding of anal cushions abnormally due to straining or other causes patient coming in the hospital suffer from the symptoms of arsha vitiation of doshas adversely affect the digestive system resulting mandagni which turns leads to malaustumba prolonged contact of uh, accumulate 
the mala and arsha develops dilatation of the veins of the internal rectal flexor uh, constitutes the condition of internal hemorrhoid which are covered by mucous membrane now a day nobody want to undergo surgical procedure and they expect a relief without surgery because surgical procedure causes many complaints such as anal stenosis incontinence of a stool infection etc which makes many people afraid of the procedure Akshara uh, is alkaline in nature, derived from a combination of various herbs that is applied to the pile mass with the help of special slit proctoscope types. Uh, there are two types of hemorrhoid, internal hemorrhoid and external hemorrhoid. Internal hemorrhoid above the dentate line covered with mucous membrane and external hemorrhoid below the dentate line covered with skin. Uh, and third type, third one type, it's ext external internal hemorrhoid uh, together occurs. Classification, primary hemorrhoids. Primary hemorrhoids located at three, seven, commonly 3, 7, and 11 o'clock position. Uh, secondary hemorrhoid, one which, one which occurs between the primary sites. And then classification second, first degree of hemorrhoid, first degree, th second degree, third degree, and fourth degree of hemorrhoid. First degree of hemorrhoid, spiles with, uh, within that may bleed but does not come out. Uh, uh, second degree hemorrhoid, spiles that prolapse during defecation but return back spontaneously. Third degree hemorrhoid, uh, piles uh, prolapse during defecation can replace back only by manual help. And uh, uh, fourth type, uh, fourth uh, one is a pile that are permanently prolapsed, that not reduce. Acharya Shushruta had described the four types of a treatment of Arsha, uh, Shastra Karma, uh, Kshar Karma, Agni Karma, and Beshach Karma. There are four types of uh, uh, treatment uh, described by Acharya Shushruta in Ayurveda. Then Akshar uh, Karma, application of a Pratisarni Akshar, it is a non-surgical uh, procedure indicated for management of Arsha. A medicine alkaline in nature derived from Kadli herbs is applied to the pile mass with the help of proctoscope. It is a type of a chemical cauterization. Material and method, a clinical case study of a second degree internal hemorrhoid, Kadlik Shara Pratisaran done on 04th, 7th day of OPD visited at GSCH Nanded. A 30-year male patient come to the OPD with complaints of mass per anus during defecation, constipation since six months per rectal bleeding occasionally. Proctoscope examination confirmed uh, the diagnosis as a case of 3, 7, and 11 o'clock position in a second degree internal hemorrhoid. After careful, um, after careful uh, inter intergoration of the patient, the following causative factors were identified as mentioned in classical uh, text. Intake of more spicy and non-vegetarian diet, irregular food habit, and straining to pass stool. This is a primary disease with impaired digestion uh, as underlying pathogenesis. Local examination, uh, perianal region, uh, uh, non, no abnormality detected. At anal verge, no abnormality detected. Per rectal digital examination, uh, palpable mass failed. Then proctoscopic examination done. Proctos in proctoscopic examination, second degree internal hemorrhoid at 3, 7, and 11 o'clock position uh, is seen. Uh, past history, uh, past surgical history, no uh, any abnormality detected. Then general examination, general condition, uh, moderate, good, pulse 76 minute uh, per minute, BP 120 by 80 mm of HG, pallor not found, icterus not found. All vitals parameter. Uh, we are within normal limits. Patients are hemodynamically stable. Uh, laboratory investigation also done. Uh, uh, there is a HB 11.5 gram percent, BT 2.10 per minute, CT uh, 3.30 per minute, BSL random 68 uh, mg percent, HIV and HBCG non reactive. Nidan Panchak, Hetu, Ruksha Vidahi Viruddha Napan, Ahitkar Vihar, Vej. Vega Vidharan, Purva Karma, Purva Roop, sorry, Purva Roop. Roop, mass per annum during defecation, per rectal bleeding and constipation. Then Samprapti, Hetu Sevan, Tridosh Rakta Prakop, uh, Tridosh plus Rakta Prakopak, Ahar Vyar, Dosh, Doshas get endlo, uh, endulged at Guda through Pradhan, uh, Pradhan Dhamni, Ma, Ma, uh, Manasankura Utpati, Masankur Utpati at a Guduali, Arsha develop. Then Upashe, Kadlik Shar Pratisaran, sees bath with lukewarm water and laxative triphalachurna. Uh, Chikitsa, uh, written informed consent of patient uh, first taken, then Kadlik Shar Pratisaran, uh, properties of Akshara, Rasa Katu, Anurasa Lavana, Guna, uh, Tikshna, Agneya, 
लक्षण वीर्य उष्ण विपाक कटु वर्ण श्वेत वर्ण दोषग्नता त्रिदोष शामक कर्म दहन पाचन दारण विलायन शोधन रोपण स्तंभन लेखन देन प्रोसिजर प्रोक्टोस्कोप लुब्रिकेटेड विथ लॉग जेली टू परसेंट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस इन टू द एनल कैनल टू विजुअलाइज इंटरनल हिमोरॉइड देन कदलीक्ष आर अप्लाइड ओवर द इंटरनल हिमोरॉइड ऑफ ग्रेड सेकंड एट थ्री सेवन एंड इलेवन ओ क्लॉक पोजिशन इन एडिक्युएट क्वांटिटी फॉर शट मात्रा एप्रोक्सिमेटली टू मिनिट देन क्षार वॉज वॉश विथ द हेल्प ऑफ अ फ्रेश लाइम ज्यूस आफ्टर एप्लिकेशन ऑफ अ क्षारा द पाइल पाइल मास वॉज चेंज इन टू ब्लूश ब्लैक देन पक्व जम्बुअष्ट फल सेम प्रोसिजर डन ऑन झीरो फोर सेवन डे एंड असेसमेंट ऑफ पेशंट वॉज डन ऑन सेवन फोर्टीन एंड थर्टीन डे एट जुएंट थेरपी फॉलो अप वन्स वीक फॉर फोर वीक्स डायट देन लाइफ स्टाइल गाइडन्स एंड करेक्शन वी आर सजेस्टेड एंड पेशंट वॉज एक्सपेक्टेड टू फॉलो देअर गाइडलाइन्स एटलिस्ट वन इयर फॉर दिस वन मंथ पीरियड फॉर फॉलोइंग ट्रीटमेंट वी आर प्रिस्क्राइब सीज बाथ इन ल्यूकॉर्म वॉटर वॉज एडवाइज आफ्टर इच डेपिकेशन देन त्रिफला चूर्ण फाइव ग्राम इन ल्यूकॉर्म वॉटर ओरली एट वेल टाइम एच एस ऑब्जर्वेशन एंड रिजल्ट फॉलो अप डे जीरो फोर सेवन फोर्टीन एंड थर्टीन डे डिग्री ऑफ ह्यूमोरॉइड जीरो डे डिग्री ऑफ ह्यूमोरॉइड सेकंड डिग्री पर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग प्रेजेंट कॉन्स्टिपेशन प्रेजेंट फोर डेला डिग्री ऑफ हिमोरॉइड सेकंड पर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग मिनिम रिड्यूस कॉन्स्टिपेशन डिक्रीजेस मतलब रिड्यूस सेवन डेज डिग्री ऑफ हिमोरॉइड फर्स्ट डिग्री पर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग अबसेंट कॉन्स्टिपेशन अबसेंट देन फोर्टीन डे डिग्री ऑफ हिमोरॉइड नॉन विजिबल देन पर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग अबसेंट कॉन्स्टिपेशन अबसेंट एंड डे थर्टी बी पर रेक्टल ब्लीडिंग अबसेंट कॉन्स्टिपेशन अबसेंट डिस्कशन एंड कंक्लूजन कदली प्रतिसार ने क्षार वॉज अप्लाइड ओवर सेकंड डिग्री इंटरनल हिमोरॉइड इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व दैट द पाइल मास बिकम ब्लैकिश ब्राउन इन टू मिनिट एज डिस्क्राइब बाय आचार्य सुश्रुता आफ्टर दैट द लेमन ज्यूस वॉज यूज टू न्यूट्रलाइज द क्षार आफ्टर प्रॉपर बर्न ऑफ अ पाइल मास इट वॉज ऑब्जर्व दैट कदली प्रतिसार ने क्षार कॉजेस को एगुलेशन ऑफ हिमोरॉइडल फ्लिक्जस नेक्रोसिस ऑफ अ टिश्यू फॉलोडेड बाय फाइब्रोसिस ऑफ फ्लिक्ज फ्लिक्जस एडिजन्स ऑफ म्यूकोजल एंड सबम्यूकोजल कोट ऑफ एनल कैनल विच प्रिवेंट द फर्दर डायलिटेशन ऑफ हिमोरॉइडल फ्लिक्जस एंड प्रिवेंट्स प्रोलैप्स ऑफ एनल क्वेश्चन It means uh, that cudlick shara play important role in the reduction of a degree of hemorrhoids as well as excellent results in per rectal bleeding. This makes permanent treatment of second uh, second internal hemorrhoid. Ref, uh, reference uh, Johnson's uh, J F Rim A optional non surgical treatment of hemorrhoids a comparative analysis of infrared coagulation rubber band ligation and sclerotherapy. I'm gastrointestinal 1992 87. वन सिक्स जीरो जीरो सिक्स सेकंड रेफरन्स वैद्य कविराज अंबिका दत्त शास्त्री सुश्रुत संहिता पार्ट वन सूत्रस्थान पब्लिश बाय सखंबा प्रकाशन वाराणसी रिप्रिंट टू थाउजंड थर्टी वर्स इलेवन बाय ट्वेंटी वन पेज नंबर फोर्टी नाइन रेफरन्स नंबर थ्री वैद्य कविराज अंबिका दत्त शास्त्री सुश्रुत संहिता पार्ट वन सूत्रस्थान पब्लिश बाय चौखंबा प्रकाशन वाराणसी रिप्रिंट टू थाउजंड थर्टीन वर्स इलेवन बाय ट्वेंटी सिक्स टू ट्वेंटी सेवन पेज नंबर फोर्टी नाइन देन फोर्थ रेफरन्स वैद्य ब्रह्मानंद त्रिपाठी अष्टांग हृदयम निदान स्थान पब्लिश बाय चौखंबा संस्कृत प्रस्थान दिल्ली रिप्रिंट टू थाउजंड सेवनटीन वर्स सेवन बाय वन पेज नंबर फोर सेवनटी सिक्स डॉक्टर यस दास अ कन्साइज टेक्स्ट बुक ऑफ सर्जरी पब्लिश बाय डॉक्टर यस दास कलकत्ता प्रिंटेड इन टू थाउजंड सिक्सटीन फॉर नाइन्थ एडिशन पेज नंबर वन थाउजंड नाइनटीन थैंक यू मैम thank you dr meera okay. next we have a paper presentation on the topic efficacy of madhugadi yoga in the management of dushtavrana with respect to non healing wound i invite dr divte rupali bale sahib for the presentation yes hello ma'am good evening doctor please start the session yes ma'am is it visible ma'am yes doctor visible yes, doctor okay good evening everyone myself dr rupali bala sahib dewte pg student from chhatrapati department from smbt ayurved college nashik maharashtra my guide name is professor dr datta kumawat today i present my paper on topic 
efficacy of madhukadi yoga in the management of dushtavrana with special reference of non healing wound as a study abstract the discontinuity of body tissue or the part of the body is nothing but the vrana a wound is a break in the integrity of the skin or tissue of tend which may be associated with disruption of the structure or function the healing of wound is the natural mechanism of the body naturally wound heals in 8 to 15 days if there is a no doshic invention wound occurs anywhere in the body generally in the lower extremities due to the venous insufficiency arterial insufficiency and diabetic neuropathy these wounds may hamper the quality life of the patients acharya shushruta has explained details of prana and its management by many different formulation like local application of prana ropak tel or grita prana dhavan with patha and prana dhupan etc this formulation have a potential to heal the wound here we represent a case of dushta prana a male patient having 56 years old consulted to shalya tantra opd of smbt ayurved hospital nashik with complaints of traumatic wound at lateral side of right lower leg with pain discharge inflamed and idiomatous skin irregular shaped wound since 3 months this case was managed with the local application of madhukadi yoga daily up to 2 months and almost healed this case study highlighted that local application of madhukadi yoga occurs good result in dushtavrana patient introduction wound is an injury to the body that typically involves breaking of the skin and usually damage to underlying tissue it represents a difficult problem which significantly affect the quality of life of the patients by pain local infection and systemic symptoms un developing in the lower extremities due to the venous insufficiency arterial insufficiency and diabetic neuropathy in ayurveda this type of etiology can be considered under dushtavrana which is difficult to heal dushta is in the in which there is the localization of patha pitta and kapha dosha brana which had a bad smell has a abnormal color with profuse discharge intense pain and take a long period to heal in shushrutaita acharya shushruta has mentioned the concepts of different types of prana among along with the 60 upakramas of brana chikitsa he has also con, uh, also commented for definition causes feature prognosis progress stage and different treatment modalities in brana nij agantu dushta shuddha sadya brana dushta brana etc are mainly classified and described under the title of brana which include local as well as the systematic use of uh, different drug and treatment modalities brana lakshanas are high in the intensity and which is almost almost opposite to the shuddha brana in this context we can understand it as a non healing wound ayurveda gives more important to pre- preventing majors and complete curing of disease with a minimal chance of recurrence madhukadi yoga is a known vranaropak formulation and due to its wound healing activity it has been tried in this case and found efficacy of madhukadi yoga in the management of dushtavrana next is aim and objective to evaluate the role of madhukadi yoga in the management of dushtavrana and to study the vrana as per ayurvedic and modern texts next is the case report a 56 years old male patient consulted to opd of shalya tantra department of smbt ayurved hospital nashik was presented with the complaints of traumatic wound on lateral side of right lower leg with severe pain discharge foul smelling idiomatous and inflamed skin margin since last 3 months history of before a 3 months the patient was all right then while going on the road a bike man hit from the road he fell down and struck a with sharp stone and got injured badly on the lower lateral side of right leg with, which produced the swelling with pain and formulation of the wound after few days swelling becomes inflamed the wound was treated with antibiotic ointment by a local doctor but it fails to respond the patient also went to some allopathic hospital at nashik for the treatment but it didn't react positively to the treatment and at last he came the ayurvedic uh, for the ayurvedic management at smbt ayurvedic hospital nashik history of no no any history of hypertension diabetic mellitus and uh, tuberculosis no history of any surgical treatment next is a local examination site 
lateral side of right lower leg number single edge and margin both are irregular size 10 is to 8 is to 0.5 cm discharge purulent tenderness present regional lymph node are not enlarged and so palpable next is material and method in this study madhuka yoga was used for the local application ingredients of compound gogrita madhu nimba patra swaras and krishna til seeds powder preparation of madhuka yoga it is the combination of madhu grita nimba patra swaras and tilakalka we had taken all above mentioned drug in equal quantity and mixed well and made a paste form fresh paste was prepared every day before using in wound methodology wound was cleaned with the panchaval kalpatha after cleaning of wound madhuka yoga was applied and covered with the sterile gauze piece and bandaged daily there is the subjective parameter uh, pain discharge uh, sign of infection and wound surface and their uh, score are mentioned in the table next is result and observation when patient came at smbt hospital uh, he has continuous pain uh, moderate discharge local temperature and odor present over the wound and wound surface is excited and wound size is 10 is to 8 is to 0.5 cm um, after that he came every day for the treatment up to 2 months uh, actually i uh, it was not possible to get uh, so much follow up so only a few follow up are mentioned in the table uh, observation uh, on 15 30 40 uh, and 60 day on the 60 day he has no pain no discharge Uh, there was no any sign of infection on surface is uh, healthy just minimal scar was there uh, and i had to uh, a follow up one month after the end of the treatment to see if the uh, wound is healed or uh, uh, to check the recurrence so there was uh, no pain after treatment in so there was uh, no pain no uh, discharge no surface it uh, healed no any sign of infection or uh, there is the no recurrence seen just minimal scar mark was present there this is the result i got i was got next is discussion treatment can include medication therapy or surgeries a process to remove dead tissue called debridement it has an option for the cleaning your wound keeping site clean and for, uh, free from debris is important to promote healing healing is the natural process it is inhibiting by uh, various factor process of wound healing including in the three phases phase of inflammation phase of proliferation and phase of differentiation according to ayurvedic management ropan is always associated with the shodhana because a wound can't be healed if it is not shuddha deranged doshas Can, can't be treated with a single drug all the time there therefore number of drug of different properties uh, described as a vrana shodhak and vrana ropak in the management of dushta vrana drug which contains katu tikta madhur and kashaya rasa are more useful to remove the maximum dushti by the virtue of shodhana stravahar dahahar and vrana ropak uh, drug should be am pachak tridoshar krimihar uh, vishahar and puyanirar panchavalkal is a form, formulation with kashaya rasas predominant and by the action of rasa it act as a stambak and grahi it is also toka prasad uh, due to all these property it must have reduced the strava Ph- um, pharmacological action of the panchavalkal proves all that all five drugs of panchaval kala are found to have anti inflammatory analgesic anti microbial and wound healing properties the effect of madhu in promoting vranaropak is attributed to its madhur kashaya rasa and pishchila shita lagu gunas madhur rasa of honey exports direct nutrient effect on the regeneration of tissue because it contains a wide range of amino acid vitamins and trace elements in addition to large quantities of ready assembled sugars kashaya rasa has cleaned the uh, wound surface and remove the foul smelling from the wound by destroying the bacteria which produce the ammonia uh, shita guna is correlated as uh, anti inflammatory action of honey which smooth and promote healing by reducing pain and inflammation pishchil guna act as uh, moist moist retention at moist wound environment is a less painful required fewer dressing change and produces the better cosmetic result 
tilakalka is a smoothing and in, instant pain relieving since it pacify the vata Uh, sisamol or chemical present in the tila has a phenol ring and act as an anti-inflammatory drug nimba patra kalka can be used externally because of its pitta pitta shamak property and it is indicated for vrana creamy kushtha and visha in ayurvedic classic also neem contains many ingredients many active ingredients such as a nimbidin nimbi nimbidol with anti-inflammatory antibacterial antifungal and antiviral properties that may helps it accelerate the wound healing pro- process uh, neem also contains excellent amount of amino acid vitamins and minerals that is a very important in wound healing process in proliferation phase gogrita has a smoothing property it form a thin film over them and that allow early pathologization of the wound madhu is a very good vrana shodak due to the kshushmal it enters a very small pores around the wound site and don't allow any infection to enter the site from all these properties of madhukadi yoga it works wonderful in dushtavrana next is the conclusion this single case study concluded that regular cleaning with cleaning with panchaval kalpata and dressing that is local application of madhukadi yoga have a healing activity in non healing chronic wound this formulation is a safe easy to apply and tolerable to everyone without any side effect and most important is this drug is easily available below is their references thank you ma'am thank you so much thank you doctor next i invite dr asmita ramesh patvi for presenting the paper on the topic efficacy of trikandakadi gugulu gugulu compound in mootrashmari Yes, ma'am. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, doctor. Please uh-huh. start the session. Good evening, everyone. I'm Asmita Padvi uh, from SMBT Ayurved College, Maharashtra. My guide name is uh, Shilpa Bade, and here I'm presenting a study on the efficacy of a trichotillomania gugur compound in Mutrashmari. abstract mm-hmm. uh abstract urolithiasis is one of the commonest pre- uh, presentation in the clinical settings kidney stone disease is affecting about 12% of the world population and approximate of 2 million people in india is affected with the with this type of disease every year statistical data on the incidence of urolithiasis in india Uh, is really a uh, very some uh, due to the sharp increase uh, from 0.9% to 9% over 20 years in ayurveda text urinary calculus uh, has been described in detail under the heading heading of mutrashmari acharya shushrut has uh, described that ashmari is a surgical condition for treatment various herbs like uh, kulatha gokshura apamarga pashan bhed and varun are also described for mutrashmari in that study trikantakadi gugul compound is used for the management of mutrashmari for this study 10 patient were randomly selected as per our inclusion and exclusive criteria introduction doctor your uh, screen is not visible uh, now ma'am hello yes doctor you hello. can continue introduction the term ashmari is etymologically derived as ashmam rati means that which take the form of a stone the pathogenesis of ashmari begins with the initial aggravation of a vat hence mutra Ashmari is a vata dominant tridosha vyadhi it occurs when aggravated vat along with the other dosha with pitta and kapha vitiates mutra in mutravah srotas this leads to the stroto dushti referred to as a sang whenever the passage is obstructed vimarga gaman of vata take place uh, causing pain all the passage 
which is generally presented as a referred pain the treatment of a ashmari based on the pathogenesis is to break down the dosha dusha samurchana according to them vata jashmari is a calcium oxalate stone pitta jashmari can be uric acid stone urate stone and cysteine stone and kapha jashmari is a phosphate stone based on the characters explained in ayurveda hence the goal of the treatment is a focus mainly on relieving the obstruction and regularizing the vata dosh according to pancha mahabhut siddhant when anything influence the agni and jal in urine there occurs different forms of a mutra vikar in mutrashmari either agni or jal will be decreased to a point where the clay the present in a mutra Uh, start uh, crystallizing into a compact mass the drug or uh, therapeutic uses which breaking or dissolving the compact mass drug augment the agni or jala tatva will help in the causes uh, tikshna and ushna guna augment the agni tatva while the drugs with the snigdha and shita gun will augment the jala tatva aim and objective efficacy of trikantakadi gugul compound in the management of mutrashmari to study the mutrashmari uh, as per ayurvedic and modern text material and methods this is a clinical study conduct uh, conduction on 10 patient of mutrashmari which is selected from uh, opd ipd of our hospital drug review for this study trikantakadi gugul compound is a use for Uh, chikitsa aspect drug schedule name trikantakadi gugur form tablet dose 500 mg bd uh, with uh, water after uh, with warm water after meal duration 3 months maximum uh, ingredients uh, gokshur gugul trifala trikatu and musta uh, criteria for selection of a patient a uh, patient suffering from silent feature of mutrashmari mutrashmari described in ayurveda and modern texts attending the opd and ipd of smbt ayurved hospital has been confirmed with the help of plain x ray abdomen and uh, usg were selected randomly irrespective of their age sex caste and etc patient who did not want to undergo surgery or uh, those who were unfit for surgery surgical intervention had been taken for the study patient with a stone size less than 1 cm in diameter in any part of a urinary system area for uh, criteria for exclusion Uh, the patient, uh, patient with impaired renal function or any severe complication, patient with immediate surgical requirement uh, had been excluded from uh, from the study. Patient having the stone size more than one centimeter in diameter. Investigation, uh, routine uh, blood, urine, and stool uh, investigation. Special. Uh, serum calcium serum creatinine and uric acid blood urea radiologically plain x ray uh, intravenous urography and is uh, usg S- subjective uh, parameters uh, uh, first is pain and described uh, uh, here is the their score burning micturition and their score and dysuria urine uh, urine examinations rbcs uh, here is the score and follow up all the patient uh, were study under this clinical trial after uh, completion of their treatment for prescribed period Uh, were instructed to regular check up once a week for 3 months during this follow up uh, study period patient were examined through truly for the recurrence of either sign and symptoms or stones here is the uh, result a uh, pair t test used for a data analysis carry out uh, selected as per inclusion and exclusive criteria 
with graphical presentation i was selected a 10 patient according to the selective criteria trikantaka adi gugud was given to the selected patient and observed patient during treatment and after treatment according to their uh, follow up and finally uh, i got a result on a pain dysuria and burning micturition uh, discussion Uh, for the manifestation of disease ashmari the kapha dosha is the main factor which contribute the nucleus for the pathogenesis it is also known uh, fact that when the urine becomes stagnated in the urine system for a long time it gets concentrated and infected thus there is a more chance yielding for a stone formation for that the main motto for the treatment must be kapha haral lekhan and mutral the compound possess all the needful action like a kapha haral and mutral the whole ingredient are process in the decoction of okshur which by itself is a good diuretic and aphrodisiac a gokshur along with a gugul and other ingredients have potential anti inflammatory action most of these diseases are caused by vitiated cough with association of either morbid vat or pitta the whole compound has a potential cough tends to uh, uh, trip pass into the sites of vat where in the urinary and genital apparatus are present mainly controlled by apan vayu apan vayu helps in easy discharge of a urine stool the kapha uh, gravitate due to the pooling effect of a, a vat uh, blocks the excretion of all these elements by clearing the blocks caused by morbid kapha the whole compound clears the channel and pathways uh, uh, for these elements uh, to be eliminated properly gugul is the best in the business of rectifying and stabilizing the metabolic errors it removes blocks in various channels of body and facilitate facilitates easy transportation of nutrients and essential gugul effectively alleviates vat which is basically the causative factor for all the painful and obstruction conditions the vat elevating property of atrika to gugul and trifala uh, in the compound imparts a total and comprehensive effect on a morbid vat the laxative property of trifala has in pushing uh, the vitiated vat in a a uh, downward direction hence clearing the lower passage trifala musta trikattu and trikattu have a good uh, vat elevating property when vayu gets control all the activities will be conducted in a smooth way the whole compound acts effectively to reduce swelling and inflammation uh, thus in total this formulation has the capacity to disintegrate the pathogenesis of the disease and due to the di its diuretic property it flushes out the disintegrated ashmari by the process of diuresis conclusion the male female ratio suggests that the male uh, were more susceptible to the disease this this may be due to the habits of a tea coffee uh, tobacco uh, in more in male and th there is another theory also testosterone hormone also play an important part in the formation of mutrashmari trikantakadi gugul compound is effective in the management uh, symptomatic management of mutrashmari here is the references thank you thank you ma'am thank you doctor next i invite dr ranjit r jadav for the paper presentation yes. good evening ma'am Good evening, doctor. Hello. Is my screen visible too? Yes, doctor. Okay. Good evening, all. Today I am present by topic Ayurvedic management of male infertility. <clears throat> After in the generation of globalization and modernization, incidence of disease, uh, physical and mental, increasing rapidly. Infertility is the reproductive health problem that affects 60 to 80 million couples worldwide according to who 
Ayurveda consists of Rusha and Rasayan majors for the management of Shukra Dosha. And Shandatva, main ill fertility. These two groups of drugs remain to be the main stay in the management of infertility in the Ayurveda when the causative factor is associated with Rasadhati. Then Rasayan is more useful. And when it is associated with Shukradhati, then Vajikaran plays major role in the management. These two respectively represent the concept of Anuloma and Pratiloma Kshay of Dhatus. Vajikaran is commonly meant for the management of Shukra Dosha. Similarly, Rasayan is very useful in Chara Kleibya and Shukra Kshaya. Susurut considers that Vajikaran Tantra will cover four conditions, which is Al Alpa Dushta Kshina and Vishushka Retasa. Ruddha Vagbhat considered it as the treatment for the management of Shukra Doshas and for enhancing the capacity to perform well sex. Lagu Vagbhat also mentioned the same and emphasize its utility in infertility conditions. Chakrapani mentioned Vajikaran as the drug which makes a Vaji, one without or less Shukra, as Vaji, one with Shukra. It may be interpreted as the drug which is useful in oligospermia or oligospermia or azospermia. Ayurveda emphasized positive and comprehensive healthcare to the Swasta Vadi <coughs> So state Dravya respectively, this emphasizes Ayurvedic approach towards preventive healthcare. Etymology of Vajikaran. Vajikarans. Vaji means horse, the drug which enhances the sexual power and libido like horse, combinedly called Vajikaran Dravyas. Classification of Vajikaran Dravyas. According to Charak and Chakrapani, uh, classified in the three groups, Shukra Srutikara, Shukra Vriddhikara, Shukra Sruti Vriddhikara. According to Susurut and Dalana, uh, Shukra Janak, which nourishes Rasa to Shukra Dhati, for example, Mams Grata, etc. Second, Shukra Pravartak, which helps in ejaculation, that is, uh, for example, Uchata Chujna, etc. Third, Shukra Janak Pravartaka, for example, Go Guruta, Go Dhuma, Mash, etc. According to Sharangar and Adamanda, Vajikar, which improves the libido, for example, Nagbala, Ahipen, Banga, etc., represent the various thumbak property, while Kapikachu indicates virya vardhana effect. Second one is Shukral, the drug which enhances Shukra, spermatogenesis, for example, Ashwagandha, Mushari, Shatavari, etc. Third, Shukra Janak Pravartak, which acts as both Shukra Janak, spermatogenesis, as well as Pravartak, help in ejaculation. For example, Kshira, Masha, Bhallatak, Falamajja, Amulak, etc. Fourth one is Shukra Stambak, a jati fall is claimed to be control the ejaculation that is useful in case of premature ejaculation, that is useful in case of premature ejaculation. Then, mode of action of Vajikaran Dravya in infertility. In many Ayurveda Sanhitas, description in general that it will take one month for the formation of Shukra, but may not require one month for the Vajikaran drugs to exhibit their effect. This concept is acceptable only in the case of Shukra, shukra Vardak drug, since they are involved in spermatogenesis. Vajikaran drugs acts by its prabhav, indefinable power. Vajikaran drugs are commonly Madhur Ras, Madhur Yupaki, Shita Viryatmak, and Guru Pichil, Snake the Gunatma, which similarly to Shukra Gun, that acts as a Shukra Vardak. Shukra Stambak drugs are Kikta Kashai Rasatma, thus acts as a Shukra Stamban by its property. Then Rasayan Chikitsa, in the context of Swastha Urjaskar Chikitsa, it is concluded that Ubayang Ubayatakari, that means both Vajikaran and Rasayan, are to be used for same purpose. Yogendrana Sen reads Rushata in place of Pranati, which is one of the qualities of Rasayana. It indicates that Rasayan generally is also Rusha. He also points out that the word Sastanam is read as Saptanam, which means Rasayan provides nourishment to all Dhatus from Rasa to Shukra. In the context of Ashtavida Shukra Dosha, Dallan quoted that they are treated by Rasayan and Vajikaran Yoga. Jajat is of the opinion that Vajikaran should be taken regularly, though though it not permitted to promote all the Dhatus like Rasayana. 
सामान्य चिकित्सा में इनफर्टिलिटी फर्स्ट शोधन चिकित्सा इन शोधन चिकित्सा फर्स्ट वन इज विरेचन चिकित्सा विरेचन इज मेन फॉर द शुक्र दोष एज वेल एज क्लब अकॉर्डिंग टू चर्ट सेकंड इज वस्ती अनुवासन वस्ती ने प्रोवाइड मन प्रसादाना वीर्य बल वर्ण अग्नि पुष्टि यापन वस्ती स्पेशली इंडिकेटेड इन शुक्र दोषा एंड क्लब्य नस्य नस्य मे बी गिवन टू स्टॉप सेनाइल चेंजेस लाइक दंत केश मशरू शोष वली पलित प्रादुर्भाव एक्सेट्रा शमन चिकित्सा इन शमन चिकित्सा फर्स्ट इज आहार दैट इज डाइट धान्य वर्ग शाली धान्य मांस कुलत्थ द्रव्य वर्ग मिल्क जीवनीय नारिकेलोदक मांस वर्ग चिकन प्रसह मांस अकॉर्डिंग टू चार शाक वर्ग काकमाची विदारी कंद पल वर्ग आमलकी मृद्विका खरजुर कंद वर्ग पलांडू लशुना शतावरी क्रतान्न वर्ग गुड़ शर्करा लाजा पेया एक्सेट्रा विहार दैट इज बिहेवियर फॉर एक्सरसाइज अभ्यंग व्यायाम निद्रा नेक्स्ट औषध दैट इज ड्रग थे चरक अकॉर्डिंग टू चरक शुक्र जनन शुक्र शोधन बल्य वयस्थापन शुक्र शोधन ड्रग्स आर कुष्ट एलवाकू इच्छू उशिरा अकॉर्डिंग टू सुश्रुता विदारी गंदादी इज इंडिकेटेड फॉर शोष साली साल सारादी दैट इज फॉर मेह मेदो रोग शुक्र दोषा मुश्क आदि शुक्र दोषा हरता शुक्र स्मरी काकोल्यादि वृश्य ब्रूहन जीवनीय आमला क्या दी वृश्य लघु वाकब ड्रग्स पद्म का दी गण पुष्कर आदि गण दिस इज माई रेफरेंसेस थैंक यू डॉक्टर रंजित नेक्स्ट आई इनवाइट डॉक्टर प्रियंका वेखंडे आई इनवाइट डॉक्टर प्रियंका फॉर द प्रेजेंटेशन हेलो गुड इवनिंग मैम गुड इवनिंग डॉक्टर हेलो Ma'am, I can't share screen. Uh, doctor, please try it again. Hello. Doctor, please try it once again. Okay. Mm, other participant is sharing screen. Uh, please wait. Hello, Doctor Kiran. Yes, ma'am. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, Are you trying to share your screen now? No, ma'am. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. Hello. Hello. Yes, ma'am. Is it okay now? Hmm. Yeah, ma'am. Doctor, still, do you have the same problem? No, ma'am. So you just share now? one minute. Yeah, okay. just one minute.
Doctor, can you share it now? Yeah, one minute, ma'am. Doctor Priyanka, you have any yes, problem with screen sharing? Uh, yes, sir. Option name will run. One minute, Doctor. I will share for you. Okay. Okay, sir. Doctor, please start the session, Doctor. Okay, thank you, sir. Good evening, everyone. My name is Dr. Priyanka. I'm from SMBT Ayurved College. My guide name is Dr. Shilpa Bade. Today's my topic is a case study on management of Pittash Mari with special reference to gallbladder stone. Abstract. The disease gallstone has not been described directly in Ayurvedic classic, but on the basis of clinical manifestation, the disease has extra hepatic biliary disorder disorder may be correlated to Pittashmari, Pittodar, Yakrut, Plihodar, and Pittachud. Ashmari is not new for Ayurvedic physician. In classics, the word Ashmari stands for stone, which is described, uh, described only in the context of Bastigat Ashmari. Goldstone are hardly hardened deposition of precipitate bile comp uh, component in the gallbladder, a tiny organ underneath the liver. To aid digestion, the gallbladder stone store and release bile, a fluid produced by your liver. Bile also transport waste such as co cholesterol and bilirubin, which your body produce a red blood cell are broken down. Gallstone can develop result of several factors. The ancient taste of Charak Samvita Ashtang Rida and Shushrut Samvita not only explain the pathophysiology of gallstone, but also provide wealth of natural treatment of balancing the doshas and resolving cholelithiasis. Gokshura de Gugal, Pashanbad Vati, Punanavadi Yoga show its work in uh, its helpful in Shodhan, Anulavan, Deepan, Pachan, Vedana Stapan, and Kapha Shama properties. So it is also have helpful to dissolve and reduce the size of Ashmari. Introduction. In Samhitas, the earliest no authorized the try the Ayurveda and based uh, Ayurveda on and based on sound sci uh, scientific footing, all physiological and pathological phenomena were interrupted logically. Also, all type of disease described in Ayurveda have their medical or surgical management. The description of Ashmari, Ashmari is not new for Ayurvedic physician, and even through there is no straightforward description of gallbladder and gallstone. But on the basis of clinical manifestation, the disease of extrahepatic biliary disorder may be correlated to Pittashmari, Pittodar, and Yakrutliodar, and Pittashil. The prevalence of gallstone in India, uh, it's more common in hum human in North, Northeast, and East as compared to other zone in the country. In children, the gallbladder stone found in approximately 5% in between 30 and uh, 70 years age group. Prevalence is 10% in male and 19% in female and increase in 17 to 80 years year, year old people. Its prevalence is 30 to 40 percent. The disease gallstone has not been described directly in Ayurveda, Ayurvedic classic. The word Ashmari in Ayurveda stands for the stone, which is described only the con con context, the Bastika Tashmari, gallbladder uh, store Pitta. Hence, the organ gallbladder is considered the Pitta, pitta Shai in Ayurveda and the stone form in it can be considered as Pittashmari. Hence, the presence, present study I was undertaken with the aim to describe the treatment of cholelithiasis as per Ayurveda. Uh, in Shushrut Samhita, there is discussion uh, about pathogenesis of stone formation in urinary blood. Pathogenesis of uh, stone formation in urinary bladder. They also said that uh, sediment are ultimately deposited from the clear and transparent water at the bottom of new creatures which contain it. As the wine and lighten, lightning jointly uh, condense the rain water into the hailstone. So the body, uh, bodily value and pitta jointly contribute to the 
condensation of kafir in the bladder and transport uh, transform into uh, it into stone this happens when excess kafir dosha combine with the pitta characterize of viscous fluid bile causing it to become dry and hardened this away cause symptoms such as alasya or lethargy gaurav and abdominal heaviness and decrease in agni or the digestive fire the ancient taste ancient taste of charak samhita ashtangruda and shushut samhita not only explain the pathogenesis and go, pathogenesis of gall bladder but also provide wealth of natural treatment for balancing the doshas doshat and resolving polycythesis next my material and method single case presentation it's uh, a 42 year old male patient come with opd in smbt ayurved uh, with complaining of dull aching pain in right hypochondriac region and heaviness in the right hypochondriac region since one and half year one and half month uh, patient is al already done uig uh, present history uh, in attempt to get rid of this problem uh, he consulted many uh, allopathic allopathic doctor but owing no improvement uh, in the condition the patient was advised uh, to undergo surgery very much re reluctant to surgery the patient visited our hospital for conservative treatment uh, known complaints of hyper patient suffering from hypertension since last 4 year personal history of uh, patient uh, vitals are also normal pulse is 90 96 per minute blood pressure is also 140 is 140 by 90 mm of hg saturation is normal temperature is also normal other bowel sound is in this patient is sluggish appetite mild diet is mixed urine frequency is uh, adequate motion pass sleep and adequate investigation in investigation uh uhg seen 11.6 mm uh, into 8 mm uh, gallstone at the neck of gall bladder before uh, this uhg report is before treatment now uh, we can give uh, treatment the patient was switch on the following ayurvedic treatment in this way uh, first pashan vedadi vati with uh, sheet jal punanavadi yog churna with uh, yavakshar uh, punanavadi yog churna plus yavakshar with milk uh, one tablespoon in bd gokshuradi gogul with uh, sheet jal two tablet in bd this treatment given for almost 4 month uh, in during treatment uh, first uhg is done before before treatment uh, second uhg is done uh, during treatment after 2 month uh, in this uhg gall bladder is normal in shape and size calculus measuring 6 mm at the neck of gall bladder after treatment of, uh, uh, after 4 month gall bladder uh, uhg seen uh, does not show any intra uh, luminal ecogenic contact no any Uh, gallstone is seen in uh, after treatment result so far subjective parameter is concerned the patient started feeling better from the very beginning uh, 15 days after the introduction uh, introduction of uh, after the ingestion of medicine and uh, complete relief after 4 4 months discussion according to ayurveda all the three doshas was vat pitta kaf play a role in, in role in formation of golf gallstone excessive increase of pitta caused by hot spicy food and alcohol etc create the basis uh, basis for stall for uh, stone formation kaf increase by fatty heavy food mix with pitta and produce highly sticky mixture vat derives this mixture and molds in it into shape of the stone ayurveda ayurvedic treatment element the need for surgery by assisting the body to expel the stone naturally cholelithiasis has been compared with pitta shmari as the name suggests pitta shmari bear both pitta vardhak and ashmari producing etiological factor in its caution therefore management of pitta ashmari uh, should uh, incorporate 
the medicine having properties to nullify both the factor ingredient of goksharadi gugul pashan vedadi vati punarnavadi yogchurna yavakshar is work लाइक अ लेखन छेदन भेदन शोधन अनुलमन दीपन पाचन वेदना स्थापन एंड कफ शामक प्रॉपर्टी सो इट्स हेल्प टू डिजॉल्व एंड रिड्यूस द साइज ऑफ स्टोन कंक्लूजन इन दिस केस स्टडी द पेशेंट हैज शो इनकरेजिंग रिजल्ट ड्यूरिंग द मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कॉलेलिटिस एज पर द यूएजी एबडोम uh the patient has got read to 11 into 8 mm gallstone within only 3 to 4 month of short duration of adopting ayurvedic medicine in add, uh, addition the general condition of the patient has also improved uh, positively therefore on the basis of observation and result of this case study in uh, it can be infer in in fear that ayurveda has the potential to treat cholelithiasis effectively and hence the sufferer must be advised to go, uh, get benefit benefited from the ayurvedic healing science and give active participation in the national proposition by leading enthusiastic and happy lives reference special reference is shushrut samhita charak samhita uh, ashtang hruday yastas and some articles thank you thank you doctor next i invite dr sheetal vasindrao borkar for presenting paper i invite dr sheetal vasantrao hello dr sheetal i invite dr sheetal vasantrao for the presentation so next i invite dr anju balakrishnan for the paper presentation okay ma'am okay, ma'am ma am i audible ma'am yes doctor you are audible Am I screen is visible, ma'am? Yes, doctor. Okay. Good evening. Myself, Dr. Anju Balakrishna, the Vaguna PG scholar from the uh, from SGM Ayurvedic College, Udupi. Today, I am going to deal with the topic therapeutic approach of Charagopta Kandupna Dravyas under the valuable guidance of. Uh, Dr. Muhammad Faisal, Associate Professor from the Department of Dravya Guna Vidyana, SGM College, Udupi. Coming to the introduction, as we all know, the kandu means the kandu. The word refers to itching. In Shatta Kalpa Druma, it is told that eda kanda edi kandu yuktam karodi sharira. That means the one which causes misery or suffering to the sharira can be considered as kandu. and the kadnukta refers to the drugs which is having the action of pacifying this itching and mostly the drug is the drug that is having a kafahara action can obviously bring this action in maharoga adhyaya by charaka acharya while mentioning about the nanatmaja vyadis especially while mentioning about the kafaja nanatmaja vyadis acharya has mentioned uh, the few of the karmas of kafa as we see shaitya shaitya kandu kandu is mentioned as one of the karma of the kapha in the same chapter while mentioning about the role of the pitta uh, that is pitta janaanatmaja vyadi ajarya has mentioned uh, the kandu as one of the symptoms so as we all know the pitta or kapha is either responsible for the uh, induction of kandu 
we doesn't get any direct reference of vada uh, in the involvement of kandu but since the vada is having ruksha khara properties obviously there will be uh, dryness etc and there will be uh, a causing of itching kandu can be considered as pruritus and it is the most common symptoms that is seen in almost all the dermatological disorders it is defined as it is an uncomfortable sensation and emotional experience associated with an actual or perceived disturbance to the skin that provokes a desire to scratch the causes of the itching may be either dry skin skin conditions or any rashes especially in case of diaper rashes etc in case of systemic diseases uh, like renal insufficiency and in case of nerve disorders like uh, trigeminal nerve lesions and in case of irritation and any allergic reactions most of the people will be allergic towards any of the food stuff or some are allergic towards the pollen grains and even we know if we stand under the balla jaga tree there will be formation of blisters and there will be associated symptoms and even in case of any immunological disorders just like atopic dermatitis or psoriasis etc and even uh, the uh, person who is uh, or the patients taking some of the drugs except uh, just like morphine etc and in case of some of the psychological factors and even in case of pregnancy that is stria gravidorum that usually occurs at the 7th month now coming to the uh, topic proper that is the kandugna dravyas explained by charagacharya <laughs> acharya has mentioned the drugs chandana nalada kridamala naktamala nimba kudaja sarshabha maduka daru haridra mustanidi dashemani kandugnani bhavandi these are the drugs this is the pictures of the drugs and this is the properties of the drugs that is mentioned as we see the most of the drug is having pitta kashaya madura rasa ruksha lagu snigdha guna and sheetha and uh, combination of sheetha and ushna veeriya and most of the drug is having the kadu vibhaga and while we do the sankrapti vikadana we can see the as the drug contain most of the drugs contain pitta kashaya and madura rasa it will help in help in pacifying the pitta and hence by uh, the tissue metabolism can be corrected whereas the drugs is having kadu vibhaga it is having the ability to correct the mal digestion and even it is very much beneficial in blood purifying <clears throat> and uh, in case of kandu uh, while assessing the kandu we have to assess the associated symptoms just like whether there is any oozing any burning sensation so that the combination of drugs has to be made according to the conditions and the drugs has to be selected considering the doshic predominance or else there will be uh, further worsening of the condition for example in case of kandu that is associated with kapha obviously we have to go for the drugs having the properties like ushna tikshna and uh, lagu properties but if uh, the kandu is caused because of vidagdha avastha of the pitta and we use the uh, drugs like ushna tikshna it will further worsen the conditions so in case of pitta uh, associated with kandu such conditions the drugs having uh, like uh, sheetha manda and guru properties has to be selected for example if the itching is uh, associated with oozing then obviously we can go for the drugs like aragvada or uh, daru haridra and even nimba etc and if the itching is associated with dryness or scaling is present then we have to opt the sheetha veeriya drugs just like chandana or yashti madhu or even nalada such drugs has to be selected coming to the drugs and few of its researchers now first coming to the drug that is aragvada uh, the drug is having so properties hence act as pitta kapha samshodaka coming to the research article here it is a clinical evaluation of tribut powder and aragvada patra leva in the management of vicharchika here total of 60 patients having the inclusion criteria of vicharchika was selected and they were divided into two groups the first 30 was given with tribut powder and the left 30 was given with aragvada patra leva for about 4 weeks and there was considerable and significant reduction in the itching discharge and burning sensation observed next drug is karanja and the drug is having the above mentioned properties hence act as vada kapha shamaka coming to the research it's a clinical study on the efficacy of karanja bija taila along with dushi vishari agada in the management of psoriasis here total 30 patients were selected and these 30 patients were given with karanja taila external application and dushi vishari agada internal administration 
and uh, uh, it was given for about 14 days and it was found that there was 50% reduction in the itching and more than 80% reduction in the scaling. Next, coming to the drug Nimba, because of its properties, the drug is having Pitta Kapha Shamana action. And coming to the research, it is a uh, review article where the medicinal potential of the Nimba was assessed. And as we all know, the Nimba is a well-known antimicrobial, antibacterial drug. And the uh, Nimba is very rich in the phytoconstituent called Asadir actin, and uh, it has the ability to inhibit the microbial growth. And it is a best antibacterial, antifungal drug. It is also having antihistaminic action. And it is another research uh, regarding Nimba. It's a clinical observation of Nimba and Shirisha in the simple epidermal viral conjunctivitis. In conjunctivitis, as we all know, there will be itching, discharge, everything will be present. So here, uh, total of 55 subjects were selected and Ashodhana was done with uh, this uh, Nimba. And it was done for about three days, twice daily. And it was uh, found to be a good antiseptic. Uh, it was found to be a good antiseptic action. Now coming to the next drug, that is Kudaja. It is having uh, Pitta Kapha Shamana action. Coming to the research, a clinical analytical study on the seed of Rhytia antidysendrica as a therapeutic emetic agent in the management of the psoriasis. Here, total 30 subjects were selected and all the poor were karma, just like Deepana Pajana. Uh, Deepana Pajana was done with Panchakola Churna for three days and later Sneha Pana was done with uh, Murchita Gredha till the Sneha Siddhi Lakshanas were obtained and Abhyanga was done for one day with Murchita Taila. And after that, the drug, that is 12 gram of this Bija Churna was administered uh, to induce Vamana. And it was found that there was 69% reduction in the itching. And after Samsarjana Karma, there was more than 75% relief in the itching. Coming to the next drug, that is Yashti Madhu. It is having Vada Pitta Shamana action. Coming to the research article, here the pharmacological study of Yashti Madhu in various animal models was reviewed. And it was found that the drug is uh, drug contains uh, the phytoconstituent called glycericin that is having a good anti-allergic action. And also it contains uh, isoliquidated and uh, it is a best uh, IgE production inhibitor. And it was tested in mouse model of asthma and it was found to be effective. Next coming to the drug Chandana, it is having Pitta Kapha Shamana action. And coming to the research article, here effect of Chandana Mrinala Leva in the management of Kikisa uh, especially uh, Sraya Gravidorum. Here, uh, the patients, almost 20 patients were selected who is having Kandu, Vidaha, etc. And Chandranam Ranala labor was applied by mixing with Navanita for about 45 days. And it was allowed to stay there for 15 to 20 minutes. And it was removed before it completely get dry up. And there was significant result observed in case of itchy. As I told, Kandu, Dravya, Kandu is nothing but a symptom. It is associated with many of the disorders. Uh, sorry, uh, I have attached some of the smart arts, but since I am presenting from the mobile, it is not visible, but I will explain. First comes to uh, Kushta. In many of the Kushtas, just like uh, Audumbara Kushta, Sitma, Kitiba, Alasaga, Charmadala, Pama, in such Kushtas, there will be, Ajarya has mentioned uh, Kandu as one of the symptoms. As we all know, Audumbara, it is mainly involvement of Pitta will be there. And in case of uh, Sitma, Kitiba and Alasaga, there will be Vada Kapha involvement. Whereas in case of Charmadala and Pama, there will be Pitta and Kapha involvement. And while mentioning about the uh, chikitsa of uh, kushta, like vadotareshu, sarpishvamanam, shreshmotareshu, kushteshu. And if the shloka, while the shloka is continuing, like vamana virejana yoga ha prayoktavya. That means we can induce the shodhana by means of the above drugs. It's like kutaja, yashti, madhu, nimba, such drugs can be used for the purpose. And even these drugs can be used either as patya, it can be used as aushada. It can be used as uh, taken as anna by processing it with shashtika shali or something. And even the labor can be done with about drugs. The samsarjana karma can be used, uh, done by aragvada, musta, etc. And even the nasya was indicated by ajarya, especially by kudajafala. And next coming to shofa. And in the shofa, 
uh, Ajarya has mentioned the use of like Shundi and Haridra, and even the application of Chandana was mentioned. And Nimba and uh, like Gomutra can be used for the purpose of Unmardana, etc. And even in the many of the yogas uh, that is used in Shofa, especially like Abhayadikwada, Patoladikwada, etc., there is mentioning of the drugs that is mentioned in the Kandogna Dashemani. Next, coming to Vadarekta, uh, especially while mentioning about the Uttana Vadarekta, the Acharya has mentioned that there will be presence of Kandu. And here uh, in Chikitsa, uh, it is mentioned that we can use a decoction of Musta, Daru Haridra, if there is predominance of Kapha. And even the Daru Haridra application is mentioned if there is Vada and Kapha involvement. Next, coming to the Shudra Rogas. In Shudra Rogas, like Valmiga, Alasa, Darunaga, and uh, even in Patmani Kantaka or uh, Ahipudana, there will be presence of Kandu. Uh, for example, in Alasa, Alasa, there is direct reference that the application of Nimba or, or oil prepared out of Sarshabha can be used for the purpose. And even in case of uh, Patmani Kandaka, there, there was strict use of the drug Nimba. That, that is, we can induce vomiting by giving Nimba or uh, Grida can be prepared out of Nimba or Aragvada or even uh, the paste can be prepared out of this uh, Nimba Aragoda and it can be used for the purpose of massage. And Ahipudana, uh, mainly here breast milk, uh, like purification is indicated. So the Tikshna Gunayukta dress can be opted here also. And in Krimi also like Bahi Krimi, uh, Luka Liksha, these are the two Bahi Krimis. Here also there'll be presence of Kandu and in Abhyantara Krimi, especially the Sleshmaja Krimi, there'll be involvement of Kandu. Uh, while mentioning about the chikitsa, there is mainly uh, like uh, Prakriti Vikadana. As we explained, Prakriti Vikadana, there will be use of the drugs which is having Kadu Dikta Kashaya and Tikshna Virayukta drugs. So, these properties are any, anyway substantiating the Kandogna Tashemani drugs. And these are the pharmacological actions of the drugs like antibacterial, antiseptic, antifungal, cool and worm if you such actions are there for the drugs. And uh, the, while mentioning about the chikitsa in Maharauga Adhyaya for the Nanatmaja Vyadis, for Kafaja Nanatmaja Vyadi, Ajarya has mentioned the use of Kadu Tikta Kashaya, Tikshna Ushna Gunayukta drugs. That means the, all of the uh, like Kandukna Dashemani is, is having the similar action. Hence, if uh, the Kandu is associated with uh, Kafa, then obviously we can go for this line of treatment. And in case of Pitajan Anatma Javyadi, Madhura Dikta Kashaya, Shita Upakrama and uh, drugs has, can be followed. That is mentioned in Kandogna Dashemani. These are the, some of the formulations that, is, uh, that contain these uh, drugs. That is Chandanadi Kashaya, Aragwadadi Kashaya, Karanjasava, Karanjadi Grida, uh, Dashanga Gada, uh, especially that is given in case of sting, scorpion sting, etc. And uh, like Aragodadi Kashaya, which is uh, given in case of itching, etc. And uh, Karanjasava, which is given especially in case of ashes. If these diseases associated with Kandu is there, these formulations can be selected. Now, coming to the conclusion, Yuktisu Yojana Yatu Yunjari. The physician has to directly observe the Kandu, if, uh, whether any associated symptoms are there. We have to observe for the uh, doshic dominance. And... Uh, the drugs that we have mentioned uh, uh, earlier, other than antipruritic action, if the drug is having blood purifying or uh, immunomodulatory or laxative action, then it will be obviously a double fold therapeutic action. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Anju. And next, I invite Dr. Sheetal Vasant Rao. Hello, Dr. Sheetal, are you there? I invite Dr. Sheetal Vasant Rao. So next I invite Dr. Mati Anil Savas. I invite Dr. Madhuri. Hello, Dr. Madhuri. Hello, good evening to all. Wait, I'm scaring machine. Hello, am I audible? Hello? Hello, doctor. Yes, yes. Ah, okay.
गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर माधुरी सावंत पीजी स्कॉलर सेकंड ईयर फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट आयुर्वेद कॉलेज उस्मानाबाद आई एम हियर अंडर द गाइड डॉक्टर बी के कासले सर इंट्रोडक्शन यूरोलिथियासिस हैज एफ्लिक्टेड मैन काइंड सिंस सेंचुरीज एंड कैन परसिस्ट विद द सीरियस कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस थ्रूआउट पेशेंट्स लाइफ टाइम इट इज मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंट बिनाइन पैथोलॉजी ऑफ यूरिनरी सिस्टम with peculiar tendency of recurrence approximately 50% within 5 years urolithiasis is a condition which involves the process of formation and retention of stones in kidney bladder or urethra that result in renal colic urine retention or pain in abdomen and flank acharya sushruta has included mutrashmari in ashtamahagada according to sushrut mutrashmari is formed from the strota vaigunya resulting from dushit kapha localized in basti in conjunction with vitiated vata and pitta management of urolithiasis described in modern sciences are mainly surgical and minimal invasive techniques like eswr or percutaneous nephrolithotomy there is very little scope for medicinal treatment acharya sushruta has advised both medicinal and surgical treatment for mutrashmari many plants have been evaluated for the anti urolithiatic effect but there is no established treatment for prevention of urolithiasis hence the study is attempted to evaluate ashmari bhedan and mutra virajini property of shakubij churna it is case report a 50 year old male patient come to opd with complaints of pain in abdomen in bilateral lumbar region since 1 year burning micturation since 8 days frequency of micturation since 8 days and vomiting history of present illness patient having above complaints since one year initially he has taken treatment from his nearby physician but didn't got relief so he came to our opd for the further management uh, there was no significant past history no any surgical or drug it is surgical history of drug allergy general examination was carried out with the informed consent of patient vitals were stable as bp 130 by 80 pulse 78 cardiovascular system was normal cns rs normal per abdo was soft and there was tenderness in bilateral lumbar region investigations ultrasound of abdo pelvis urine routine microscopic were done here you can see stone of size 7.7 mm and 5.2 mm in bilateral kidneys Uh, treatment plan patient was diagnosed with bilateral renal calculus medicine he was given 2 grams of shakbhit churna twice a day after food with water for 30 days uh, about shakbhit churna the kingdom fan fantasy has given assessment criteria objective criteria was number of calculus site and size of calculus and changes of calculus were assessed by ultrasonological findings subject hello uh -huh. hello 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 yes doctor am i audible yes yes please continue okay subjective criteria was pain dysuria and hematuria observation and result uh, before treatment patient was having pain in abdomen dysuria and burning micturition which was absent after treatment of 30 days objective criteria there were two number of calculus having size 7.7 mm and 5.7 mm which was in upper pole and mid pole respectively and after treatment the size reduced to 0 mm here you can see no any significant pathology there was only cholelithiasis discussion probable mode of action of shakbhit churna shakbhit churna has mutra virechaniya and ashmari bhedan properties acharya sushruta has included shak in parushakadi gana acharya vagbhat has included shak in ashmari patan yoga uh, conclusion Shakbhit churna is effective in management of urolithiasis as it is single case study it should be tried on large number of patients for its validation 
this case study concluded that chagbichur is effective in management of urolithiasis these are my references thank you thank you doctor next i invite dr pooja ben bhagwan ranale i invite dr pooja ben can i share my slides ma'am yes doctor is it visible yes yes okay uh, good evening everyone good evening ma'am uh, myself pooja ranare from nasik uh, md scholar in uh, kriya share from saptashringi ayurved college my today's topic is physiological effects of rasayana in geriatrics uh, its introduction ayurveda is the science of life that deals mainly with all aspects of life in relation of health and prevention of disease in today's world chronic non communicable disease such as heart disease cancer and diabetes reflects change in lifestyle and diet as well as aging to prevent these things ayurveda has rasayana therapy described by our acharyas years ago rasayana therapy not only works on physical aspect but also on mental aspects geriatric uh, the word uh, mentioned in the title it is derived from the greek root geron meaning old man and geros means healer it is the branch of medicine dealing exclusively with the problems of aging and disease of elderly aging leads to many structural as well as physiological changes in body in <laughs> above article appa kidin walk you nanda verunna verunna nanda varna nanda illa nanda hello हेलो हेलो कैन आई कंटिन्यू डॉक्टर प्लीज हेलो डॉक्टर प्लीज कंटिन्यू डॉक्टर ओके ओके सो यस इट इज अ ब्रांच ऑफ मेडिसिन डीलिंग एक्सक्लूसिवली विद प्रॉब्लम्स ऑफ एजिंग एंड डिजीज ऑफ एल्डरली aging leads to many structural as well as physiological changes in body in above paper it will be focus on physiological effects of rasayana in geriatrics there are two types of rasayana uh, as mentioned by uh, our acharyas kuti praveshik and vatatvik uh, rasayana in geriatrics what exactly rasayana does in geriatrics acharya acharaka has considered age about 16 to be uh, uh, old age but acharya shushrut and vagbhata consider it as more than 70 years which characterized by uh, diminution of tissues sense uh, uh, faculties strength uh, uh, vitality and diminution in enthusiasm day after day that is what we call in ayurveda hani person develops wrinkle gray hair and baldness occurrence of secondary disorders such as cough dyspnea etc it also includes in geriatric problems vat dosha is prominent in old age according to agbhat acharya so there will be more of a catabolic activities taking place in body which further leads to chronic diseases such as dementia parkinsonism hypertension and cerebrovascular diseases etc now uh, let's focus on the physiological effects of rasayana rasayana therapy how it works it is discussed in the following flow chart rasayana therapy works on agni which in turn leads to proper formation of prasadi dhatus hence responsible for creation of ojas which is considered as prime essence of the rasadi dhatus hence rasayana plays a crucial role in prevention of aging and old age related uh, uh, disorders uh it is also mentioned as dirgham ayu smruti me arogya taruna vayam which we can say the effects of rasayan chart uh, hereby shows that the rasayan effect rasayana works on rasa agni and srotas here rasa is the nutrient value of plasma 
agnis digestion and metabolic activities of the body and strotus leads to microcirculation and bioavailability together all three uh, uh, work in a good uh, harmony when the rasayana is taken which in uh, turn gives us improved nourishment improved quality of tissues which in turn gives longevity immunity and mental competence and uh, which in turn gives us rejuvenation now uh, physiologically which uh, rasayana acts on which parts of the uh, uh, what are the actions of the rasayana it is uh, discussed in brief over here following rasayanas below mentioned have physiological effects on body antioxidant action is of amalaki immunomodulatory action is of guduchi rasayana hematopoietic effect is of amalaki mandura loha bhasma and bringraj Uh, adaptogenic action is of ash anabolic action is of vidari kanda nutritive function is of gritak shira and rasayana neuroprotective actions are ashwagandha rasayan rajat bhasma rasayan swarna bhasma rasayan hence when this rasayana is taken from early stage of life they lead to all rejuvenation of our uh, age and our body Uh, discussion as mentioned earlier qualities of rasayana therapy are one which uh, enhances longevity one which enhances smriti medha and maintains arogyata jara janita vyadhis can be reduced due to rasayana prayoga from early stage of life conclusion in present world per, uh, person follows sedentary lifestyle and fakal uh, and faulty food habits which is the main cause for metabolic imbalance which leads to early aging rasayana plays a vital role in avoiding it if started from the early age of life uh, these are the following re references for this uh, paper presentation i have gone through thank you thank you dr pooja yes thank you sir next i would like to invite dr ashini Sudhakar for the paper presentation on the topic Nidana Panchaka of Kritrasi. Dr. Ashini, are you there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I will share my slide. Okay, Dr. Sir, can you share my slide? I am unable to share slide. Hello, doctor. Hello. Can you share? It's not supported. Okay, doctor. I will call you on after next. Okay. When? Doctor, I will call you on after next. Okay. Uh, sir, please. Uh, I will. I will try. Wait. Okay. Wait.
हेलो सर हेलो सर अनेबल टू शेयर स्लाइड डोंट वरी डॉक्टर आई विल कॉल यू ऑन आफ्टर नेक्स्ट ओके सर नेक्स्ट वी गो टू द नेक्स्ट प्रेजेंटेशन नेक्स्ट आई विल लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर लेचरा सी for the paper presentation on the topic critical review on management of skin disorder okay sir doctor are you there yes sir yes sir hello am i audible sir yes sir okay, yes, हेलो इज द स्क्रीन विजिबल स्क्रीन इज विजिबल डॉक्टर हेलो इज द स्क्रीन विजिबल यस डॉक्टर स्क्रीन विजिबल डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन डॉक्टर ओके थैंक यू सर रिस्पेक्टेड ऑर्गेनाइजर्स एंड ऑल द प्रेजेंटर्स A very good afternoon to you all. I'm Dr. Lachita Sivi, third year PG scholar from the Department of Dravidian Vidyana, SDMC Udupi, presenting on the topic, a critical review on management of skin disorders through Kushtagna Darshemani, under the valuable guidance of all the faculty members of Department of Dravidian Vidyana. The contents of my presentation are introduction, types and correlation, Kushtagna Darshemani, therapeutic utility. research articles and conclusion introduction skin as we all know is the largest organ and it is a link between the internal and external environment there are various factors that affect the health of the skin including nutrition hygiene circulation immunity psychological state and drugs and twacha as defined in ayurveda twak sambarane which means that which covers the body and looking into the dermatological disorders in the recent days the dermatological disorders has have become uh, extensively uh, prevailing due to the altered immune re stress diet and so on and when we look into the prevalence of skin diseases in india around 10 to 12% consist of eczema and psoriasis these both con uh, constitute to be the major contributors of dermatological disorders next moving on to the types as we all know there are seven mahakushtas i have uh, included the possible uh, correlation of each uh, kushta kapala which can be compared to uh, non lepromatous leprosy udumbara pondarika mandala and rasya jeeva all of these can be compared to non lepromatous leprosy and sedma which can be related to uh, pityriasis leprosy and kakanaka which is related to lepromatous leprosy and the kshitra kushtas like which eka kushta which is related to psoriasis charmakya which can be compared to the zero derma kitiba to lichen planus and vipadika to keratodermia alasaka with erythema nodulosum dadru vitinia corporis charmadala with zero derma pigmentosum pama with scabies visfota with bullous pemphigoid shataru with folliculitis and vichachika with eczema and uh, viserpa again related to erysipelas and shita pitta with urticaria and shwetra with vitiligo i have also included a few kshudra rogas where sharkara arbuda which is sebaceous cysts jalagardaba herpes simplex mukhadoshika acne vulgaris vyanga melasma indralupta alopecia areata and charmakila which is related to the warts so when we look into the uh, classics um, majority of skin diseases are mentioned under the umbrella of uh, kushta and kshudra rogas looking into the kushtagna dashemani which which is nothing but kush, kushtam hanti iti kushtagnam so the drugs which are responsible in uh, reducing um, the uh, skin manifestations or which are responsible for reduction in symptoms are considered as kushtagna dashemani 
and enumerating them they are khadira abhaya amalaka haridra arushkara that is balataka saptaparna aragvada karavira vidanga jati pravala iti dashimani kushtagnani bhavanti so individual look, looking into the drugs khadira which is acacia katichu haritaki terminalia chebula amalaki philanthus emblica haridra kurkuma longa Arushkara, that is Balataka, Semicarpus Anacadium, Saptaparna Alstonia scolaris, Karapiria, uh, Nerium indicum, Aragvada, Casia fistula, Vidanga Embalia rites, Jati Pravala, Jasmine Mephis. Hello, Doctor. Yes. Doctor, yes, your screen is not visible, Doctor. It is still not visible, sir. Yes, Doctor. Is it visible now? Not visible, Doctor. Uh, Can you once again share the screen, Doctor? Yeah, yeah. So just can you just give me uh, two minutes? Okay, Dr. Shaw. Yeah, okay. Uh, I hope it's visible now. Now your screen is visible, Doctor. Please continue. Hello. Yeah. So now looking into the uh, individual qualities of the drugs. The first one is Kadna, medicine, Lavulukshagna, and it has a synonym as Kushtagna. And it is mainly used in cases of Shritra and Kushta, according to Bhav Prakash Nigantu and Dhanvantri Nigantu. And also in Agra Prakara, to get the reference of Kushta Ebu Sevya Kadirasya And so it's quite evident that it is a choice of drug in various Kushtas. And similarly, Haritaki, it is specifically, uh, specifically used in Apisveda. And looking to the properties, it is having a Laguru Kshaguna, Madhura Vipaka, Ushna Vedya and Sridosha Shamaka. Similarly, Amalaka, which is also having a Kushtagna, under its karma, it is Amla Pradhana Lagna Vachitarasa, Laguruksha Saragunas, Madhura Vipaka and Shita Virya and Zidosha Shamaka, Haridra again, it is Sikta Katu in Rasa, and Laguruksha in Guna. And when we look into the Nigantus, we find Sarva Kandu Vinashi as a property of Haridra, and it is also best Krimigna and also used in Dadru Kushta. Balataka, it is cut. Katu Madhra and Kashai Rasas, Lagus Nigda and Tikshna Gunas, Madhra Vipaka and Rushna Vidya, and Kafavata Shamaka in property. And it is uh, mainly used in the form of Palataka Rasayana in various forms of Kushta. Saptaparna again is Sikta Kashai Rasa Pradhana, and it is a Lagus Nigda and Saraguna in nature. And Vipaka is Katu, Vidya is Rushna, and Kafapita Shamaka in nature. And it is explained by Sushruta under Aragvadadi Gana, and it is also meant to be Kushtagna according to Kaidevi Nigantu. And again, looking into Aragvada, which is having the synonym of Kushta Sudhana, and it is explained as uh, uh, Ameko Prayoga in the Sarpa and uh, Kushta. Similarly, Karavida. Which is having Katu and Tikta Rasas, Laguru Uksha and Tikshna Gunas, Katu Vipaka, Ushna Virya, and it is Kapa Pitta Shamaka, and it is explained under um, Lakshadi Gana and Kushtagna Vargas by Sushruta, and it is mainly indicated in Indra Lukta, and specifically the Rakta Karavira is uh, useful in Swag Doshas according to Rajanigantu. Moving on to Vidanga, apart from being a best Kremigna, it is also Kushtagna, and all explained by uh, Sushruta and Surasadi Gana. Next, moving to Jati Pravala, Sikta Kashai Rasa, Lagus Nikda and Vruduguna, Katu Vipaka Ushna Virya, and it is Tridosha Shamaka in nature and commonly used in Vyangya. And we have various formulations like Jatyadi, Taila, and Grita, which are commonly used in most of the skin related manifestations. 
now looking into each of the pharm pharmacological actions i have tried to combine the uh, common actions of all these drugs they are mainly antibacterial fungicidal purgative anti inflammatory styptic so when we when we talk about styptic we can understand the meaning in the form of uh, arresting the blood flow in uh, wounds and also we can understand uh, uh, the concept of arresting the excess discharge of pus and uh, infected fluid most of these are antiseptic in action and also anesthetic and looking into the chemical constituents gallic acid is meant to be a best anti inflammatory and antioxidant and curcumin again is uh, has the ability to suppress the acute and chronic inflammation and it reduces inflammation by lowering the histamine levels and catechin which is present in um, Acacia cutis is again uh, a great deal of advantages on skin by scavenging free radicals and retarding extracellular matrix. Next is about the uh, nero deodorant. Hello, yes sir. Again, your screen is not visible, doctor. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, doctor, I think it has a network issue. Yeah, I have some network doctor, issues, sir. Can I share for you? May I yeah, share for you? Yeah, could you please do that? Yeah, please. Okay, doctor. One minute. Yeah. Slide is visible, doctor. Yeah, the slide is visible. Uh, so could you please uh, scroll through the pharmacological action slide? It should be the sixth slide, I think. Next, next, next. 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 Previous, previous, sir. Previous. Previous. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So next, looking into the uh, chemical constituent nerodarin, which is again a novel component of skincare products and being a best cellular antioxidant, it reduces free radical production in the presence of inflammation. And salicylic acid is one of the commonly known and FDA approved skincare ingredient, which is also anti-inflammatory and specifically used in acne. And also it is used highly in cases of psoriasis, where it is responsible to exfoliate dead skin cells. And it is a major ingredient in most of the presently available face washes and creams. And Ambilin again, um, Apart from being uh, responsible to be a best antioxidant, it reduces cutaneous skin alpha levels and ameliorates skin edemas and is also meant to be the best wound healing activity. So next, next slide. Next, when we look into the Chikitsa Sutra, we find uh, various uh, treatment protocols explained by Acharyas in the form of Shodhana, in the form of Nasya, in the form of Raktamokshana. So looking, to, looking into all these standard treatment protocols, we can come to a conclusion of uh, uh, these drugs and uh, how, how these uh, Kushtagna Dashimanis can be implemented uh, through these uh, Chikitsa Sutras. Like primarily the Shodhana is explained, Nasya is explained, and uh, Lepas and various types of Shamana Ushitas are explained by various Acharyas. And when you look into the uh, Chikitsa according to Charaka, he explains about Aragvada and Haritaki, which can be used in Basti and also as Nasya. And again, he explains about Vairachinaka Dhumapana with the same drugs. And Haridra is also explained after Rakta Mokshana. And Lepa and Pradeha with Karavira, Jati and Vidaga is explained. And Kanaka Bindu Arishta is also mentioned where Haridra and Khadira are the uh, main drugs. And Siddharthaka Snana where Aragvada, Haritaki and Daru Haridra are used in the form for the Snana. The leaves of these are used and also the same is used for Lepa. And Khadirodaka is also considered as best in Shvitra. But when you look into Acharya Shushita's opinion, he explains about uh, the uh, duration where uh, Pakshat Pakshat, um, Chardhanana Bhupen, Masan Masan, Samshanam Shapidem. So when we look into this protocol, we find uh, that um, he emphasizes on uh, Utsadhana with Aragvata Kashaya and uh, he also emphasizes on Saptaparna Taila for Abhyanga. And Acharya explains about Dhatugata Kushta Lakshanas and their management, where he specifically says that Galataka Taila can, can be used in all types of Krishna. Similarly, uh, looking into the Rasayanas, which can be incorporated in skin disorders, is firstly the Khadira Rasayana, which is explained in Mahakusha Chikitsa Dhyaya, where there are two, two methods again, uh, where Khadira Sara collection is explained and Khadira Kashaya with Amaliki Swarasa with Anupana of Madhu and Serpi is mentioned. Next is the Balataka Rasayana, where uh, the 10 fruits of Balataka are boiled in water and the filtrate is taken with milk by smearing the inner part of the mouth with ghee due to its teakshna property. 
and haritaki rasayana again where the main ingredients are haritaki madhu and which is again indicated uh, directly in kushta and vidanga avale here where vidanga pipali sharkara grita and taila with madhu is consumed next moving on to the mode of action of these drugs most of these drugs are mainly katu uh, katu and tikta rasa pradhana so it is ma mainly responsible for shoshana kandu prashamana tvak mamsa sthirikarana properties and also the ushna virya is responsible for pacifying the aggravated vata and kapha so when we look into the dosha involvement of kushta we have a clear uh, reference which says a sar sarvam sri doshijam kushtam doshanam tu balabalam doshasya yasya pashet kushteshu vishesha lingam utriktam so we need to look into keenly observe the patient and um, pick those drugs uh, and uh, the drugs which are responsible for uh, alleviating the aggravated particular dosha should be uh, selected for example if pitta is aggravated then mainly pitta shamana line of treatment should be carried out in the form of mrudu virechana uh, with aragvada or hari taki and further moving on to uh, other uh, kapha related uh, entities then uh, the ushna property and uh, the drugs uh, which are having ushna virya can be incorporated so mainly the treatment depends on um, the tridosha involved so we have to uh, similarly consider the bahi and abhyantara applications and abhyantara mrudu shodhana with drugs like aragvada can be done and when then the pitta is involved mainly the idle management of pitta is virechana so external lepas uh, in the uh, with the help of mixing them with uh, gritta can be incorporated which can uh, reduce the itching and burning sensation and similarly the ushna guna and lagut uh, ruksha gunas in most of the drugs is responsible for uh, relieving the uh, obstructed um, uh, channels that is the shrota avaroda is relieved and again the local toxins are flowed out uh, through this way that that's cleansing the micro channels next moving on to a few amiko prayogas uh, there are uh, various amiko prayogas which are uh, explained uh, and these are only related to the kushtagna dashimani dravyas like khadira which is used for pana in kush uh, which is explained in kushta chikitsa and similarly in dadru kushta haridra with gomutra and guda is used and um, in uh, kushta again the leaves of aragvada and kakamachi are triturated with butter milk and applied over the skin lesions and similarly karavira uh, the paste of karavira leaves is applied by anointing uh, the body with oil and in indralupta karavira uh, swarasa is used and similarly uh, in uh, just like kadira is useful in kushta likewise vidanga also is used for food for bath for dupana and pradeha and again in vyanga the paste of uh, leaves of jati and jati pala with water is effectively applied next 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 we look into the shodhana concept where uh, we have uh, palataka shodhana which is explained in classes where there are various schools of thoughts which explain about palataka shodhana uh, it could be uh, ishtika uh, chuna gharshana or it could be dola and tras vedana or it could be nimajana in godugda followed by gomutra in alternatively and karavira shodhana is again explained in uh, uh, rasamrita reference where it, uh, the milk is used as media for the land shodhana so uh, while considering the balataka rasayana and karavira rasayana the shodhana is also need, should also be considered we want to the research article next slide uh, therapeutic effect of khadira in ekakushta this was again a clinical study where uh, the khadira powder was given internally 3 grams twice daily was administered to selected patients and um, which also showed significant p value next slide which showed sign significant p value the next uh, article is a review on antibacterial antiviral and antifungal activity of curcumin next is a study which was uh, conducted to elicit the effect of combination therapy of manjushta haridra and daru haridra on psoriasis where it was applied uh, to 30 patients externally as a lepa for a period of 6 months and uh, positive results was observed and next is the mode of action of haridra kanda in the management of shita pitta udarta kota haridra kanda as we all know is commonly prescribed in most of the skin related manifestations and allergic conditions and this is an article which proves its efficacy a clinical trial to evaluate efficacy of saptaparna tvak chuna in vichachika which is again given as an external application which has got very uh, good positive results next a clinical evaluation of prevrut uh, churna and aragvada patra lepa in management of vicharchika where prevrut churna was given internally and aragvada patra lepa as external application 
Next, a clinical study to assess the efficacy of Caravira Thaila and Kikisa. Kikisa is again uh, nothing but stray gravidarium, which is found in the third trimester of pregnancy. So this is a um, uh, study which wherein the patients uh, in third trimester were asked to apply uh, the Thaila, Caravira Thaila for a period of uh, two months and uh, very good results were observed. And anti-allergic activity of curcumin, which proves the uh, wide area for research and development in pharmaceutical sciences. Next is a study evaluating the efficacy of Khadira Rasayana in subjects with Vicharchita or atopic dermatitis. So Khadira Rasayana, which has properties like Kushtagna, Kandugna, Vaisthapana, Shothara and Rasayana, by virtue of these properties of Khadira Rasayana, the symptoms of Vicharchita were relieved. The improvement was statistically significant without any adverse reactions. Conclusion. Next slide. So to conclude, as we uh, know that dermatological disorders are quite challenging to treat and uh, because they are always associated with recurrence and exasperations, but appropriate assessment always plays a vital role. So classically, when we look into the patient, we need to look into the doshas, we need to look into the possibility of uh, treatment. That is, we need to look into the sadhya sadhya because Acharya very clearly says in certain examples, like um, um, in cases of... Um, Pondarika and uh, Kakana, all these are considered to be asadhya. And similarly, we need to also uh, look into the mental maker of the patient. Like uh, Acharya Shishrata says that Kushtam Atmavata Sadhyam. So we need to look into the mental maker of patients. And if it is on the inferior side, we need to mentally prepare the patient first because most of the uh, skin related disorders will have a vast impact on the mental health of the patient. So that needs to be treated first. And later, we also need to, as I said, we need to look into the dosha and the specific dosha which is exhibiting should be treated first, followed by the other doshas. So now looking into the importance of Kushtagna Dashimani, as we have seen that uh, all these drugs are uh, efficiently useful in all the skin disorders, but there could be a possibility of fermentation and combination as rightly said by the Acharyas. Nati Vistaram Nati Sankshipta Mandhanam Vyavaharaya Budhanam Buddhivartyo. So which means that there is always a scope to uh, permit uh, perm permutation and combination of these drugs according, considering the availability and acceptance of the patient. So I would like to conclude from the verse from Sharka Sutra which says, Sesham Karma Subahyeshu Yogyam Abhyantarishu Cha Sayoga Cha Prayoga Cha Yoveda Vishagara which means the one who is acquainted with the internal use as well as external application and prescription by combination of all these drugs alone is considered as the real position. So with this, I end my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I invite Dr. Ma I invite Dr. Manali Vilas. Uh, yes, ma'am. Should I start now? Yes, Dr. Uh, yes, thank you, ma'am. Uh, hello everyone, I'm Dr. Manali Amre. Uh, the today's topic of my presentation is Ayurvedic approach and updates related to Swed and Swedavaha sources. Under the guidance of Vaidya Yogita Jamdare, contents of my uh, presentations are introduction, concept review, observations, conclusion, and references. Introduction include background of the study, need of the study, and material and methods used for the study. Concept review includes concept of Swed and Swedavaha sources along with mechanism of Swed. Excessive sweatings are comparatively more or rather increasing in last few years. Research shows that nearly 5% of the world population suffer from excessive sweating or exactly no one knows that how many people are facing problem of lace or no sweating. Uh, exactly how many people are facing uh, problem of lace or no sweating uh, because maybe people may not aware of it or may not be considered it as a health issue. Although multiple factors are responsible for this condition, and uh, it is considered as major problem because of its increasing nature. 
also vitiation of swed and swedavars rotus may leads to uh, manifestation of various pathological conditions like skin diseases fevers tavlia etc so this topic is selected for the study also a uh, very few work has been done previously on a conceptual part of swed and swedavars rotus uh in today's presentation the review of concept of sweats whether was totals described in ayurveda mechanism of sweating as per ayurvedic text and its correlation with the mechanism of sweating and its importance in the practices is focused uh for this study all available ayurvedic text all available books of physiology online sites like google scholar pubmed have been searched out to explore the concept uh these are some previous work done related to the topic स्वेद स्वेद मीन स्वेत स्वेत इट इज विद्यते अनेन इति स्वेद इट इज एक्सक्रीट इट इज एक्सक्रीटेड मॉइस्चर इन द विजिबल क्वांटिटी थ्रू द ओपनिंग ऑफ द स्वेट ग्लैंड इट इज मेनली फॉर्म आफ्टर द डाइजेशन ऑफ फूड बाय द किट और अनवॉन्टेड पार्ट एंड सम पार्ट ऑफ द स्वेट इज फॉर्म आफ्टर मेटाबोलिजम ऑफ मेद धातु in ayurvedic text swed is mentioned as mala ko med dhatu uh, while acharya sharangar explained it as a upadhatu of med dhatu it is also explained as site of a pitta composition of swed primarily it is jala mahabhuta pradhan according to modern science principally it consists of water and sodium chloride function of swed uh, the major function of swed is kleda dharan that is to maintain the moisture of the body kesh is used as a alternative word for kleda in samhita and it is believed that swed helps to maintain uh, body temperature uh, sorry swed helps to maintain moisture uh, moisture of the skin and keep body hairs more stable according to modern science major or main function of the swed is regulation of body temperature excretion of unwanted or waste material from the body and keep skin moisturized also acharya shushrut uh, mentioned swak sukumariya krutha is a function of swed then formation and regulation of the sweat the process of formation of sweat is explained by acharya charak in sharistan chapter 7 as ोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिकलोलिक
according to modern science hyperhidrosis and unhidrosis hyperhidrosis that means excessive sweating it is primary and secondary type primary it means uh, sweating uh, excessive sweating uh, which uh, not caused by another disease and secondary it is occurred as a result of another medical condition these are some medical condition which affects weight uh, like pregnancy menopause diabetes infection like osteomyelitis tuberculosis hyperthyroidism some drugs like some drugs which increase sweating like nsaids acetylcholine esterase uh, esterase antidepressants may increase sweating while skin burns which affects sweat glands skin disorder like psoriasis psoriasis or leprosy may uh, may cause less or no sweating treatment uh, hyperhidrosis may treated with topical application like deodorants and antiperspirants uh, the mechanism is little bit different deodorants reduce sweating and control odor while antiperspirants block sweat glands and control excessive sweating uh, some oral anticholinergic medications uh, also used to block activated sweat glands while hypohidrosis and unhidrosis treated by treating underlying cause of disease next vedavah sutra स्रोतस द टर्म स्रोतस मीन्स श्रवणा स्रोतांची दोज फ्रॉम विच श्रवण और फ्लो ऑफ बॉडी सबस्टन्स टेक्स प्लेस इन द बॉडी दीज आर द चॅनल्स और पाथवेज इन द बॉडी विच कॅरीज दोष धातू मल अँड मन द टिश्यूज और धातूज विच आर अंडर गोइंग ट्रान्सफॉर्मेशन आर ऑल्सो कॅरीड आउट बाय दिस चॅनल्स अँड द अनवॉन्टेड पार्ट आफ्टर डायजेशन टर्म दॅज मल ऑल्सो कॅरीड अँड ट्रान्सपोर्टेड टू दिस चॅनल Mm, human body is made up of millions of channels and these are microscopic and mi- macroscopic in nature swedavah srotas uh, it is explained by acharya charak in vimanastan fifth chapter acharya vagbhat describe uh, swedavah srotas same as acharya charak uh, acharya shishru did not explain swedavah srotas but he mentioned that there are adhogami and tiryak dhamani network is present in the body which helps to Uh, regulate and formation of this web uh roots of this vedavas process uh, are loma kupa and meda dhatu causes of vitiation uh, of vedavas process are heavy exercise exposure to heat unsequential hot and cold practices excessive anger excessive grief and excessive fear symptoms of vitiation of vedavas process are excessive or less sweating horripilation dryness of generalized skin glossy skin and burning sensation of skin treatment uh, it is same as jwara chikitsa langhana pachana pralep svedana karma abhyanga dravya parishek avagahas ved mentioned in jwara chikitsa are also useful in the condition of vitiation of vedavah srotas uh then vadhyans vedavah srotas uh, symptoms of vitiation of sweat and vedavah srotas are mentioned in many diseases as purva roop roop or as a or as a part of some prapti in jivara sweda avarodh is mentioned as purva roop uh and uh, also as a part of some prapti in vata kapatmak uh, jivara kapa pittatmak jivara sannipata jivara symptoms related sweatans are de- uh, described as lakshana Uh, in rakta pitta sveda uh, sveda or uh, paridah are described as purva roop in kushta asvedana atisvedana parusha kandu loma harsha and paridah are explained as purva roop of vyadhi uh, in ek kushta asvedana is described as lakshana of a vyadhi uh, then prameh paridah and sveda anga gandha are described as purva roop in udar svedava srotas adho mar avarodh is described as a part of samprapti also uh, then pandu sveda abhav is uh, described as purva roop in vata rakta ati sveda and asveda is described as purva roop of vyadi in stavlya acha uh, in stavlya ati sveda and daurghandya is described as purva roop in madha meva also uh, in ati sar vatajati sar sveda dushti or svedava srotas dushti sveda vimarga gaman is described as a part of samprapti then observation 
so after review of this concept uh, we can see that detailed description of swayed and swayed averse process with their normal function causes symptoms of deviation and treatment has explained in ayurveda then physiology of sweating explained by acharyas is same as explained by the modern sciences but with a different terminology sweat is evaporation of water to the skin which related with body heat then formation and regulation of sweating are maintained by vyan and samana vayu then the natural conditions uh, like grishma ritu physical activity pitta pradhan prakruti which naturally causes excessive sweating so uh, this condition should be take uh, taken into consideration while treating the patients uh, also next uh, we can assess we can assess whether the process by examination of skin hair follicles and meda dhatu and uh, meda dhatu because uh, these are the root channels of this process so, and also in modern science it is this uh, it is said that sweating occurs directly through the skin and or produce in the sweat glands or excrete through hair follicles and after metabolism of adipose tissue uh then in samhita grantha sweda dushti lakshane and sweda vahas protas dushti lakshane are described separately so when we think about treatment this sweda dushti and sweda vahas protas dushti lakshane can be seen separately as well as together or with other symptoms then role of sweda and sweda vahas protas are important in normal physiology because it helps to maintain body temperature and it is also important pathologically because uh, it takes part in the manifestation of various chronic diseases also we can consider swedan karma as application of sweating because it increase or enhance sweating and uh, helps to eliminate toxins or toxic substances uh, from body then uh, also dravyas mention in swedopaka gana like shobhanjan eranda punarnava uh these are useful in the treatment of vitiation of sweat and sweat averse process because primarily these drugs are katubipaki and ushnavidya so uh, they helps to enhance sweating also some drugs like vatsana dhatu which are ushnavidyatmak and some formulations like trivuan kirti also increase uh, which increase way, uh, sweating and useful to treatment these uh, treatment in the diseases where sweat averse process obstruction is present then uh, in samhita grantha treatment of sweda vruddhi is not mentioned directly but the daily uh, daily regimen like snan and udvartana there uh, snan and udvartana are stated as useful in the uh, sweda vruddhi condition then stamban chikitsa is also useful to treat excessive sweating because it is opposite to that of the sweda chikitsa and last one is use of ayurvedic deodorants and antiperspirants are more useful and effective to manage this condition conclusion normal sweating and sweat averse process is important physiologically and pathologically it is necessary uh, and it is also demand of current time uh, to work on this concept for better management detailed description of both this concept has described in detail with its clinical application clear explanation of mechanism of sweating is described in ayurvedic text the conceptual part of sweat and sweat averse process is studied in this present article for uh, the matlab uh, uh, for the implant uh, the survey study in number of patients or number of people uh, will be useful for its more precise and practical implement uh, implementation in practice these are references useful study thank you thank you next i invite dr ashwini sudhakar for the presentation see see i invite dr ashwini Dr. Ashwini, are you there? Next, I invite Dr. Vedanti. Yes. Dr. Vedanti, are you there? 
for the paper presentation. I invite Dr. Vedandi S. Yes, thank you, ma'am. Ma'am, would you tell me if I'm visible and if the screen is visible? Yes, it's visible now, doctor. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Good evening, everybody. My name is Dr. Vedanti Gulhani, and I am studying in final year MD in Rasa Shastra and Bhaisatya Kalpana Department in CIRC Pune College. The topic of my presentation or the uh, topic of my paper is a review of Kaishor Gugul on its effectiveness in the treatment of varicose veins. This is the abstract. Now, why did I choose this subject? As we all know that the job and the unhealthy lifestyle takes a toll on people's health and causes various lifestyle disorders. Varicose vein is one of the common lifestyle disorders in the society. So the Kaishar Gugul Kalpa is widely used as a shaman chikitsa and patients suffering from the varicose vein find a relief in using this Kalpa. So I've chosen this topic to know its effectiveness. When a vein becomes dilated, elongated and torturous, the vein is said to be varicose. There may be involvement of superior veins or deep veins. It is not a threat to life, but it affects day-to-day -day activities and the condition can worsen with chronicity. In the recent contemporary medicine, compressing and stripping by surgery are mainly used as treatment for varicose pain. The prevalence is 15 to 20 percent of world population, which is quite high. Now, according to Ayurveda, due to Vatprakopak Nidan, that is causative factor, that increased water, such as physical exertion, training for people with vitiated water, enters the seras or the veins, causing various symptoms that manifest into varicose veins. In such cases, many practitioners suffer Kaishor Gugul as Shaman Chikitsa. Kaishor Gugul is one of the Ayurvedic formulations that is used traditionally to support healthy joints, muscles, and connective tissues. It is mainly used as anti allergic, antibacterial, and even for blood pu purifying properties. It acts as anti-aging and skin health promoter. Natural blood cleanser, useful in many health conditions such as diabetes and skin diseases. So this review explores the potential of the formulation in Ayurvedic prospectives. It also helps the researcher and the practitioner to explore this formulation for more pharmacological actions of the Kaishur Gukul. It is a review study. So for the present review, literature search was conducted using PubMed and Google Scholar search engines along with various texts and keywords were used for cross-referencing. Now, according to the Ayurvedic perspective, the Lakshana for varicose veins are Sira Sanko, that is contraction, Vakrata, crookedness, Utsed, elevation. Hello, Doctor. Vichoshan. Yes, sir. Doctor, your screen is not moving, Doctor. Uh, I, I'm stuck on which slide. Can you please let me know? Uh... It's seen in a first slide, a review of Kaishir Gugulu on its effectiveness in the oh. treatment of echoes when first slide is visible. Um, sir, one second. I'll re share it. Okay, doctor. Now, is it uh, visible on the fifth slide? Yes, doctor, visible, doctor. Very close in Ayurvedic perspective. Yes, thank you so okay. much. Doctor. Okay, doctor. Yes, I, I'll start the slide again. Varicose vein according to the Ayurvedic perspective. So the Lakshana according to Ayurveda of varicose veins and that can be compared are Sira Sankos, that is contraction, Vakrata crookedness, Utsed, elevation, Vishoshan, that is roughness and hardness of vein, Sampida, cramping, Pida, that is pain, Shotha, that is edema, Mahatya, enlargement of vein. Um, sorry to ask, sir. Uh, now has the presentation moved to the second next slide? Yes, doctor. Yes. The okay. scene in varicose vein Ayurvedic perspective. Uh, yes. Okay, thank you. So now, when we uh, combine all these uh, lakshanas, uh, it can be uh, said or attributed to Siraj Granthi, Siragatavat, and Vata Rakta. So we can say that varicose vein, according to the Ayurvedic perspective, can fall, fall under the nidana of Siragatavat, Siraj Granthi, and Vata Rakta. Now the contents of Kaishar Gukur. There are 
ट्वेल्थ इम्पॉर्टंट कंटेंट ऑफ कैशर गुकुर अकॉर्डिंग टू शारन जर संहिता मध्यम कंट दीज आर द कंटेंट दट इन्क्लूड गुगुल बिकॉज इट इज अ गुगुल कल्प त्रिफला अमृता शुंठी मरीच पिपली बिडंग त्रिभुत्त एंड दंती दीज आर इट पार्ट यू एंड साइंटिफिक नेम एंड फैमिली नाउ द मेथड ऑफ प्रिपेरेशन ऑफ कैशर गुगुल त्रिफला एंड अमृता आर सोक ओवर नाइट इन सिक्सटीन टाइम्स वॉटर दिस वॉटर इज बॉइल्ड एंड प्रोड्यूस to one fourth of its original quantity that is we are preparing khwad now this decoction of trifala and amruta we have to add shuddha gugur and it dissolves this dec- decoction is heated till thick syrup like consistency is obtained so this thick syrup like consistency the mixture of the other remaining ingredients is added and vati is made either by machine or manual the dose of kaisar gugur is said 250 to 500 mg Two to three times daily. Anupan is milk, water, or any other quart, depending on the disease. Now, properties of the uh, ingredients of Kaisar Gugur. Uh, I have made a chart to uh, that tells us the ingredient. It's rasa, vipak, virya, gun, and it's varga according to Bhav Prakash Samhita. To summarize the whole chart, these are the uh, pie charts. Now we can see. That 55% of uh, dravyas have cut, uh, madhur vipak. Uh, when we come to the rasa, maximum of the dravyas have katu rasa, and tikta and kashay are the next. That is 22% are tikta and kashay, 39% are um, katu rasatmak in nature. When we come to the virya, maximum that is 82% have ushna virya, and effect on dosha are. Uh, we can say that most of them are kapha shaman and vata shaman that is uh, 44% and 36% now uh, about the guna of the uh, dravyas that are in kaisar gukul we can see maximum dravyas are lagu and ruksha gunatmak followed by other uh, four gunas that is nigdha guru tikshna and ushna now uh, it the ingredients and its effect on uh, the rakta dhatu uh the effect on the rakta dhatu has been divided into five important aspects that is shona sthapan rakta prasadak rakta nishthivan rakta shodak and rakta vardak this is summarized in this chart we can see all all the dravyas are rakta shodak in nature that means all the dravyas have rakta shodak properties according to the bahaprakash nighantu and uh, most of the dravyas are rakta vardak and shona sthapan now the effect of the ingredients on vedana shaman shotha and shula this again is according to the nighantu which is summarized in this chart effect on sh- i'm sorry uh maximum dravyas have effect on shotha then followed by vedana shamak property discussion after evaluating various attributes and properties of different contents of kaisar gugul we can deduce its effect on various symptoms of varicose vein effect on pain in varicose vein the intensity of pain increases with the exertion of leg which indicates pain arising generally due to vat dosh or exerting yourself there can be increase of vat dosh due to avaran of kapha pitta dosh so 9 out of 11 dravya used in kaisar gugul are vat shaman or pacifying and all of them have kapha shaman properties so vedana sthapan and shulagna properties also helps with the pain 40% dravyas are vedana sthapan as we have seen earlier now its effect on varicosity varicosity is usually measured on the basis of area distributed uh, of defective vein rather than its number size and tortosity it mainly con- uh, considers the area the reduction in varicosity happens by the help of properties like rakta shodak guna of the dravya all dravya have this property as we have seen earlier all with the properties um, like shona sthapan and rakta vardak has also its effect it, now the effect of ingredient on edema that is very important when we are talking about varicose vein because it is very painful for the patient so edema according to the ayurved occurs when the vitiated vata dosh displaces the vitiated rakta pitta and kapha dosh which further gets obstructed in the strotus 
This gets accumulated in the Tvak and Mamta Dhatu, giving rise to the formation of Shrutha. To re- reduce it, the doshas need to be liquefied and detached from the strotas. Then, elimination of these doshas happens through Mana. So, 80% dravyas or 9 dravyas out of uh, 11 dravyas have Shothagna property. 72% dravyas are Anuloma and Danti and Trivrutta, which are ingredients of Kaishargu Gur, are Virechak, that is, they expel the vitiated doshas out of the body. Now, its effect on skin pigmentation. Skin pigmentation in varicose veins is believed to be caused due to formation of fibrin cup, which blocks the minute capillary. Due to this, there is increase in venous capillary pressure, which leads to its rupture. The stagnant blood gets deoxygenated, leading to brownish deep pigmentation of the skin. Most dravyas have lago and rukshaguna, as we have seen earlier, which are associated with swatcha, that is, acting on the skin. Rakta so the properties which are present in all the ingredients also adds to its positive effect. These were the references that were used to create this paper. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Himanshi for the paper presentation on the topic Ayurveda Management of Post-Thrombotic Syndrome Associated with Chronic Cancer, a case report. Dr. Himanshi, are you there? Dr. Himanshi, are you there? Okay, next we get to the next presentation. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Radha Kumari for the paper presentation on the topic Ayurveda Management of Post-Thrombotic Syndrome Associated with Chronic Ulcer. Dr. Radha Kumari? Hello, Dr. Dr. Radha Kumari, please unmute yourself. Hello, Dr. Adagumari. We can't hear your voice. Please unmute yourself. Okay, Dr. Radha Kumari, are you there? Okay, next we go to the next presentation. I would like to invite Dr. Kiran Ramachandra Gekhar for the paper presentation. Dr. Kiran, are you there? Hello. Yes, doctor. Yes. Please add the presentation, doctor. Am I, am I audible? Yes, doctor. Audible, doctor. Okay, I'm sharing my screen. Okay, doctor. <clears throat> Just give me a minute. Is my screen uh, visible, doctor? Screen is visible, doctor. Please start <clears throat> the session, doctor. Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> Good evening, everyone. Myself, Dr. Kiran Ramchandra Gaikwad. I am PG scholar of Shalya Chandra from ASS Ayurved Mahavidyalaya Nashik. <clears throat> Today, I am presenting on a topic of a, a case report of Ayurvedic management of decoherence 
tinus synovitis by jeloka ulcer line <coughs> let's move abstract decurvans tinus synovitis it is actually a condition in which the abductor pollicis longus and extensor pollicis brevis those these two tendons get inflamed and cause severe pain and tenderness to the base of the thumb <coughs> in modern medicine the treatment of decurvans tinus synovitis include in non steroidal anti inflammatory drugs corticosteroids thumb spica splint tendon release surgery etc treatments are available along with their side effects and post surgery complications according to ayurveda we can correlate it with sira kandaragat vyadhi <coughs> sira kandara means tendons which are upadhatu of raktadhat from from ancient times in ayurveda jaloka avacharana is useful in raktagat vyadhi hence we have selected jaloka avacharana in this patient to get relief from her symptoms and can do her daily work appropriately introduction decurvans tinus synovitis occurs more in females than in males it causes the causes of decurvans tinus synovitis are many daily activities of the wrist such as playing golf racket any moment any moment of the wrist joint <clears throat> trauma continuous use of android mobile and other sports modern treatment modalities are not beneficial and patient does not feel fully recover people are looking for ray of hope in ayurvedic management Ay- ayurvedic treatment modality jaloka avacharana is very useful treatment because the leech saliva contains more than 100 bioactive substances these are responsible for various therapeutic benefits like anti inflammatory activity anti thrombotic anti coagulant vasodilator bacteriostatic and also have blood lymph circulation enhancing properties so we have selected this patient to treat by jaloka avacharana then sthanik snehan swedana then wrist belt is advised which gave her significant relief a case report a 47 a 47 years female patient came with chief complaints of shotha over lateral aspect of the wrist joint below the thumb sandhi shul over sandhi shul over wrist joint during the moment restricted movements of the thumb history of present illness a patient was healthy before 10 days she had history of trauma <clears throat> on right wrist joint 9 days ago she had taken an orthopedic opinion who diagnosed as a decurvans tinus synovitis he suggested surgery for it but patient was not willing for the surgery and for alternative treatment she came to our outdoor patient past history she had no history of any surgery any kind of trauma any kind of any pp uh, diabetes or something correlating disease her general condition was fine gc was fine her pulse, her, her pulse was 84 per minute bp was 120 by 70 mm of mercury saturation was 99% on room air respiration rate was 18 per minute she was of of a bright so her systemic examination was <clears throat> she she had bilateral chest clear her chest sounds heart sounds were clear and normal she was conscious and oriented her abdomen was soft and non tender local examination in local examination <clears throat> of her right right hand finkelin stein test was positive in this test you do a clinching of your uh, affected hand with your thumb clenched in between uh, beneath your fingers and your wrist joint is moved medially when the wrist joint is moved medially the patient gets severe tenderness and severe pain this is when the finkelin stein test is positive moment of abduction and extension extension of the thumb where very painful and restricted she had tenderness she was advised with uh, investigations for serum uric acid which was normal <clears throat> as you can see she was advised for the bsl random which was also normal as you can see 
she was again advised for x-ray right wrist joint which which had no any deformity her serum creatinine was normal her cbc report full blood count report was also normal okay materials and methods in this study a single patient with symptoms of decurvance pneumocystis was selected from arogyashala rugnalaya nashik <laughs> criteria for assessment subjective criteria had two main major important points pain and swelling objective criteria range of movement in extension and abduction of the thumb subjective criteria were pain zero is, zero was designated for no pain one was designated for slight pain on movement two for moderate pain at rest three for severe pain at rest swelling zero for no swelling one for mild swelling two for moderate swelling three for severe swelling range of extension and abduction of the thumb zero for freely movement and no restriction one for mild restriction in the movement two for moderate restriction in the movement three for severe restrictions in the movements okay she was advised and given the treatment as follows four settings of standard procedure of jaloka ucharana each setting after 7 days sthanik snehan swedana after 2 days and wrist belt application with wrist rest rest she was given this treatment for almost 28 days discussion we managed this patient by leash therapy by applying leash the bioactive substances released through saliva of leash which act as analgesic anti inflammatory and anti coagulant etc patient got instant relief from the pain about 45% after applying first leash after that we advised the patient to take snanch snehan swedana to reduce the violated white vitiated vata dosha in this case in this in this case tendons <clears throat> were fractured continuously due to excess risk movement this treatment quality gave beneficial result in decreased decurvance tenus anavatis to sub subside the pain inflammation and restriction of the joint lastly wrist belt was given better to wrist belt wrist belt was given to support better on the first day after leash therapy patient got 15% relief on seventh day she got 40% relief on 14th day she got 65% relief from her complaints on 28th day she got 85% relief swelling of the wrist joint is remark uh, was remarkably reduced she she felt a slight pain after work and there were no any restriction on the movement then she was advised that she should be continuously using the wrist, uh, wrist belt conclusion injuries of the hand and thumb can be challenging since most patients frequently use them in their daily lives thus delaying healing time this case highlights fact that coincidence can be found in ayurvedic sorry this case highlights fact the fact that confidence can be found in ayurvedic management principle even in cases where contemporary medicines prediction is poor the patient was diagnosed in ayurvedic terms and managed therefore on this basis the vyadhi was identified as being vyapta <clears throat> these are the references thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr radha kumari for the paper presentation dr radha kumari are you there no ji sir well ek second sir i will okay. connect my slide okay doctor okay, okay. ji sir thank you sir okay okay sir visible hai mere slide yes doctor visible doctor yes sir. please start the session doctor can i start please start the session doctor thank you sir my myself dr radha kumari md final year department of jabdugun vigyan dr shaballi radha krishna ayurved university jodhpur introduction 
परादी गुण परादी गुनाजार ग्रुप ऑफ टेन गुनाज मेंशन वाइज चरक विच आर ऑफ प्राइम नीड फॉर अचीवमेंट ऑफ सिद्धि सक्सेस इन चिकित्सा और ट्रीटमेंट दीज गुनाजार नेम्ड आफ्टर द फर्स्ट गुण अमंग देम एग्जांपल पर द परादी गुनाज मेंशन वाइज आचार्य चरक डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ परादी गुण परस्पर प्रधान और सुपीरियर अपरस्पर अप्रधान और इंफीरियर युक्ति योजना और प्लानिंग सांख्य गणित और न्यूमेरिकल संयोग कॉम्बिनेशन विवाद डिसइंटीग्रेशन डिसइंटीग्रेशन फैक्टर परिमाण मेजरमेंट संस्कार गुण प्रदान और चेंजिंग द ओरिजिनल क्वालिटी अभ्यास सतत क्रिया और प्रैक्टिस परत्व परत्व द वर्ड पर मींस प्रधान और इंपॉर्टेंट इट इंडिकेट्स द सुपीरियरिटी और प्रायोरिटी ऑफ ए सब्सटेंस ओवर अदर इन न्यूमेरल सब्सटेंस व्हेन देयर आर मेनी नंबर ऑफ द्रव्यज इंडिकेटेड इन वन स्पेसिफिक डिजीज पिकिंग अप ए ड्रग ऑन प्रायोरिटी बेसिस इज नोन एज परत्व फॉर एग्जांपल देयर आर गुड ड्रग्स अवेलेबल फॉर कास्ट like pushkar mool dehti kantgari act however varangi is considered to be best for cars on basis of paratva what acharya chara explained that the paratva has to consist on basic of des kal bal man pak bide prasadi aparatva this is quality which is exactly opposite of paratva aparatva denotes inferiority or less important of a substance unlike par aparatva also has to be considered on basic on this kal be man pak vide rasabi yukti the word yukti is derived from yuk dhatu which means a logical reasoning yukti is the proper planning in using a vessel कल्पना इन प्रॉपर फॉर्मुलेशन अकॉर्डिंग टू नीड ऑफ रोग एंड रोगी ए ड्रग मस्ट बी सिलेक्टेड इन पर्टिकुलर कंडीशन विद प्रॉपर प्लानिंग वाई प्रो असेसमेंट ऑफ डोज दृश्य बल काल प्रकृति एक्सेट्रा फैक्टर आचार्य चरक सेड देयर इज नो मेडिसिन विदाउट मेडिसिनल प्रॉपर्टीज इन द वर्ल्ड इट डिपेंड्स ऑन युक्ति ऑफ वेद टू यूज them in treatment principles to attain success success depends on proper planning so you think could have include under samyog parinam sanskar etc gunam it has also told as separate gun as it extensively used and very significant for successful treatment sankhe sankhe means ganit example counting is is the quality why which is we are able to count the dose progress drug act when we want to have an accurate knowledge we need to express it is numbers in ayurved doses are three in number dhatus are seven in number in formulation of a compound no of drug needed quantity of each drug is to be specific in treatment administration of drugs for so many numbers of days time number of pills to be consumed and so on samyog combination of two or more substance is known as samyog samyog is of two types nitya and anitya nitya samyog combination of drug and gun anitya samyog combination of two or more drug with samyog has been classified into three types ek karma samyog gandhas karma samyog and sar karma samyog vibhag removal of one or more substance from combination is vibhag it is always anitya in nature unlike samyog vibhag is also three types ek karma vibhag vid karma vibhag and sar karma vibhag pratakatva it is the quality why which one substance is differentiated from other example guruji is different from pat pratakatva is of three types asamyog lakshan difference between substance which are not related to each other example a pot of different from a flower balakshan root difference between two class of same species cow is different from donkey anek root difference between substance belonging to same category example difference between seven types of hari tik parimaan 
Perman is the quantity by which drug are measured. It is two types. The demand measurement of lead, Gurutman. Measurement of weight, the demand. This measurement is based on Anguli Hust Ariti Act. It is nitsat for nitsadrav. Like Parmanu and Anitta for Anitadrav, like a example. It is a again of three types. Confusion counting numbers, example one is six, two is six. Parimanjan based on quantity, example one fourth quantity. Parisha Patan based on weight for ten. Gurutaman, it is measured by press, adder, etc. Scale with help of balance. There are three types of measurement. Fourth, measurement of weight, display, measurement of volume, five, measurement of flare. Sanskar. Sanskar is the quality by which changes are brought to the nature qualities for potentiate the effect of drug. Some of the sanskar are Bahamna, Mardan, Prachalan, Agni Shamyog, Mardan and Bahamna, Titration, Prachalan, Shali on washing and cooking becomes lagu in nature. These drugs collected from different regions also various quantities. Mardan were collected from jungle, they seems better results from that of Anubhi. Carl, some drugs changes their goal on storing for particular period of time. Madhu, which is freshly collected in Giri's cup, there a Purana Madhu is Kafar. Nam Gugulu is Brangan, there is Purana Gugulu is Meduhar. Bazan, Tripla food is pasted and applied over low first, kept overnight and consumed in morning as well as Rasayan. Madhan, they said, Chul made paste and kept in iron vessel overnight and then applied over head, imparts good color for hair. Abhyas, Rev. Fuller practice is known as abhyas. Regular uses of anything over a period of time is known as abhyas. It is otherwise known as sealan and satastika. Sealan means being habituated by repeated uses of any bhav person with growth accustomed to it. Satastika, by repeated continuous administration of a particular bhav is called abhyas. Abhyas is a act with Provide a special benefits to serene and manas by continuous practice for a longer time. Example, the food consumed every day becomes accustomed to body. Repeated resuscitation of soap remains in its humility as it becomes a part of manas and work. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Jodi for the paper presentation. Dr. Jodi, are you there? Yes, sir. Doctor, please start the session, doctor. Yes, sir. I can share my PPT. Okay, doctor. Screen is visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Uh, good evening, everyone. Myself, Jyoti Subhash Barore from Ayurvedic uh, Hospital and College, Nandes. Uh, today's my topic is local application of Silnal Kshar in the management of Abhinthar Arsha with, with respect to uh, internal hemorrhoid, a case report. Introduction. According to Ayurveda, Arsha is a Gudamarmagasa Vyadi which can be correlated with hemorrhoids. It has been placed in group of Arsha Mahagada because it is situated at the site of Buddha, which is Sadhya Pranvarna Marma. Vitation of three dosha adversely affects the digestive system, causing mandagni, which further leads to constipation. Prolonged contact of accumulated mala tends Gudavali and Arsha develop. Uh, in modern, Hemorrhoid is a disease which is very specific to human race only due to its erect posture. Hemorrhoid is a fairly common, uh, fairly common disease all over the world. Uh, 
these are dilated veins within the anal canal in sub epithelial region formed by radicals of superior medial and inferior rectal veins hemorrhoids are classified as internal hemorrhoids and external hemorrhoids arising from upper two third and uh, upper two third and lower one third part of anal canal respectively internal hemorrhoids arise from superior hemorrhoidal plexus and are covered with rectal mucosa these are painless in nature modern science of ma- modern science of management has adapted a varieties of methods like sclerotherapy injection of sclerosins agent in submucosal space of hemorrhoids rubber band ligation intraoperative coagulation cryosurgery hemorrhagectomy etc according to the nature or uh, nature and degree of pile mass but this procedure have their own merits and demerits with limitation like surgical procedure causes uh, like surgical procedure causes pain many complaints such as uh, anal stenosis incontinence of stool infection etc which makes many people afraid of procedure acharya sushru in ayurveda acharya sushru who is father of surgery has described the four types of treatment of arshas shastra karma shara karma agni karma and bhesh shastra karma nothing but a surgery shara karma application of alkali in ayurvedic uh, alkali is a ayurvedic preparation agni karma cauterization bhesh conserve bhesh uh, conservative medicinal treatment shara chikitsa as per acharya sushru there are two types of shar preparation one is pani akshar for internal use while the other is pati, pati sarani akshar for external use uh, external use for arsha he has given more emphasis on shara karma modality shara karma application of pati sarani akshar it is a non surgical procedure of ayurveda a medicine which is alkaline in nature derived from a seal herb we applied on a pile mass with the help of proctoscope it is a type of chemical cauterization the kshara karma method of treating pile has been described in detail in an ancient text sushru sahita in this case study silanala pratisarne kshar followed by avagaha sved uh, that is meant by sits bath and tripala churna in lukewarm water lukewarm water internally at night a setting of pratisarne kshara done on first and fourth day a case report a 31 year male patient came to the opd with complaints of mass per annum during defecation constipation or rectal bleeding occasionally since 6 months proctoscopic examination confirmed the diagnosis as a case of 3 and 11 o'clock position internal hemorrhoid after careful interrogation of patient the following causative factors were identified as mentioned in classical text occupation a classical text occupation government servant intake of more spicy and non vegetarian diet uh, staining during defecation this is primary disease this is primary disease with impaired digestion agnimandya as underlying pathogenesis a local examination of patient presented with perianal region no any deformity at anal verge sentinel pile at 6 and 12 o'clock position per rectal digital examination palpable mass felt at 3 and 11 o'clock position on proctoscopic examination second degree internal hemorrhoid at 3 and 11 o'clock position general examination general condition good P, uh, pulse rate normal attitude bp 11070 pallor ecterus not found systemic all vitals are stable investigation within all all in invest, routine investigation within normal limit hb 15.3 bt 2.18 ct 3.47 bsl random 122 hiv hbcg non reactive aim and objective to study the effect of pilnal kshara application in the case of abhyantar arsha second degree internal hemorrhage material and method pilnal kshar nimbu swaras method of kshara application procedure pilnal kshara pilanal pratisarani kshar application was done locally on hemorrhoids at 3 and 11 o'clock position as per classical technique called kshar patana vidhi in lithotomy position for 100 vak matra till the color of hemorrhoids changes to blackish brown pakpa jambu water following by followed by dhavan with nimbu swarasa duration of treatment 
Selen Alak Shar was applied on each file mark on first and fourth day. With series bath in lukewarm water was advised after each defecation and refala churna 5 gram with lukewarm water orally at the bedtime for one month. Nidana Pancha Setu Ruksha Vidhi Viruddha Annapan Nahitakar Vihar Vegavadharana Purvaru Prachata Pakti Atopa Vishtamba Buddha Parikartana Rupa Jateshwana Lakshadani Avataranani Bhavanti Samprapti Nidan Agnimanya Malasanche Koshta Apanavayu Kopa Pradha Pradha Pradhana Dhamani Guda Gudavali Gudavali Prayam Arshotabhav Dosha involvement Vata Pitta Kapa Shonita Sannipati. Upashe Upashayanugami follow up of the patient. It was done weekly for four weeks. C for recurrence of symptoms and any adverse effects. Diet, lifestyle guidance, and correction were suggested to the patient. Observation and result on first day, degree of humoroid, second degree, per rectal BD, 3 plus, constipation, 3 plus. On, on fourth day, degree of humoroid, second degree, per rectal bleeding reduced by 2 plus, constipation reduced by 2 plus. On eighth day, degree of humoroid, first degree, per rectal bleeding reduced by 1 plus, and constipation 1 plus. Gradation uh, 3 plus. Per rectal bleeding, flash in a uh, flash in a pan or greater than twenty drops for constipation, hard stool with severe staining. Uh, two plus for per rectal bleeding, bleeding during defecation up to ten to twenty drops for constipation, hard stool with intermittent staining. Gradation one plus per rectal bleeding, bleeding during defecation up to ten drops uh, for constipation, no staining only hard stool. Zero per rectal bleeding. No per rectal uh, bleeding, no constipation. And these are some photographs. Discussion and conclusion. Tilenala Pratisar Nikshar was applied over second degree internal hemorrhoid. Shar has properties of mainly Chedana, Bhedana, Lekhana. And by virtue of these properties, Shar produces shrink shrinking effect on pile masses. It was observed that the pile mass become blackish brown in 45 seconds as described by Acharya Sushruta. After, after that, the Nimbus Varasa was used to neutralize the char after proper burn of pile mass. It was observed that Tilanala Pratisarni char caused coagulation of hemorrhoidal plexus, necrosis of tissue and prevents the further dilatation of hemorrhoid, hemorrhoidal plexus and prevents prolapse of anal cushion. This makes the permanent treatment of second degree internal hemorrhoid. References. These are some references. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite. Dr. Preeti for the paper presentation. Dr. Preeti, are you there? Dr. Preeti? Yes, thank you. Hello? Hello, Dr. Audible, Dr. Ha. Ha. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Okay, thank you. Hello, my name is Preeti Bhalke and I'm from uh, Government Ayurved College, Nanded. Today I'm going to present a case on the management of benign prostatic hyperplasia with special Vatashila by Pashan Bhedadi Ganavati. The contents of the presentation are as given below. We will move to introduction. Benign prostatic hyperplasia is by dribbling intermittency, burning maturation, 
incomplete voiding and sometimes retention of urine benign prostatic hyperplasia is a most common disease among male above 40 years age in modern science its management is done by surgical procedures like turp but urinary symptoms remains or recur after some time with other surgical complications so patients are not willing or fit for such surgical procedures and used to live with such symptoms for lifetime. So, Pashan Bhedadi Ghanavati can be a cure for such diseases as it contains Mutral, Shothar, Ashmari Bhedak, Basti Shodak, Ayurvedic drugs like Pashan Bheda, Punarnava and Varun. The case description is given below. A male patient of age 70 years age having complaint of frequency of micturation, weak urine stream, staining during micturation, nocturia two times. The patient having above complaints since four months and took conservative treatment at private hospital but got no relief. He, uh, he is having history of a bypass surgery in 2017. Also, uh, uh, left eye is operated one year ago. <clears throat> so, he is not uh, fit for a TURP or other surgical procedures. So, uh, or uh, he is high risk to uh, such surgical procedures. He is uh, also known case of hypertension and diabetes and taking regular treatment. Uh, all his vitals are stable. Uh, he is addicted to alcohol sometimes. All routine investigations are within normal in, are within normal limit. On local examination, uh, his external urethromyatus was normal. Penile shaft normal and non-tender. There was no posterior urethral tenderness. Uh, uh, on per rectal, moderately enlarged prostate was there with uh, the no tenderness at prostate. So diagnosis is made moderate benign prostatic hyperplasia. The treatment given is tablet uh, Pashan Bhedadi Ghanavati to tablets twice a day for gram weight and uh, follow up the day 15 third days uh, the pashan beda the ganavati contains punarnava varun pashan beda the ganavati is preferred from the decoction of these three drugs as procedure explained in charandar and rasa shastra Uh, the uh, criteria of uh, the results are uh, ultrasonography of abdomen and pelvis with uh, post void residual volume. Uh, uh, before treatment, uh, weight of prostate was 13 and post void residual volume was uh, weight of fluid gram and post void residual volume reduced to 7 cc. The symptomatic relief of the patient is assessed by International Prostate Symptom Score, uh, such as frequency, weak stream, staining, and nocturia of the patient is decreased. Uh, and the IPSS total score before treatment was 8, but after treatment, it reduced up to Three. So uh, these are the sonography of the patient before treatment in which weight of the prostate was 35.6 and post-white residual volume 18.5 cc. After treatment, the weight of the prostate uh, was 28 gram and PVR was 7 cc. Uh, discussion. 
Acharya Sushruta is pioneer of Shalya Tantra, enumerated urology in his legendary book, Sushrut Sahita, in which he described Mutra Ghatas. He explained 12 types of Mutra Ghata and their management, among which the Vata Shtila is the type which can be correlated with the BPH. Acharya Sushruta explained pathology of 12 types of Mutra Ghata commonly, in which Mutra Vaha Strutu Dushti means disturbance in urinary system occurs due to vitiated Vata Dosha along with Kapha and Pitta Dosha, which results in obstruction of Mutra Vaha Strutas. So, Pashan Bhedadi Ghanavati act on Mutra Vaha Strutas and uh, Vata Pradhan three doshas, which gives symptomatic relief to patient. On conclusion, the Pashan Vedadi Ghanavati contains Punarnava, Varun, and Pashan Veda. So it has Vedan, Basti Shodhan, Shothar, Medohar, Tridoshar, Mutra Kruchar, and Anuloman properties. So it en enhances the emptying of bladder without straining and forcefully evacuate the urine out of bladder. Frequent micturition and other symptoms of BEP are decreased. That's why there is a decrease in post-void residual volume and minutely decrease in the weight of prostate. Uh, these are the references and thank you. Thank you, Dr. Preeti. Thank you. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Akash for the paper presentation. Dr. Akash, are you there? Hello, sir. Hello. Yes, doctor. You are audible, doctor. Hello. Hello, you are audible, doctor. Please start okay. the session. Okay, sir. Okay. Is my screen visible, sir? Not visible, doctor. Okay. One second. Okay, doctor. Now is it visible? Yes, doctor. Now screen is visible, doctor. Please start, okay. please start the session. Thank you. First of all, I would like to thank the organizers for giving us the opportunity to present our papers. So today's topic uh, of mine. Uh, hello, I am Dr. Akash Chavan from uh, Sumiti. Ayurved College, Hadapsar in Pune, I prepared a topic named as Review of Plants Acting on Shukra Dhatu with respect to Bhav Prakash Nigantu. I prepared this topic under the guidance of my guide, Dr. Vivek Saudhari. So I'll start my presentation. So Ayurveda is an ancient science, as we know, and it has a very holistic approach. So it has a very unique way of understanding the disease and its management. There are eight branches of Ayurveda, as we say that uh, Ashtanga Ayurveda. So Ashtanga Ayurveda is nothing but Kaya, Bal, Graha, Urdhvanga, Shalya, Dhamstra, Jara, Vrushan, Ashtavangani, Tasyahu, Chikitsam, Yeshu, Samshritaha. This, uh, we, we can see this shlok in the Ashtanga Rudaya. And one of the uh, branches that has been mentioned in the Ashtanga Ayurveda is the Vrusha Chikitsa. That is nothing but Vajikarana Tantra. So what is Vajikarana Tantra? Vajikarana Tantra has been uh, described in Sushrut Sutrasthan in the first Adhyaya. It states that Vajikarana Tantra Nama Alpa Dushta Vishushka Retasa Sama Apyayanam Prasada Upachaya Jananim Nimitta Praharsha Jananartham Cha. Okay. So it is the uh, Vajikarana Tantra that has been uh, described in the Shushrut Samhita. So it is nothing but a branch that deals with the management of seminal defects, uh, what we see as the oligospermia, asthenozoospermia, teratozoospermia, and also some ejaculatory dysfunctions. So the term Vrusha has been widely used in the Ayurvedic texts in relation to various seminal parameters and uh, the aphrodisiac. So basically what is aphrodisiac? It is nothing uh, but a substance by which a person is able to, uh, to cause the sexual desire 
okay that is believed to cause a sexual desire you know people okay that is the definition of aphrodisiac so the word vrusha literally means vrusha that is uh, the meaning of that is uh, the uh, we call the animal bull also meaning the bull is very strong and potent so the vrusha indicates a substance by virtue of which a person is capable to act sexually like a bull which is very strong and potent so there are many ayurvedic herbs that has been described in our samhitas so the term rusha has also been used uh, synonymously for but rusha and vajikarana are very different concepts that has been uh, mentioned in our texts so we are basically concentrating on rusha today okay so the rusha term has been used to define shukra vriddhi kara shukra shruti kara shukra janaka okay so this has been uh, uh, this has been stated by chakrapani in the charak samhita tikakar okay the attempt of my study is to highlight the plants that has been mentioned as vrusha in bhav prakash nigantu okay so the main objective of this study is to study the concept of vrusha and vajikarana so i have gathered all the materials uh, from the ayurvedic texts the internet some modern textbooks some review articles so we'll go directly on shukra dhatu and srotas so we all know there are seven dhatus uh, that have been described okay so the last one is a shukra dhatu and which has also known as a shukra vah srotas okay ayurveda explains seven dhatus which form the physical body dhatu means dharana which forms the body so describing uh, the shukrava srotasa shushruta charya states shukrava he dve tayo mulam stano vrushanai cha tatra vidhasya klibata chirat praseko rakta shukrata cha okay so the stan and vrushan has been mentioned as the uh, places of shukrava srotasa what charaka charya mentions is shukravahanam srotasam vrushano mulam cha shefa cha so this has been mentioned by acharya charak so what is vrusha and vajikaran vrusha uh, uh, by going through the karma uh, karma prakar of sharangadhara uh, which he states what is vrusha so he states that sadya shukra karam yacha tad vrusham syat yatha paya he basically states that vrusha is shukra karam okay what dhallana acharya says vrusha is shukra janakam vajikarana shukra pravartanam so he categorizes in two two aspects one is shukra janaka and one is shukra pravartanam so for our understanding we can basically correlate in modern uh, terminologies as vrusha can be described as shukra janaka shukra janaka which can be correlated to spermatogenesis whereas vajikarana is mentioned as shukra pravartanam so shukra pra- pravartanam can be correlated in modern terminology as ejaculation okay so these are the uh, vyakhyas of vrusha and vajikarana so what sharangadhara uh, sharangadhara goes on to explain few additional terminologies like shukra la shukra janaka shukra rechaka and vajikarana okay so vrusha is a very broad concept so we can include all of these things in that vrusha so what is shukral yasma chukrasya vruddhi sya chukralam hi taduchate shukrasya vruddhi hi that means spermatogenesis increase in the count of sperm shukrasya vruddhi hi next he goes on to explain shukra janaka and shukra rechaka दुग्धम मशश्च भल्लातक फल मज्जा मला प्रवर्तका कथयते जनका चेतस शुक्र जनक एंड रेचक प्रवर्तका कथयते जनका चेतस सो हि स्टेज दैट रेचक इज प्रवर्तका सो रेचक वी कैन से वी कैन कोरिट एज इजैक्युलेशन एंड वॉट अबाउट वाजीकरण हि स्टेज दैट यस्मा द्रव्या भवे स्त्रीषु हर्षो वाजीकरण चत यथा नाग बलाय स्यूर बीजम च कपी कच्छुम सो वन वन वर्ड इन दैट श्लोका इज द्रव्या भवेशु स्त्रीषु हर्षो दैट इज स्टिम्युलेंट 
okay the desire the stimulant that is nothing but the vajikarana according to acharya sharangadhar so what bhav prakash says uh, uh, the vakyas of bhav prakash and sharangadhar are, are quite similar so bhav prakash states shukra pravartaka shukra stambhak shukra kshayakar okay so the shloka is pravartani stri shukrasya rechanam bruhati phalam jati phalam stambhakam so he states the uh, the drugs in that okay rechanam is bruhati phalam jati phalam is stambhakam what is shukrala ya shukrasya vruddhi again that uh, what Shara, acharya sharangadhar state yasma chukrasya vruddhi same bhav prakash goes on to mention as yasma chukrasya vruddhi syat chukralam hi tadichate the next line is a bit different as compared to acharya sharangadhar because the drugs that have been mentioned shukral uh, in bhav prakash and sharangadhar are uh, are quite different but again vajikaranam yasma dravyat bhavet strishu harsho vajikaranam hitat yatha ashwagandha mushali sarkaracha shatavari so again dravyat bhavet strishu harsho the stimulant that has been said as vajikara shukra ja and shukra rechak the last uh, terminology dugdham mashascha bhallataka phalam ajjani bhallataka phalam alani cha etani janakani siu rechakani cha retasah so these are the basic terminologies uh, of vrushya and vajikarada that has been mentioned in the two samvitas uh, sharangadhar and bhav prakash we are going to completely concentrate on bhav prakash nighantu because we have chosen the drugs from bhav prakash nighantu uh, the only reason to uh, uh, state sharangadhar vyakhya because uh, in practice and in uh, academics we use sharangadhar karma vyakhyas so it was important to take those karma vakyas so these are the classifications of vrushya dravya what we uh, studied in the previous slides uh, these are the tikas uh, the uh, the acharyas goes on to state of those shlokas so they uh, uh, everyone has a different view of vrushya so what uh, chakrapani states chakrapani states that अनेन निरुक्ते न त्रिविधम अपि वृश्यम अवृच्यते यथा शुक्र शुक्र वृद्धि करम च माशादी तथा श्रुति करम संकल्पादि शुक्र श्रुति वृद्धि करम शीरादि सो दीज आर दी थ्री टर्मिनोलॉजीज ही स्टेट्स वन इज शुक्र वृद्धि कर दैट इज वी कैन से एज स्पर्मैटोजेनेसिस शुक्र श्रुति कर अगेन इजैक्युलेशन third he goes on to states shukra shruti vruddhi kar so both spermatogenesis and ejaculation what dallanacharya says so uh, in the tika of sushrut sutra sthan 45 in the shlok number 49 he he states that uh, vrushya is shukra janak and vajikaran is shukra pravartan okay so वृष्य शुक्र जनक वाजीकरण शुक्र प्रवर्तन एतेन जनक प्रवर्तक युक्त सो थ्री टर्मिनोलॉजीज ही स्टेटिंग वन इज शुक्र जनक सेकेंड इज शुक्र प्रवर्तक एंड द थर्ड इज शुक्र प्रवर्तक शुक्र जन प्रवर्तक अगेन द फर्स्ट शुक्र जनक वी कैन कोरिट एज स्पर्मैटोजेनेसिस सेकेंड शुक्र प्रवर्तक इजैक्युलेशन शुक्र जन प्रवर्तक स्पर्मा to genesis with ejaculation so three terminologies so what sharangadhara says uh, we uh, uh, studied about those shlokas in the previous slides shukrala shukra janaka shukra rechaka shukra stambhaka and shukra shoshaka so in every uh, uh, term uh, the drug goes on to change and the action of that drug goes on to change okay shukrala spermatogenesis shukra janaka again we can correlate to spermatogenesis shukra rechaka that can be uh, ejaculation shukra stambhaka so it is a very important terminology that acharya sharangadhara says is shukra stambhaka so we have uh, many problems of uh, in this day and age of premature, premature ejaculation so that shukra stambhaka can be used and again shukra uh, shoshaka so we'll see the drugs 
uh, that has been mentioned as vrusha in bahuprakash nigantu so i have enlisted few drugs that has been uh, noted in uh, in bahuprakash nigantu so amalaki the latin name is ambelica officinale of family euphorbiaceae rasa pancharas vipak madhur virya sheet uh, the guna that amalaki possesses uh, are guru ruksha sheet so how can i'll uh, just go on with the slides i'll give few examples about the drugs because the slides are too much and i have too many drugs in this so how will amalaki work as a vrusha so when we study dravya guna so we uh, we see uh, we we study the pharmacology and we we, uh, we study the action of uh, mechanism of that drug so by studying the rasa virya vipaka and guna we can say that the drug can work in according to this rasa virya vipak and guna okay so amalaki is pancha rasa vipak is madhur virya is sheet so we can take it as madhur madhur sheet guru sheet so it it can work as a shukrala okay so one entity of rushya is shukrala second uh, the second drug we will see is lashuna let's say lashun elium sativum liliaceae family katu katu ushna so how can it be a vrusha being a katu katu ushna so the mechanism of action here can be ushna can be a rechaka what uh, Sha, uh, acharya sharangadhara uh, states about the rechaka uh, shukra rechaka drug okay so that ushna can be the pravartanam which can be used for ejaculation okay the next uh, karpur senamanam camphor loresi family tikta katu madhur katu sheeta lagu tikshna okay so it is very jumbling the rasavirya vipak and guna over here tikta katu katu sheeta virya is sheeta it is a vichitra pratyarabdha uh, katu katu sheeta lagu tikshna but the guna is lagu and tikshna so it can work as the uh, shukra rechaka okay so we'll go on to the next slide because i have too many drugs gokshur tribulus teris teris zygophylaceae family madhur madhur sheeta again shukrala shukra janaka it can improve the sperm count work as a mechanism can be spermatogenesis okay we'll take arka calotropis procera escalpediaceae family katu tikta katu ushna lagu ruksha and tikshna guna so again katu tikta katu and ushna ushna virya again useful for rechaka shukra pravartanam so this can be used for ejaculation going forward palash butea monosperma leguminosi family katu tikta katu ushna and lagu ruksha guna again shukra rechaka shukra pravartaka amra mangifera indica anacardiaceae family madhur kashay madhur sheet lagu ruksha so madhur madhur sheet again shukra vruddhi kar shukra janak shukra shukrala okay and there is a, a, a predominant ras kashay so it can also work as a shukra stambak we'll go ahead kokilaksha Estera cantha longifolia, Akathensi family, Madhur Madhur Shita, as we all know, Kokilaksha, Guru, Snigda, and Pichila, very useful for Shukrala, has been noted in various uh, Samvitas as Shukrala. Uh, Damanak, Artemisia Nilagirika, Esteresi family, Tikta Kashai, Katu Ushna. Again, Katu Vipak and Ushna Virya, it may work as Shukra Rechaka. और शुक्र प्रवर्तक सो विल गो अहेड कासमर्द कैशिया ऑक्सीडेंटालिस सिसेल पिनियोडेसी फैमिली तिक्त मधुर कटु उष्ण अगेन द डोमिनेंट रस इज तिक्त विपाक इज कटु वीर्य इज उष्ण लघु रुक्ष तीक्ष्ण सो तीक्ष्ण गुण यूजफुल फॉर रेचक कुष्मांड मधुर मधुर शीत लघु स्निग्ध स्निग्ध गुण 
यूजफुल फॉर नरिशिंग द शुक्र धातु सो शुक्र ल so we'll see uh, uh, some of the dravyas that has been mentioned as shukrala in uh, bhav prakash nigantu and the various vargas of bhav prakash nigantu so kushta sasuriya lapa com compositive family tikta katu madhur katu ushna ushna again rechaka bhallataka katu tikta kashaya madhur ushna so uh, uh, the important guna of bhallataka is tikshna as we all know it is very ushna so it might provoke the ejaculation nothing but rechaka pravartaka or srutikara which has been mentioned by chakrapani we'll go to the next slide uh, we'll see narikela madhur madhur shita madhur madhur shit guru snigdha it can be वृद्धिकर शुक्र जनक शुक्र ल और शुक्र वृद्धिकर ओके दाडिम मधुर कषाय अम्ल मधुर अनुष्ण लघु स्निग्ध इट इज बिट जम्बलिंग टू बी सेट बाय दी रसवीर विपाक बट विपाक एंड रस डॉमिनेटली आर मधुर सो वी कैन से दैट इट इज शुक्र ल Uh, and it has been mentioned as shukrala in bhav prakash nigantu so uh, these were the drugs i have tried to uh, uh, enlist majority of the drugs as possible and to discuss uh, uh, a lot of drugs as possible because we have uh, uh, lack of time so discussion bhav prakash nigantu as we all know consists of 23 vargas among which uh, the drugs mentioned were uh, completely completely uh, acting on shukra dhatu which were vrusha uh, among which vrusha and shukrala drugs uh, uh, were enlisted uh, in this paper so what is the conclusion the conclusion if you are clearly saf you are taking too much last slide ma'am sorry uh, infertility is a major health issue in this present world so uh, drugs acting on the shukra dhatu can be a way of management to tackle this pro problem uh, we being a clinician we see many a cases these days of infertility main infertility uh, being the cause so based on the knowledge uh, of various samvitas and nigantus we can use these drugs in the management of infertility and other seminal uh, uh, defects okay as we uh, uh, said of oligospermia asthenospermia aspermia so uh, these are uh, this this was my paper these are the references uh, which helped me in studying uh, this vrusha the concept of vrusha and vajikarana okay thank you thank you so much for giving the opportunity thank you thank you dr akash uh, next before going to the presentation uh, let me remind you uh, dear participants the maximum time limit for your presentation is 8 minute and now we can start the next presentation i invite dr nilesh damuji sate for the paper presentation hello hello doctor yes sir. audible doctor okay let me share my screen ओके डॉक्टर जस्ट अ मिनट ओके माय स्क्रीन इज एंड वर्किंग हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर योर स्क्रीन इज नॉट विजिबल डॉक्टर there there are not options of the sharing screen one minute doctor can you please retry doctor hmm can you please retry to share doctor i am sharing here
Hello, doctor. Can you hear me? Hello, doctor. Nairish. Hello, doctor. Can you hear me? Next, we go to the next presentation. I would like to invite Dr. Kalpesh Vishwas Patil for the presentation. Dr. Kalpesh, are you there? Hello, sir. Hello, doctor. Please come here, doctor. Okay. <clears throat> Myself, Dr. Kalpesh Patil. I am uh, Department of Komar Vutya, SMBT Ayurved College, PG Research Institute, Dhamangao, Nashik. And uh, today's topic for presentation, uh, Krimi Roga in Children's by Ayurveda with special reference to worm infestation under the guide, uh, Dr. Vijay Suryanshi, sir. <clears throat> Introduction. Krimi is uh, an important disease described in Ayurvedic science and uh, is described in details with respect to its etiology, clinical features, and treatments. The term Krimi is used to denote tiny organism which reside in human body. Krimi roga in children is a serious health problem and uh, is widely prevented in areas of low environmental quality and people of lo low nutritional status. Children are quite dynamic and active. They tend to come in contact with germs easily. So uh, uh, some of the cause of one infection, worm infections, including the problem is likely to be more common because of a bad hygiene, consuming infected food or water, inadequate hand washing and poor awareness, illiteracy, poverty, and variety of allied factors. The term Krimi has, uh, as mentioned in Ayurvedic classi classics, have broad meaning. It includes all the type of micro, micro pathological and non-pathological non organisms. Nirukti of Krimi, Kramati Kramupad Vikshep, Kramau Shudra Janto Rog Vedi Krimi Shabde. The term Krimi is derived from the word Kramu, meaning to, uh, meaning to step, to walk, it has come out from Kramu Padvikship, meaning move with uh, legs, are term as Krimi. Classification, Acharichara classified Krimi into two groups, that is a Sahaj and a Vaikarika. Sahaj Krimi, also called as a Vaikarika Krimi, they, uh, they live in human body right from birth till death and not harmful for human body. They are numerous uh, and alive in the buccal cavity alimentary tract uh, as well as a vaginal canal of female as a normal bacterial flora. Vicarikrumi. Vicarikrumi are classified into two subgroups, Bahyakrumi and Abhentarkrumi. Those krumi which live on the skin outside the body uh, are Bahyakrumi and those inside the body are Abhentarkrumi. According to Charak and Vagpad, krumi are classified as Raktaj, Kafaj, Purishaj and Malaj krumi. Total number of Krumi according to the various Acharyas, that is uh, Charak, Charak Sanita 20, Harit Sanita 13, Bhela Sanita 20, Shushru Sanita 20, Ashtang, Ashtang Sangra 20, Madhunidan 20, Sharandar Sanita 22, Bhav Prakash 20. All the Acharyas except the Acharya Harit and Acharya Sharandar have mentioned total 20 types of Krumi. Acharya Harit has described seven types of Bahya Krumi and six types of Abhyantra Krumi, while Acharya Sharandar has described Total 22 krumi with the additional to two krumi, snayuka and avrana krumi. Each names of krumi is given uh, by different acharyas. By a krumi, uh, acharya charak, yuka and piplika, and uh, by uh, vagbhat, uh, yuka and liksha. Abhyantar krumi, it includes uh, kafaj, purishaj, and raktaj krumi. Name, names as follows by uh, acharya charak. <coughs> Kafash Krimi, uh, Antrada, Rudalaya, uh, Ud, Udarda, Churu, Mahaguda, Saugandiga, Darbakusuma, Purishas Krumi, Kakeruka, Makeruka, Sauda, uh, Sausurada, Sau, 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 Sashulak, Liliha, Raktas Krimi, Keshad, Lomad, 
लोमद्वीप सौरदा औदुंबरा जंतु मात्रा अकॉर्डिंग टू द आचार्य चरक क्रिमी हैव देयर स्पेसिफिक हैबिटेट बाह्य क्रिमि आर यूजली फाउंड ऑन एक्सटर्नल पार्ट ऑफ द बॉडी सच एज हेयर ओदर स्काल्प एंड बॉडी बियर्ड इयर लैशेस क्लोथ्स रक्त क्रिमि वेल इन वेसल्स कैरिंग ब्लड स्लेशमस क्रिमि आर यूजली फाउंड इन आमश विच हैव टेंडेंसी टू मूव अपवर्ड और डाउनवर्ड अलॉन्ग विद द इंटेस्टाइनल ट्रैक हुरिशस क्रिमि आर इन द पक्वाश विच यूजली माइग्रेट डाउनवर्ड टूवर्ड टूवर्ड्स द रेक्टम एंड एनस निदान पंचक ऑफ क्रिमि बाह्य कृमि बाह्य कृमि आर कॉज ड्यू टू अनहाइजेनिक एंड डर्टी हैबिट्स आभ्यंतर कृमि स्पेसिफिक फैक्टर्स एक्सेस इंटेक ऑफ मांस दुग्ध दधी शुक्त गुड़ सत्तु युका विहार लैक ऑफ व्यायाम एंड दिवा स्वाप नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट स्लाइड कैन नॉट प्लेट सर जस्ट फॉर मी रक्त क्रीम Yes. संप्राप्ति दोष कफ डॉमिनेंट त्रिदोष दुष्य रस रक्त स्रोत महा महास्रोत पुरुष व स्रोत रक्त व स्रोत अधिष्ठान बाह्य कृमि त्वक त्वक वस्त्र कफश कृमि आमाशय पुरुष कृमि पक्वाशय रक्त कृमि रक्ताशय रक्त व दमनी अकोर्डिंग टू आचार्य शुश्रुद्ध Vitated cuff dosh and pitta dosh by any of the hetus. Hello, hello. Can I continue, sir? Hello, doctor. Ah, uh, krumi rog may help in production of krumi. Most of the factor described in the etiology and krumi rog leads to agni mandya and agni utpat, am utpati, which work as a principal factor. The pro ah uh, process ah uh, samprapti leads to production of krumi. रूप बाह्य कृमि कंडु कोथ पीड़का गंध आभ्यंतर कृमि ज्वर विवर्णता शूला रुद्रोग अतिसार शर्दी श्वास वमी मंदाग्नि पिपासा पीत नेत्रता <coughs> पथ्य इन कृमि रोग शोधन कर्म लाइक स्नेह स्वेदन आस्थापन बस्ती शिरो विरेचन विरेचन धूम दुम, धूमपान अपथ्य इन कृमि रोग वमन वमन वेग विधारण दिवास्वाप अजीर्ण एक्सेस कंजम्शन ऑफ मांस दुग्ध पत्र शाखा विरुद्ध भोजन दधी गुड़ पिष्टमय पदार्थ आम्ल रस एंड मधुर रस रस रसयुक्त पदार्थ चिकित्सा मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कृमि रोग इन वेदास इन वेदास वेरियस टाइप ऑफ कृमि रोग क्रिमि क्रिमिंग ड्रग्स आर डिस्क्राइब इन अथर्ववेद कृमि रोग द्रव्य आर डिस्क्राइब इन थ्री कैटेगरी कृमि कृमि जंभान कृमि कृमि नाशना एंड कृमि विघ्न कृमिघ्न मैनेजमेंट ऑफ कृमि रोग इन संहिता अपकर्षण अपकर्षण मीन्स टू स्क्रैच द दोष एमल कृमि संघातक फोर्सफुली प्रकृति विघात प्रकृति विघात मीन्स डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ डिस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ द प्रोड्यूसिंग एंड फेवरेबल एनवायरमेंट टू कॉन्टैक्ट द फैक्टर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ कृमि निदान परिवर्जन मीन्स टू इलिमिनेट द पॉजिटिव फैक्टर विच हेल्प in producing germinating and growing of krumi discussion and conclusion the term krumi has as mentioned in ayurvedic classics have broad meaning in classical texts along with vat pitta kapha uh, uh, sukshma jantu are also supported uh, supposed to be responsible for creating this description uh, regarding the management of krumi is available since vedic period helminthic infections contribute significantly to the, to global burden of disease especially in tropical and subtropical region acharya have classified krumi as a surge and vicaric which specified that they were also aware about non pathogenic uh, pathological pathogenic nature of krumi Schleimus krumi live in upper part of gastrointestinal tract. Purishes krumi is live in lower gastrointestinal tract. Survival and fecal matter. Rakta krumi is blood. Rakta krumi in blood vessels. It is difficult to uh, correlate a ayurvedic term regarding krumi with modern term due to lack of details. Description of each krumi. Acharya Charak has mentioned three fold treatment for the krumi roga as apakarshan, prakriti vigat, and nidan parivarjan. references mention abo uh, definition worm infestation worm infestation are long term disease that produce few symptoms in their early stages and some uh, sometimes serious effect as well uh, develop stages or may be quite uh, fatal at 
at time worm can be gen generally classified as round worm flat worm flukes round worm some of the most common type of the round worm including pin worm uh, or thread worm hook worm ascaris and heart worms round worm, uh, round worm has follow bodies and uh, opening at either <clears throat> and generally grow between 2 to 5 inches long round worm are very commonly found in pets and animals such as dogs cat and can easily pass uh, pass on the humans round worm live in salt water fresh water and the soil flat worm flat worm include the tape worm and, and flux flat worm breathe and eat literally through their skin oxygen nutrient nutrient literally passes through, through their skin they have no separate organs for digestion and circulation tape worm tape worm live in the human intestine where they feed on a uh, partially uh, digested food in their host intestine flux are the type of parasite parasitic flatworm flukes get their name from the uh, from the uh, look as they flat and the word flukes come from the german word fla <clears throat> causes of one infection in children as the children are quite dynamic and active they tends to come in contact with germ easily some of the cause of uh, of worm infection including coming in contact with infected surface such as a soil cont uh, containing eggs of or germs of playground or touching pets infected with worms consuming infected food or water improper hygiene inadequate hand washing not using food uh, footwear while playing walking in open areas low socioeconomical status poor sanitization coupled with low literacy uh, rates of parents particularly the mothers are also the uh, contributing cause of these problems <clears throat> symptoms of worm in infection some common symptoms of worm infection are irritability weight loss stomach ache bed wetting uh, blood in stools besides this each worm's infection has distinct symptoms as uh, listed below tape worm infection jaundice nausea vomiting loss of appetite eating too frequently and sometimes even a malnutrition round worm infection diarrhea passing worms with stool dry cough fever pin worm infection itching around the anus tr uh, trouble sleeping due to itching and painful urination hookworm infection wheezing coughing fatigue and anemia <clears throat> symptoms of the worm infection in kids loss of appetite stomach pain discomfort itching around the anus uh, irritation and sleeplessness unexplained uh, weight loss lack of weight gain worm is well in stool blood in the stool anemia nausea vomiting rash urinary tract infection diarrhea dysentery are the are some symptoms of one in one infestation precautions and a prophylaxis do not defecate in open space always use toilet keep your surrounding clean always drink clean water uh, keep food covered wear shoes uh, wash your hands with soap especially before eating and after using a toilet wash uh, fruits and vegetables with clean water keep your nails clean and short treatment there are several medicines uh, that may be used to treat worm infection they are sometimes called as antiemetics mebendazole is the most commonly prescribed medicine for the worms it is used to treat thread worm which are most common worm infection mebendazole albendazole is a, is also common you uh, also used to treat round worm weave worm and hook worm infection other medicine that may be prescribed for the various type of worm infection including albendazole Uh, levamisole uh, niclosamide tibendazole and ivermectin <clears throat> thank you sir thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr nayli for the paper presentation okay, okay Yes. Doctor Nayli, are you there? Yes, sir. I am there. Sir, from where I have to select the my PPT, I don't know about the much. Doctor, please start the session, doctor. Okay. Aspect of Chiamatra, my said Dr. Nilesh Chatter under the guidance of Dr. Vijay Suryavan. Sir, can you change my slide? Next slide, please. 
abstract. The word "chayamutra" is come from two words, "chaya" and "mutra." Guidam chayamutra is sensational thing. Means head waking during the sleep is the only symptom which itself indicates the meaning of chayamutra. In which uh, children uh, pass as urine during bed time at the time of night. It, it only it doesn't indicate only the night time, uh, but all in contemporary times there is a, a huge medicinal treatments are available, but they have, that have um, most of side effects. In Ayurveda, it can be treated without any side effects. Sir, next slide, please. He was Chaya Mutra, Nocturnal Universities and Bed Waking. Child health has been the, has been great significance all over the world. It's important being realized more and more by pediatrician and general public in developing as well as developed countries. Here the health means to be physically and emotionally fit in all directions because almost every organic illness results in some degree of emotional distress and vice versa. Sayamutra is repeated inability to control urination. The word Sayamutra comes from two words, Saya plus Mutra, which denotes the bed waking by the children, especially at night. In Ayurvedic classic, brief description regarding Sayamutra is found in Charam Samhita, Vangasin Samhita. This is mainly due to the water, pitta, kapha, along with the mantra dosha. In all, Rasa and Rasa Dhatu, which is not a Mutravana and Manavan process found in the form of ultimately increased frequency during at night. Inuritis is a behavior problem and the most common chronic problem in childhood next to the allergic disorder. Children are not considered inuritis until they have reached up to the age of five years. Can you please change the next slide? All the methods, materials have been collected from the Ayurveda as well as modern classical texts. Can you change the slide, please? Nidan. Nidan are the, the disease can be described in the form of Nidan concept. Nidan, Nidan means the physiological factor in which include Ahara Nidan, Jahara Nidan, Manasik Nidan, and Matrujan Sutrut and Miscellaneous Nidan. Ahara Nidan means the food that are responsible for the uh, any recipe, which includes the night, uh, drinking too much of the sweet, uh, salty drinks at the time of at the time of bed, which can be the cause of the any recipe in children. Matrujan citrus in which you know, the uh, chromosomal disorder, which can be the cause of the any recipe. This includes Samit Nidan and all, Mrittika Bhakshan and Srimi Can you change the slide? Purvaru. Purvaru are the premonitory symptoms. Purvaru are the early clue to the physician to start his treatment in time. For Sahaya Mutra, neither the classical text indicates any Purvaru. Clinically, we find such a premonitory symptoms. Next slide, please. Rupa. Rupa indicates the sign and symptom of the disease, which are like shape of the disease. So, no, it's concerning Sayamutra, the classic they are very much certain. They, are, they describe that only one cardinal symptom. Our author is well too wise to incorporate with these symptoms in the name itself. Thus, the disease is the, with the symptom of bed wetting, or in other words, disorder in which child urinate in the bed known as the Sayamutra. Here, it will be a good to clarify the word Sayamutra as it means. Not only means dead waiting at night, but also dead waiting done in the daytime also. Please change the slide. Samprapti. Samprapti is represented in the form of tabular. The doses which are uh, vacated during any is water, anubandha, kapha, anubandha. This uh, which is responsible is the uh, agni, visama agni, srotas, mutra vaha srotas, mana vaha srotas, anna vaha srotas, and rasa vaha srotas. Srota drushti. Ati Pravruti, the Mutsan of the District. First thing. Anupukko. Upashe are the healthy undertaking for the particular disease. Restriction of a fluid intake, particularly after beginning our 
was observed as an officer in the Shaya Mutra. Excessive or more intake of fluid before going to bed every day was the found to be increased in the complaints of the inuretic. Please change the slide. Shaya Mutra Chikitsa. The multidimensional approach can be excellent for the outcome of the disease. The following Chikitsa Sutra will be formulated. Formulated for the Sayamutra on the basis of general management principles recommended by our classes. Nidana Parivarjan, in which the uh, etiological factor which are responsible for the disease can be prevented so the disease have much better outcome. Santarpan Chikitsa, in which includes Santarpan and Apatarpan Chikitsa. Sattva Vajay Chikitsa, in which we must find selling done for the mental stability of the patient. Which is responsible for the better outcome as a manas dos such as raja and tama are vacated during the disease. And monodemic vajra can be responsible for this aneurysm. As children has a uh, important uh, so soft mindset that they are uh, under the burden of the bed waiting during night. So, such a motivational therapy is the beneficial during this disease. Please change the slide. Medicinal management. Medya Rasayana such as Shanka, Pushpi, Manduk, Parni, Guduchi, Heshti Maduk can be used as a Medya Rasayana as the action of activating group of brain cells called neotropatic activity. Herbo mineral preparation such as Chandra Prabhavati, Vanga Vasmit can be used by the assessing disease condition other which include alarm therapy fluid restriction particularly two hours prior to the bed and bladder stretching exercises sadhya sadhyatva sadhya sadhyatva means the prognosis of any disease a physician who lacks proper assumption of sadhya sadhyatva defends himself treating the asadhya disease regarding the prognosis of shaya mutra it may be considered that this is a kritya sadhya vaidhi because its nature is a vata kapaj and it is often found in the patient who bear vata pitta prakruti. Another view that can be given is a vata predominant vaidhi and vata dosh always considered as a kritya sadhya when nidan parivarjan is not followed properly. Discussion. Shaya mutra can be considered as awkward situation for the children as well as parent though the disease is self-limiting but require moral support to the children. Otherwise, this will reduce the school performance and mental health of the children. Conclusion. Shaya Mutra is a major social problem in the Western countries than in India. It does not lead to any acute condition for the children. It is thought as a normal up to age of five, when fight becomes a cause of anxiety as well as embarrassment for the parents. It causes low self-esteem underachievement among the suffering children. As it etopathogenesis is not confirmed, it is considered as a multifactorial disorder. References are enlisted here from which the data has been gathered. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Shubham for the paper presentation. Dr. Shubham, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay, Doctor. Please start the session, Doctor. Hello, Dr. Shubham. Hello, Doctor. Doctor, please unmute yourself. Hello. Hello, doctor. Hello. Yes, sir. Please share the screen, doctor. Yes, sir. Hello. Doctor, please start this doctor. Your screen is visible, doctor.
Hello, doctor. Hello. Your screen is visible, doctor. Start to stay. Hello, doctor. Your screen is shared. Please uh, open your PPT and start the session. Oh. Good evening, all of you. My name is uh, Dr. Subham Balsi. My PPT presentation is uh, Randomized Control Trial to Study PPGC of Our Thinking Culture. My name is Dr. Balati Sir. Introduction. Balata Sir is the disease of the center. Hello, doctor. Yes. Doctor, many disturbance in your voice, doctor. Hello. Hello. Doctor, Hello. Uh, many disturbance in your voice, doctor. Many voice. Yes. Okay. Oh. Diarrhea is passage of watery stool at least three times 24 hours. In this area of study, Atisara is of the most affecting disease in children. Of age group 5 to 20. Name of disease, Atisara. Trial to our medical children. Control the Buddha Toka Jordan. Study time, randomized control, clinical trial. Now, ಅನ್ನೆಸರಿ <laughs> undescribed side effect and not safe in children so we are always search of the better alternative which can safely given in the children diarrhea in means sleep weight as well as high high grain which is the greatest effect of being which current illness which is reduce the critical catch up protein or oil the offers diarrhea illness review of literature samprapti puro chikitsa Type of Balati Sar, Vatas, Pitas, Kafas, Sanipata Sati Sar, Shokati Sar, Amajati Sar, according to Sharak and Vagba. Vatas Sati Sar, Pitas Sati Sar, Kafas Sati Sar, Sanipata Sati Sar, Vaj Sati Sar, Shokati Sar. Drug review. Sati Sar is a prominent disease in previous research. There are the various drugs have been explored scientifically. Please use Sati Sar. which is reading of the literature it was observed that our tani phal churna was not studied till date he has hopes to study his contribution to public health so this 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 is that to use our tani phal churna is the management of this our tani phal phal churna is cost effective easily available drug we was described with for this clinical trial name of drug our tani phal churna ras kashay urya sheet vipak katu guna lagu ruksh root of root no guna lagu ruksh lagu ruksh root of drug and system oral latin name is ras rosara ಪ್ರೈಮರಿ Secondary objective, 
to to study the literature related to our design and ಮೋಷನ್ <laughs> 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 ಮಾಡಿ <laughs> sometimes take food but most time avoid ratio to avoid food at any time ratio to krishna thrust drink normal ratio 0 drink uh, evenly uh, ratio 1 drink poorly ratio 2 not drinking ratio 3 <coughs> assessment of dehydration patient with diarrhea condition <coughs> uh condition uh will alert uh, no no dehydration some dehydration but irritable and irritable severe dehydration with high normal uh some dehydration surge uh severe dehydration with sun tears uh no no sign of dehydration present some dehydration upset severe dehydration upset mouth of mouth and tongue uh, no, no symptoms moist some dehydration dry severity address period it's skin punch go back weekly <laughs> some dehydration for that school severity address go back irish method of data collection by assessment table malavega malasur agasa details of drug administration time egram <laughs> trial name of drug over the palachu tajadokchu administration to oral both are oral anupam both are oral treatment duration both are seven days number of patients both are 37 thank you thank you doctor next i would like to invite dr khetkar akshay for the paper presentation yes sir hi sir okay your voice is clear doctor please start the session doctor uh, okay sir hello the screen is visible doctor please start the session screen dikh raha hai sir hello screen is hello? visible doctor screen is visible please start the session doctor uh, sir title is randomized control clinical study to evaluate the efficacy of nirgundital matrabasti in the management of upasthambit sandhigatwat then myself dr akshay khadkar and guide dr yavatkar pc title is randomized control clinical study to evaluate the efficacy of nirgundital matrabasti in the management of upasthambit sandhigatwata f tract is the joint most frequently involved in sandhigatwata are spine hips knees and hands sandhigatwata causes pain and restricted movement of joints it leads to disturbance to daily activities up to now there is no specific treatment known in ayurveda charak sanhita describe the importance of basti chikitsa in vatvedi basti chikitsa has been found remedy for different diseases like amvata sandhigatwat managatwat and various vatvedis a male patient of 45 years having symptom of sandhigatwata since 2 to 3 months was selected he had already taken various treatment but didn't get relief from that matrabasti chikitsa was done with nirgunditel on him by weekly interval in first week pain relief is 30% and changes in joint movement is 20% in second week pain relief is 50% and changes in joint is 30% after third setting pain relief is 60% and changes in joint movement is 
assessment in relief signs and symptoms was done by weekly interval well relief in pain and changes in movement is observed then introduction sandigatvata is the commonest form of articular dis disorder it is common by the age of 40 to 70 years the prevalence rate of osteoarthritis in rural india is 5.8% the joints most frequently involved are knees spine hips and hands pain is at first intermittent and is provoked by the use of the joint and relieved by rest allopathic treatment has its own limitation in managing osteoarthritis nsaid are the most popular drug to treat osteoarthritic pain paracetamol is the initial analgesic of choice for patient with osteoarthritis in knee hip and hands allopathic treatment can provide either conservative or surgical treatment so sandigat vata can be better treated by internal and external medication mentioned in ayurvedic samhita even though many drugs are used in sandigat vata one of them is nirgundi tel this drug has been selected for trial to assess its efficacy in relieving from complaint of sandigat vata then case presentation a 45 year male having complaints of sandeshot sandeshul vatpurna druti sparsha from past 6 to 8 weeks he has no history of trauma the patient has taken anti inflammatory medicines which have provided some relief on physical examination he had swelling and restricted movement of joints after he was diagnosed with sandigat vata the patient was given nirgunditel matra basti in following manner on uh, on that day suggested follow up after 7 days after the first sitting and second sitting of pergunditel matra basti the patient got relief from the symptoms and after third sitting he got completely relief from symptoms during follow up period also there was no symptom then discussion sandigat vata is a degenerative disease it is a type of vata vyadhi which mainly occurs in urdhavastha due to dhatu kshaya which limits everyday activities such as walking dressing bathing etc thus making patient disabled it being a vata vyadhi located in marmasti sandhi and it occurs in old age makes it kashtasadhya vata dosh plays main role in the disease nirgundi tel is vedna sthapan shothagna and shulagna so it is used in the management of sandigat vata then conclusion ayurveda considered vata as the most important dosha but when this dosha gets imbalanced in the body it can cause major problems this vata interferes with functioning of the body causing many imbalances basti uses vata dosha natural movement to remove related toxins and waste materials from the system basti cleanses the vata area whose focal point is the large intestine basti treatment balance and nurture vata dosha when vata functions normally it helps bring toxins and waste matter out of the dhatus and eliminates them then references below are involved in clinical study okay thank you sir thank you doctor okay sir next i will like to invite dr sapna jagdish for, for the paper presentation uh, hello hello good evening sir okay doctor please start the session doctor ek सर स्लाइड दिखा सकते हैं क्या स्लाइड इज नॉट विजिबल डॉक्टर एक मिनट हा एक मिनट सर हेलो हेलो डॉक्टर हां सर स्लाइड दिख रही है क्या अभी इट्स ओके फिनिश विद डॉक्टर प्लीज स्टार्ट द सेशन डॉक्टर एक मिनट गुड इवनिंग 
गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन माय सेल्फ सपना पवार आई एम स्टडिंग फायनल इयर इन शल्य तंत्र माय गाईड इज डॉक्टर अमिल कंटवास माय टुडेज टॉपिक इज मॅनेजमेंट ऑफ जोलोकाचरण ऑन अनल हिमॅटोमा ॲबस्ट्रॅक्ट अनल हिमॅटोमा इज अ लोकलाइज कलेक्शन ऑफ ब्लड आउटसाइड ऑफ ब्लड वेसल्स अंडर द स्किन लोकेटेड अराउंड द बॉर्डर ऑफ द एनस Anal hematoma can be present over a short period of time moderate to severe pain discomfort and cystic swelling at anal verge these are the main symptoms of anal hematoma in ayurveda it is can be correlated with pittaj granthi one of the treatment pittaj granthi is jolokacharan a type of uh, uh, jolokacharan it is a type of rakta motion uh, rakta uh, jolokacharan is one of them jolokacharan is the parasurgical procedure in ayurveda jolokacharan uh, is used in a variety of inflammatory condition especially when uh, pitta dosh is uh, uh, whited and get lodged in blood uh, in leech saliva contains bioactive constituents which have anti inflammatory analgesic uh, thr- thrombolytic and vasodilator anticoagulant and blood circulation enhancing properties introduction in today's life the change, uh, changes is uh, lifestyle irregular dietary habits unhygienic stress and strenuous work and busy people suffer from various diseases one of them is anal hematoma anal hematoma is a small clot occurring in anal subcutaneous connective tissue the condition is due to back pressure on anal hip, anal uh, venules consequent upon straining to, of stool cuffing lifting heavy weights when the rupture or uh, uh, rupture has formed blood quickly pools within a few hours and its form clots extremely painful and discomfort are the symptoms of anal hematoma this condition uh, suddenly appear in short time and painful and uh, the local examination test uh, tense cystic swelling present the anal hematoma usually uh, situated at lateral margin of the anal region panchakarma includes five procedure rakta motion is one of the procedure there are five types of rakta motion mainly shirabet uh, prachan Al- alabu shrunga and jolokacharan there uh, they, there is a one method of rakta motion leech therapy leech therapy is used for condition where blood clots or blood pooling in problem clinical observation has shown effectiveness effectiveness of leech therapy and anal hematoma leeches have been found to secrete saliva containing about 60 uh, different proteins this achieve a wide variety of goals useful several of these proteins uh, uh, serves as anticoagulant platelet aggregator factor prostaglandin vasodilator and proteinase case report a 39 years old female was admitted in ipd of shilla department uh, our ayurved college uh, she had complaints of severe pain discomfort swelling at anal uh, swelling at anal anal region uh, uh, since 15 days on a uh, local examination there was a swelling present at 11 o'clock position per rectal uh, examination tenderness present at 11 o'clock position the diagnosis was confirmed as anal hematoma and treatment of choice of jolokacharan all investigation was done on examination uh, general uh, features are fair of febrile bp normal 120 70 pulse rate normal systemic examinations uh, uh, respiratory system is uh, uh, normal cvs s1 and s2 normal and cns conscious oriented to time to place and person material and method after proper counseling and taking consent of patient joloka was applied locally on anal hematoma uh, uh, hematoma leech therapy joloka procedure is divided three parts purva karma pradhan karma and pachchat karma in purva karma purification and activation of leech was done by putting in bowl which contain haridra powder and water for 3 minutes then this leech was transferred to another bowl having clean water patient was put in left lateral position and uh, anal region clean with water pradhan in pradhan karma joloka was held in one hand and mouth of joloka was put on anal hematoma till it gets stuck to the site and uh, serve the a total to joloka was used uh, ashwa kurvet elevation of neck of joloka is the indication of the joloka has started uh, sucking blood the joloka was co- uh, covered with moist cotton swab the joloka was uh, sucking blood for near about 20 minutes 
after that joloka falls up uh, from site such two settings of joloka charan done by the gap of two days in pachat karma haridra powder was applied on bleeding sites pressure bandage was uh, applied after following of uh, induction of ms uh, induction of ms is to the leech was the done by dusting haridra on the, its mouth holding by a tail with a uh, left thumb and finger it should be gently pressed upwards up to mouth with right thumb and finger after complete vomiting of joloka it was put into the pour water the use uh, leech was kept in separate jar labeled with details of patients and after 3 days same procedure was done uh, uh, in this chart uh, the settings are uh, mentioned after alternate 2 days uh, uh, joloka is applied then uh, first uh, first setting 20 ml is uh, uh, blood is uh, 20 ml and second setting is uh, 15 ml is uh, uh, blood letting is 15 ml after uh, 15 days uh, swelling is reduced discussion acharya shushrata who was explain leech application under the topic of rakta motion joloka charan is the safest method used for blood setting as patient was ipd patients of shalya ward all investigation was done in this case patient had acute onset of severe pain on examination there was a swelling present on at 11 o'clock position leech uh, suck the blood from site of site of application and reduces the local uh, pressure hence reduces the pain and swelling which is suck not only the blood but also leave behind their saliva uh, saliva which uh, which contains enzymes that help to cure the disease secretion from leech contains anti inflammatory anticoagulant vasodilator thrombolytic analgesic substance herodin and calin are anticoagulant agents that effectively inhibit the coagulation Uh, in uh, and so leech application was beneficial in this case conclusion joloka charan uh, provides a significant relief in pain and swelling of anal hematoma without any side effects and complication uh, it can be alternative treatment is management of anal hematoma in which surgery is advised these are the reference and these are the setting uh, photos of settings of joloka charan thank you हेलो थैंक यू डॉक्टर नेक्स्ट आई विल नेक्स्ट आई वुड लाइक टू इनवाइट डॉक्टर शिल्पा रमेश फॉर द पेपर प्रेजेंटेशन डॉक्टर शिल्पा आर यू देयर यस सर ओके डॉक्टर can you see my slide sir yes doctor okay sir good evening sir myself shilpa ramesh gole patil i am pg scholar shalya tantra department from government ayurved college nanded today's topic is case study uh, the effect title of my case study is the effect of jaloka charan in the manage of management of second degree abstract acharya sushrut father of surgery as considered arsha as a ashtamahagar as it significantly disturb the activities of body like an inuit masses of tissue consist of muscles elastic fiber with swollen inflamed vasculature along with supported surrounding tissue around the anal canal are the hemorrhoids or piles they are mainly divided into two types external and internal hemorrhoids it is a common disease of anal canal According to Ayurveda, Mandagni is the main etiological factor for Arsha. Ayurveda Charak stated that vitiated doshas follow the Bahya and Abhyantar Marga to produce Arsha. Acharya Sushrut also believed that Arsha as a Rakta Vansa Pradusha Chvadi. Jaloka can be used as a successful tool in this situation by relieving venous pooling of blood and also by liquefying the clotted blood in the pile. In the present study, a patient of second degree internal hemorrhoid cured by jaloka charan it concluded in remarkable benefit in the reestablishment of circulation and marked reduction in pain tenderness swelling of hemorrhoids thus it was concluded that jaloka charan is one of the best and important tool in the management of second degree internal hemorrhoids introduction according to ayurvedic text arsha may be defined as a mansa kill that obstruct the anal opening causing severe pain during defecation like an enema Hemorrhoid mass is not able to reduce further in anal canal. 
some important causes of arsha are sedentary lifestyle irregular bowel habits low fiber diet prolonged straining etc patient of hemorrhoid stuck in serious woe and seeks urgent surgical attention acharyas we should describe arsha as a mansha mansha pradosha vyadhi it has some complications like trishna aruchi shula shunita prasuti ex means excessive bleeding shof atisara jalokavcharan is mentioned as one of the important tool for management of second degree internal hemorrhoid acharya vagbhat advise bloodletting in the sanchit dushta rudhir means thrombosed blood shun and kathin ani kathin arsha means pile var arsha is a gudagata mounsa vikar occurred in three valleys of anorectal region external hemorrhoid is a swelling in the anal tissue caused by a clot in one or more of the small veins of anal tissue jalokavcharan is more one of the important tool in the management of it the aim of my study is to find out the results of jaloka application in the case of second degree internal hemorrhoid this report a female patient of h with opd registration number came in our shalya tantra department government ayurved college nanded and admitted in ipd on 13 july she had following complaint something coming through anal mass felt at anal and constipation these are the main complaints of patient patient has past history severe tenderness and mass felt at anal region patient was examined in left lateral position on examination it was found that there was a bulge present at 3 7 and 11 o'clock position in rectal examination there was spasm present these bulges are reducible after application of lok halokin gel 2% it was diagnosed as so that's why it was diagnosed as second degree internal hemorrhoid then patient admitted in surgical ward for further treatment systemic examination and blood investigation of patients are normal then methodology the patient of 58 years old was came to i opd and diagnosed as second degree internal hemorrhoid written informed consent was taken patient kept in left lateral position there was two jaloka applied on that anal ward on day 1 consecutive second and third setting of jaloka uteran done with the gap of one week after third setting of jaloka uteran patient was discharged the main jaloka application divided in three topics three uh, points purva karma pradhan karma and paschat karma purva karma non poisonous jaloka were selected pass them in terms of purification then clean the application site and dry pradhan karma apply this jaloka masses uh, this jaloka on the masses present at anal verge if necessary the masses at anal verge are pricked by needle to bleed so the jaloka easily catch the st- catch and started to suck the blood when it confirmed that it started sucking the blood patient feel pricking pain pricking sensation then jaloka was covered with wet bandage process continued till spontaneous detach of jaloka paschat karma once the jaloka detached the bite area was sprinkled with turmeric powder and covered with gauze and pad kept and pee bandage given jaloka were subjected to immediate emesis by applying turmeric powder at their mouth then during this treatment oral medication to the patient given was kankayan vati 2 tablet bd gandharva harita ke churna as a laxative 5 g hs with anupana as local application sits bath with betadine solution criteria for assessment pain then the gradation of pain swelling gradation of swelling 0 to 3 then tenderness gradation of it given and constipation gradation given as soon as the leech application was started patient got relief of pain and tenderness her agony and discomfort level was also reduced after second setting size of prolapse hemorrhoid also reduced observation the table shows that pain swelling tenderness and constipation before treatment and first second third setting then we can observe pain is completely relieved at second setting third setting. swelling is also reduced tenderness also completely reduced at second and third setting constipation is also reduced at second and third setting result as soon as the leech application was started patient got relieved of pain and tenderness her agony and discomfort after second setting of prolapse hemorrhoid was also reduced mass in the anal canal with the help of the halokin gel 2% after third setting she was completely relieved and satisfied with the treatment that's why she got discharged and giving proper diet instruction on discharging
follow up patient was called for follow up after 7 days in the opd she was but satisfied and happy on examination it was seen that the mass at anal was completely reduced in size on per rectal examination there was no pain tenderness and rectum was also not loaded the Right. There is enlargement of hemorrhoidal vessel with atrophy, which may allow the blood to pool, which subsequently clot and leads to bluish purplish discoloration, often accompanied by severe pain. This application is one of the types of rectal motion in Ayurveda. Today, scientific studies concerning the active substances in leeches have given us a better understanding of how they work and have given credit to their use. due to the qualities of leeches for example anticoagulant vasodilator thrombolytic anti inflammatory and anesthetizing substance it has been proved as a medical the controlling secondary internal hemorrhage sucking effect leeches stimulate circulation of the cell at the risk of necrosis and maintain oxygenation of tissue they therefore promote restoration of capillary hemostomosis anastomosis they accelerate the hematoma decongestion process in the present study the success story of leech therapy was pragmatic is in an emergency condition of hemorrhoid to improve the blood circulation in block veins by blocking pooled blood and thereby causes mark reduction in the pile mass pain tenderness and special benefits of the leeches these are the photographs in first first setting of photographs and application of leech second setting third setting and final result these are the about text some important points are taken thank you thank you doctor thank you next i would like to invite dr akshay for the paper presentation dr akshay are you there yes sir Your screen is visible, doctor. Okay, sir. Hello, everyone. Uh, my topic presentation name is "Efficacy of Prasnati Gulwati in the Management of Nadi Varan" under the guidance of Professor Dr. Datta Kumar. Abstract. Acharya Susruta has explained brief description of Nadi Varan in Susru Samhita according to clinical features of Nadi Varan. it can be correlate with pilonidal sinus the pilonidal sinus can cause severe pain discharge with discomfort acharya susruta explain nadivaran even visarpa nadi sthan rog adhikan chapter as per the ayurveda bruhat nigantu in uh, vatvedi are mentioned treatment of nadivaran rasnadi gulwati is the best treatment of uh, treatment of nadivaran because it is helpful in safety high efficacy in the management of nadivaran so we can treat the disease with properties like dipan pachan vedna shaman vishagna varana shodha varana ropak and jantugna in this way we hypothesize that the drug which could reduce pain tenderness swelling discharge which helpful in the manage of nadivaran m to evaluate evaluate the efficacy of rasnadi gulwati in the management of nadi varana conclusion rasnadi gulwati reduce all clinic cardinal features of inflammation pain in the patient of nadi varana it can be proven as anti inflammatory analgesic medicine no adverse reaction of rasnadi gul overdose may cause uh, some mild uh, comfort stomach discomfort keywords nadi varana pilonidal sinus rasnadi gugul varana shodhan varana shamak and vati introduction nadi varana is the most encountered condition in shalya tantra which has to be treated as early as possible to avoid further surgical intervention and complications in ayurveda pilonidal sinus correlate with nadi varana pilonidal sinus is epithelium link tract situated short 
distance behind the anus. Pilonidal sinus is common in hair dresses and jeep drivers. Pilonidal sinus is very common problem of uh, sacrococcygeal region that most arise in the hair follicle of the natal clift of the sacrococcygeal area. Pilonidal sinus is not only for found at a uh, sacrococcygeal region, other place also where pilonidal sinus is found. According to the modern medicine, oral administration of antibiotics should be given to control the infection, but they only can be controlled. This is not cure. Selection of inappropriate operation and inadequate post-operative care are the main cause of recurrence. Hair growing into the healing wound is probable and for this reason need for the study of Ayurvedic medicine. Rasnadi Gugulvati have proper dislike Vrana Shodhana, Vrana Rupak, Vrana Shamak, Jantugna that is anti-inflammatory analgesic in nature. Materials and methods, case detail. The 38-year-old male patient come from rural area of Nashik. Occupation of daily driving. Patient come in SMBT Ayurved Hospital of Shalya in 2021 with com complaining of swelling and pain at sacral region since eight days with back pain since eight months and uh, last three to four days discharge start. Past history, past medical and surgical history was not significant. Personal history, no history of DM, hypertension, TB or bronchial asthma. On examination, appetite moderate, diet mixed, bowel sound regu uh, regular, urine normal, sleep normal. On general examination, pulse are 86, BP, blood pressure normal, saturation temperature are normal, tongue coated. On local examination, swelling and pain at sacral region, discharge from the swelling. We done the probing, which is uh, 1.6 centimeter long. There is no other uh, opening. Investigation done. All are normal. Diagnosis assessment. The cause was diagnosed as nadivaran pleonidal sinus as per the sign and symptom on the basis of clinical presentation. Treatment. Tablet Rasnadi Gugulvati, Adish CMG twice BD after the food. Procedure ad advice for the 16 days for every, uh, every seven uh, follow up. Rasnadi Gugul, uh, ingredient uh, of Rasnadi Gugul is Rasna, Guduchi, Eranda, Devdaru, Sunti, and Gugul. Each content, uh, we, uh, we, when we made the tablet, uh, uh, each content one part and uh, five, uh, five part of Gugul. On, on observation, first day, um, the pain of patient is in grade two, discharge moderate, Track size 1.6 centimeter. We uh, start the treatment. After eight days, uh, patient uh, come for follow up and Vedna is same uh, discharge severe, track size 1.6 centimeter. So we uh, continue treatment for after se um, further seven days. The After 15 days, patient come and Vedna uh, reduce discharge moderate and track size 1.4 centimeter. After 22 days with na, uh, is one and discharge is mild, uh, track size is one centimeter. After 13 days, uh, pain is also same, discharge very mild and track size 1.6 centimeter. Uh, after 37 days, there is no pain, no discharge and uh, track size 1.3 centimeter. After uh, seven, 47, 45 days, uh, with no pain, uh, no discharge, and track size is healthy with uh, mild scar mark. Patient after 15 days come for follow up. The patient come with no any complaints or healed track. So discussion. Pilonidal sinus is a complex condition that causes both discomfort and embarrassment to suffer 
and impose direct uh, cost to the healthcare system, direct cost to the society. In pilonidal sinus, commonly adopted surgical technique in con con contemporary science to manage the pilonidal sinus, including incision and drainage. Second is excision and healing by secondary intention, excision and primary closure, and excision with reconstruction type technique. In present case, we treat patient with OT or without incision and excision. In this single case study, before treatment patient having complaint of swelling and pain at sacral region, discharge from that region uh, before treatment patient having unable pain, then after taking Rasnadi Ugur due to Vedna Shamak, Vedna Shodak, uh, Vrana Ropak, Jantugna, Dipan, Pachana properties, patient complaint reduced and patient was comfortable for sitting and walking. In assessment criteria, patient uh, get uh, significant relief, no pain, swelling and distress. So in present study, Rasnadi Ugur, what is the in the Nadi Varan due to therapeutic reason? Conclusion. As per discussion, following conclusion can be put forward. The pilonidal sinus is a complex problem required multidisciplinary approach. The uh, Rasnadi Vugulvati in the Nadi Varana is a simple step and sure treatment with uh, every neglig negligible recurrence rate. We treat the disease with Deepan Pachan, Varana, uh, Varana Shodan, Varana Ropak, Varana Shamak, Jantugna and Vishagna which is econo economically cheap than other and having good results. All our results uh, conclude that Rasnadi Ugulwati is beneficially in the Nadivaran references. Thank you. Thank you, Doctor. Next, I would like to invite Dr. Shidal for the paper presentation. Dr. Shidal, are you there? Dr. Sheetal, are you there? Doctor, please unmute yourself. Hello. Hello. Uh, good evening, sir. Good evening, Doctor. Your screen is visible, Doctor. Please start the session. Uh, good evening, sir. My name is Dr. Sheetal Dobre. My topic is review of property Kalpana with special references to Panchamrut Kalpana. I am presenting this topic under the guidance of Dr. Praveen Tate. Um, abstract. Property is one of the important formulation. It mainly contains Parad and Gandak as a main constituent. The name property given to the preparation as it is made in the form of thin, thin flakes. This paper aims general concept of property with method of repression and detailed description of Panchamrut property. Property is mainly used to treat Grahani because it is, it is a, because of its unique property to dissociate in the intestinal level. But during the by during the course of time, different acharyas come with different properties having different ingredients, but having the same method of preparations and these properties are used in different diseases with different anupanas. Uh, keywords perpati kalpana, parad, gandhak, grahani, grahani rog. Introduction. Rasa Shastra is known as science of mercury, that is parad. Uh, many herbo mineral and metallic preparations are prepared from the parad, such as kalvi rasayan, perpati rasayan, potali rasayan, kukupika rasayan. Potali kalpana is one of the important kalpana of Rasa Shastra. This kalpana first described in 11th century by Charak Chudamani, Sri Chakrapani Datta in Chak uh, Chakratatta Sahita as Parad remains in the liquid form, it is difficult to handle and moreover it is highly toxic alone. For elimination of, of toxic effect, it is subjected to some procedures like murchana etc. Changing its liquid state to the solid powder is called as Rasabandha Parpati is Agni Sorry, is called Rasabandha Parpati is Agnistha Murchit Parad Bandha uh, synonyms, Parpatika, Parpat, Parpati. In Sanskrit word, Parpat denotes the thin, crisp, waffle-like structure. So, Parpati is also called as an Parpat. Rasatarangini mentioned Parpati as Parpatika. Parpati is classified in two main groups, that is Sagandha Parpati and Nirgandha Parpati. Sagandha Parpati contains Parad and uh, contain, uh, Sagandha Parpati is with uh, Gandhak. It, may, it again divided into three groups. 
फर्स्ट वन इज कज्जली एग्जाम्पल रसपरपटी विच कंटेन पारद एंड गंधक सेकेंड कज्जली विथ डिफरेंट धातु एग्जाम्पल सुवर्ण परपटी विच कंटेन पारद गंधक एंड सुवर्ण थर्ड वन कज्जली विथ हर्बल ड्रग्स एग्जाम्पल बोल परपटी विच कंटेन पारद गंधक एंड बोल चूर्णा निर्गंध परपटी दैट इज इज प्रिपेड विदाउट गंधक एग्जाम्पल श्वेत परपटी विच कंटेन कलमी सोरा तुर्टी एंड नवसागर मटेरियल रॉ मटेरियल पारद गंधक डिफरंट भस्मा एक्जाम्पल सुवर्ण अब्रक एक्सेप्ट्रा कास्ट औषधि एक्जाम्पल बोल एज मेन्शन इन द फॉर्म्युलेशन लोह द्रावी यूज टू लिक्विफाय द मटेरियल खलवयंत्र इट इज यूज टू टाइट्रेशन ऑफ द ड्रग गोगृत यूज टू स्मीयर ओवर द लघु द्रावी लोह द्रावी टू प्रिवेंट एडरेन्स विथ द कज्जली गोमय इट इज यूज एज अ क्वेश्चन फॉर स्प्रेडिंग कज्जली एंड टू फास्ट एन द कूलिंग ऑफ हॉट मोल्टेड मटेरियल टू मेक थीन फ्लेक्स पत्र कदली पत्र एरंड पत्र अर्क पत्र आर यूजली यूज Uh, to spread property material heat source amount of heat applied during the preparation leads to mrudu madhyam and karpa of property method of preparation of property uh, for preparation of property prepare a kajjali and mix all um, and mix all in- ingredient as per the requirement of formulation then it tra- this tra- mixture is transferred into iron vessel which is coated with ghee Uh, give heat to the vessels drug substance uh, drug substance melts it melt it is poured on the banana leaf which is already coated with ghee and kept over the cow dung another similar coated banana leaf kept over kept on the spread substance and apply the pressure on cooling banana leaf on the upper surface is removed then the thin crisp wafer uh, that is property is formed um, types of paka amount of heat reflects the final preparation and three types of property pa uh, uh, properties are formed there is mrudu ka mrudu pak madhyam pak and khara pak property mrudu pak uh, the property formed is brittle breaks without crackling sound mrudu pak property can be used for the medicinal purpose madhyam pak madhyam pak property it is uh, property formed as crisp and break with crackling sound the edges of broken part is silvery whitish in color this type of property is best for medicinal purpose खरपाक परपटी बिकॉज ऑफ सीवियर हेट खरपाक परपटी इज फॉर्म दिस परपटी इज ड्राई कोरस एंड ट्रेडिश दिस परपटी इज नॉट रिकमेंडेड फॉर द मेडिसिनल यूज पथ्य ड्यूरिंग द परपटी सेवन काकमाची पटोल कदली पुष्प ब्रिंजल गोदुग्ध विथ शुगर ओल्ड शालीधान्य भूग फल तक्र जीरक चूर्ण अपथ्य आमला सेवन शीत जल सेवन शीतल वायु सेवन क्रोध चिंता उष्ण द्रव्य तिक्त द्रव्य स्ट्रेस पंचामृत परपटी द पंचामृत परपटे पंचामृत परपटी कंटेन मेन कंटेन द फाइव इनग्रेडियंट फर्स्ट वन लोह भस्म वन पार्ट अभ्रक भस्म वन पार्ट ताम्र भस्म वन पार्ट शुद्ध पारद वन पार्ट एंड शुद्ध गंधक टू पार्ट सेम प्रोसिजर अबो सेम प्रोसिजर इज फॉलोड फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ पंचामृत परपटी रोगाधिकार पंचामृत परपटी यूज इन मेनी डिसीजेस लाइक ग्रहणी यक्षमा विकार अतिसार पांडु रोग विष रोग आम्ल पित्त अर्ष अग्निमांद्य वेन यूज विथ डिफरंट अनुपान सम एग्जाम्पल ऑफ अनुपान अकॉर्डिंग टू द डिज गिवन इन द टेबल डिज ग्रहणी इन ग्रहणी पंचामृत परपटी Uh, is given with uh, hingo hinga and sendav for better result in pandu it is given with jirak churna visharok is given with jirak churna dose 2 to 4 2 to 8 rati 2 um, rati per day and increase it each day by 1 rati till 8 rati maximum and then reduce the dose till 2 rati continue this process till 21 days these are the some references um thank you thank you doctor next i invite dr ashwini please sir hello hello doctor uh-huh. please start the session Uh, ma'am, kindly share my PPT, please. Okay, doctor. On there. Ha ha. 
डॉक्टर प्लीज चार्ट टू सेशन डॉक्टर अश्विनी हेलो हाँ सर स्क्रीन डॉक्टर हेलो हेलो सर डॉक्टर अश्विनी सुधाकर मोरानकर हेलो डॉक्टर योर वॉइस इज क्लियर प्लीज कंटिन्यू हेलो सर हेलो डॉक्टर योर वॉइस इज क्लियर प्लीज कंटिन्यू मैं डॉक्टर अश्विन मोरानकर सी आर सी आयुर्वेद कॉलेज निगड़ी पुणे टॉपिक प्रेजेंटेशन इज निदान पंचका इन गुरुद्रसी इंट्रोडक्शन गुरुद्रसी डिस्क्राइब गुरुद्रसी डिस्क्राइब इज इन वात रोगा इन गुरुद्रसी पेशंट एक इज डिस्क्राइब एज वॉल्चर इन चरक चिकित्सा स्थान ट्वेंटी एट बाय फिफ्टी थ्री बाय फिफ्टी फोर गुरुद्रबत चलते अस्मिन चरक डिस्क्राइब दिज लाइक गुरुद्रसी पेशंट इज लाइक गेट इज लाइक हेलो डॉक्टर अश्विनी आई दे डॉक्टर अश्विनी प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ डॉक्टर अश्विनी प्लीज अनम्यूट योर सेल्फ हेलो एम आई ऑडिबल Yes, doctor. Please continue. Uh, Gurudrasi there are two types of water jaya. In water Gurudrasi symptoms mainly throbbing pain, pain of body parts, knee, thigh, and pelvic joint, stiffness, and pain. Water of jaya symptoms mainly of agni mandar, into heaviness of body, salivation, nausea, loss of appetite. Next slide, please. नेक्स्ट स्लाइड प्लीज हेतु गुरुद्रसि आहार हेतु लवन अम्ल कटु कषाय स्निग्ध उष्ण उष्ण पदार्थ सेवन अजीर्णाशन विरुद्ध आहार सेवन अध्यशन जलज आनुपांस सेवन विहार हेतु अभिघात अति संक्रमण रात्रि जागरण देर आर वात रोग हेतु आर रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर गुरुद्रसि ऑल्सो संप्राप्ति वात प्रकोपक हेतु सेवन Leads to water problem, irritation of pelvic region vessels and nerves, mainly sciatic nerve in modern. It will irritates and pain at pelvis, thigh, knee, and foot gradually leads to grudrasi vadi. Purva rupa, apayo laguta puna. According to this, water vadi lakshana reduced and appears recurrently. It means uh, water vadi appears in episodes or urges. In purva rupa, this occurs recurrently. In rupa, radiating pain starts from kati region, uru uh, means thigh region, janu knee region, and goes up to foot region accordingly. And gait become vulture-like, seems like lurching gait. In sadhya sadhya tva, sadhya is presence of one dosha or absence of upadrava. Recent onset of vata vadi. Uh, it's a sadha and asa there is involvement of multiple dosha and dusha presence of upadrava next slide please doctor your submitting slides are over yes sir thank you thank you sir okay thank you dr ashwini thank you so thus we come up to the end of this today's presentation and before winding up i would like to express my sincere gratitude to all the panel members and once again i thank all the participants and congratulations all for the wonderful participation thank you all